Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome. Oh, are we muted? <clears throat> no, we're not muted. Why can't I hear the game? That's weird. Welcome, everyone, to uh, episode 10. What a brilliant start we've got here. Uh, let's just log in. Maybe I've been on the loading screen for too long. We're totally not muted. To tell you the truth, I actually noticed this was going on like two seconds ago. <clears throat> I can't hear the game. You guys can't hear the game. Oh, maybe I muted it in Windows settings last night. Hold on, let's uh, kill all these guys because we've loaded. We've dared to load in. And now we've got a million mobs around us. Let's just back up a little bit here. Clear some of these guys out. Oh, see, that felt nice there. I kind of felt like I wasted my pistol three because his brake bar wasn't cooled down. But no, no, no. It was fine because we apply a bunch of poison. I have a lot of things to talk to you guys about here. Interestingly, it looks like the meta just finished or something because I get to grab all these boxes. Um... Yeah, hold on. Whoa, what's going on here? Open volume mixer. Guild Wars is not on there. Hold on, are we on the wrong device? Default device. Let's go to... There we go. There we go. Oh my god, it's so loud now. And of course... Just a second, I need to alt tab to turn the volume down for you guys. We're being attacked again. By the exact same mobs. Okay, so I've changed my build a bit. But only sort of. So I'm going to set something up in a second. I'm actually starting to think I want to do a Harbinger video for people. But the way I want to do the Harbinger video is it's not like a standard build video. We actually might go down. Oh. I don't think we will. I think we're fine. Well, I do even dodge that. And I think we'll be alright. Obviously, we'll get a rally, but it's the down state I'm trying to avoid. There we go. Okay, so yeah. Um, man, that was a huge wave. And an elite in there, too. <laughs> oh, God, actually. I might have killed myself. Isn't this my own damage? No, no, no I think I'm okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm thinking of doing a Harbinger build. Uh, I changed my build a little bit. Um, so I was on the power build last night. In fact, let's just swap over to the power build. And I was like looking at what I wanted to change about it. And we've been running Vital Persistence, right? And I looked at Vital Persistence. Two things happened here, basically. I looked at Vital Persistence and Persistence, I thought, yeah, yeah, the tankiness is nice. And I was mousing over Soul Barbs again. And I was thinking, okay, so Soul Barbs, 10% um, more damage when you're in or out of Shroud. And I was thinking, maybe I can play a version of the Power Build where I'm dipping in and out a bit more. Especially if I'm trying to use these Signets. You know, the Signets cool down quite quickly and I don't want to linger in too much. So I was thinking, maybe Soul Barbs are really, really good. So I clicked up to Soul Barbs. And um, eventually decided I didn't like the vitality and went back down. But while I was looking at soul barbs, I realized this got updated at some point. I can't remember when exactly. I, I remember reading this update, but I guess it just went in one ear out the other. Soul barbs is not just flat damage anymore. This is entering or exiting shroud increases all damage we deal for a duration. So I was like, man, that's condi damage as well. That's 10% more condi damage. So then naturally, once I was done with the power build, I went back to the Condi build. And I decided, let's try Soul Barbs. So I actually had a look here, right? You get Vitality, right? Which means that you're getting more stats, basically, right? Out of this. So we're getting concentration from our Vitality. So I toggled it down, and I saw we have 69%. And then I toggled it up, and I saw that, well, now I have 74. The number, these are all massively inflated right now, and I don't know why. It's because of this, I guess? Rescue protocol? No, not rescue protocol. These up, the, these active effects should not be always on the bar, man. I don't know why everything's boosted. Is it my food? Just because I ate birthday cake? Anyway, um, I thought, well, you know what? The tankiness is okay, but I kind of want to see 10% more damage. So I started to think of a third build, basically. A third Harbinger concept. So that's what we're going to run up here. So I'm going to copy-paste this. We're going to put it in here. So this is open world Condi. Actually, this is end game. Well, let me call it... What do I want to call it? Team Condi? It's Team Condi Quickness, really, is what I'd call this. Okay, so basically, once I looked at this, I was like, well, how much can I min-max it? And so we've been running Spectral Grasp the whole time, right? So I'm thinking of a Harbinger build that is specifically for, like, group stuff. And so, like, the classic combos here is to, like, put a Bone Fiend on or, like, a Shadow Fiend. So, you've got, like, that pressure going out. You've got, I think, doesn't this guy give you Life Force, too? Isn't that a thing about him? 
Um, and, you know, you can activate him for a little bit of soft condy for a, a, a bit of CC um, participation and stuff. Um, I actually think I would run Technobabble in strikes and stuff. I really do. Um, and I think that throwing the Elixir of Ambition is really good. In a really good min-maxed comp, you know, you could obviously run Plague Lands. Or maybe the Golem, if you wanted the break bar damage on there as well. But um, generally speaking, I like this. I think this is cool about Harbinger. I like having this triple elixir set up. But the other big thing, like the staple is, is, is BIP. Okay, so blood is power. So you're getting mass might AoE around you to your friends. Which is cool, because it's like you've got quickness here. And now you've got a bit more might that you're giving everyone here. And to yourself too. So when you're like at those ranged phases and you're like sieging away or whatever, it's kind of good. But, uh, you know, the thing about Blood is Power is if I have a target with Blood is Power, I instantly four bleed them for 30 seconds. So <clears throat> this isn't good in the open world. This sucks in the open world. 30 seconds? You're not going to see all that damage manifest, let alone the fact that it has two ammo count. I mean, the might is okay. But then also, not only does it bleed them four stacks, it bleeds you two stacks. And so you need a way of getting rid of that. And if you're not consumed conditions in the open world, that's just a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass. But what if you could take the two bleed that's on you and put it on them? And then, of course, run the trait so that you, you turbocharge the corruptions and throw torment on yourself too. This is like the classic necro setup, right? So I do like BIP for a group situation. So basically, I put Blood is Power on instead of Spectral Grasp. Instant activation Technobabble seems nicer to me in those single single environments. I mean, maybe Grass would be nice in the Anka Strike. Um, but then, so instead of running Path of Corruption, which really doesn't seem to proc too much in Strikes, we can run Master of Corruption, and then you can take Plague Sending as well. So this Dagger Offhand previously wasn't doing anything for me. Now it is. I can basically pair up Blood is Power with the Dagger Offhand for one transfer, and then I can cast again and pair it with Entering Shroud for the other transfer, right? And uh, we lose one tiny little Torment stack per CC, which has synergy with the Harbinger idea, but isn't potent enough to actually be worth it. So it kind of sucks that this kind of pushes me into a playstyle I've played a million times in the past. Um, but it's now on Harbinger instead. <laughs> you know, I would much rather if I was these two on a Harbinger build and not Blood is Power. Just because of all the little CCs and things, maybe Insidious Corruption's better or something. But yeah, so um, so there you go. So I've, I've basically, so I've got this idea of the team Condi build, and then over here, our open world Condi, weaker, which I've just duplicated. This is what I wanted to build at the start of the LP. I actually will continue to use these because all the little protection that we're seeing, this will hit. Because I don't like self-bleeding myself, self-tormenting myself. This feels like a dead skill. We go back to Spectral Grasp. More break bar in these scenarios where things can scale really wildly. And there is a disproportionate pressure on me to actually participate in that. Balling people up is obviously better. The, the corruption, as I say here, this is sort of a whatever. I mean, I could run Chilling Darkness so that this starts putting a bit of chill out. But I'm basically not going to be using Deathly Swarm much. Um, and obviously vital persistence instead of soul barbs. I mean, I could I could stay on soul barbs as well, but this is obviously just more quality of life and stuff. So, um, and unfortunately, the harbinger traits are the same as far as I'm concerned in the open world. Harbinger doesn't change because there is this broken idea where it's like, <clears throat> well, if I'm going to play a power build, realistically, if I really want to play a power build in a group setting, and they don't need the quickness. I'd probably just be on a Reaper rather than this, Cascading Corruption. And likewise, maybe maybe there's some other variant that's better for Condi. This might genuinely be the best Condi variant you can get, actually, at the moment. So There's probably actual space for a Condi group Harbinger. But I have no interest in that right now. I really like just the, the crazy excess on the quickness and stuff. So then there is actual, like, gear. There's the gear side of things. I could actually do this insanely annoying thing to me of like number crunching and figuring out what the best sigils are and what the best balance of vipers and ritualists is and all that kind of shit. I'm not going to do that. I actually kind of just like the extra stability of having a shit ton of overabundant quickness. And if I look lower in an arc DPS log or something, who cares, right? Like it's the clear that I care about, not my own ego. And I'm, I'm, if people are a bit rougher and they're dying and they're falling over and stuff, I would rather that, you know... Oh, you know, if I have to kite away and get out every now and then, I'd rather they have, like, 30 seconds of over-buffered quickness on them rather than 5 seconds of over-buffered quickness on them, which is going to drop the second that any kind of imperfections in the gameplay uh, manifest. 
So anyway, that's what I was thinking with Harbinger, and um, yeah, maybe we can play some metas. And I did some metas on the group thing, and it's quite fun. It's, it adds a lot more to the... Um, it's a lot more fun to play with Bip. Because you do now have, like, these little patterns you can match in as you're playing. You know, your Shroud, 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 and then just before you enter Shroud, you want to match that with a quick little Blood is Power cast. When you're on your dagger set, you want to match a quick little dagger four with, with a Blood is Power cast. You want to do the Blood is Power casts early so that the full 30, 30 seconds manifests before a phase or something or the thing dies. Um, you know, there's just a lot more pressing, and it, it is more engaging. As far as this Let's Play, I don't know how much I'll do because I'd rather sort of have an easier experience and just chat with you guys, but... You never know. Okay, so anyway, that's uh, that's a whole lot of discussion about a whole lot of nothing. Um, it's just kind of what I came across while I was playing last night. I did get my diamond chest last night, so we're done with that. Thank God. And I have a whole two hours remaining before it resets. Way. Um, now, special day today. In approximately three hours, because it's three. It's the end of three o'clock now. It's four o'clock. In about three hours, I think, it's either two hours or three hours, we are going to visit the last area of End of Dragons. We're going to go to the Isle of Reflection. Which hopefully will be quite nice. Um, and we're going to cap that for our guild, who is currently... Now, let me just be clear. Which branch... I think NA is already there, right? Yeah, NA is already there. This is EU's capturing it. EU is capturing the Lost Precipice. By the way, porting into these old guild halls is totally a way of bypassing waypoint fees. Can I just say? Check this out. See? I can now waypoint around here cheaply. Because that was free. So, uh, farewell to um, the Enchanted Forest version 2, I think this is. I think I built this. I don't think Kerry built this one with me this time. I'm actually amazed these decorations look the same. I probably haven't been here. I can't remember when I set this up. I totally built this. I totally built this. Maybe some other people have contributed with things, obviously. But, um... Christ, when did I set this up? Like a year ago? It's actually kind of a distant memory to me. I don't know when I did it. I think it was probably about a year ago. So anyway, I'm going to give you guys a bit of a look. It's not daytime, though. Uh, let's see. Slash wiki, day and night. When the hell is the day? I'm not doing it at night. It's not a haunted forest. It's a, it's a day. Oh, it's like ages away. I'm doing it in the day. We will do the tour. Someone please, in the live chat, remind me. I want to do a tour. One final tour before I leave. Because I, I really do feel like that setup is very special. It's the best thing you can do with guild decorations. Um, and I'm excited to maybe do something like that in the, uh, the Isle of Reflection. Or we can do a snow hall. Snow halls are pretty good as well. Um, but yeah, so we will be doing that. Um, that's going to be today. In the meantime... Well, I kind of want to do a little bit more of what we did on Saitang yesterday. Oh, another thing. I am going to do another five episodes of this Let's Play. This is not the finale of the Let's Play. There's just too much, guys. There's too much. I'm going to try and ease off on repeating Dragon's End and all that kind of stuff. But I, do, I think we've got plenty to see at Arborstone. We've got plenty to see from uh, at least a little bit of fishing but a bunch of these other like little collections and achievements and things I want to do and in fact I want to do a bunch in um well let's let's just quickly recap Saitung are we happy that we've done all the fun stuff let's do Dodger of Darkness I mean screw it let's do that we only need seven eight dodges so let's just go do that and um <clears throat> Maybe that guy's world tour. The little spirits, I don't know whether I'm going to put in the Let's Play. The spirits are just a bit too long. But over these next five episodes, six including today's, I would like to canvas all the really fun achievements and lore things. Like, the, the thing that's kind of on my mind is Club Canark, to be honest with you guys. Like, imagine that I never went to Cl Club Canark yesterday or today, and I just said that's the end of the LP. That would have been a huge part of End of Dragons that I missed. And wouldn't have been on this series. And I'm just a little bit concerned that maybe something else like that's going on again. I doubt that there is anything as cool as Club, Club Canark out there. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think five more days is nice. And we'll be looking at Endwalker after that. I, I think I'll feel really quite robustly complete at that point. And, um, and then, yeah, we'll, um, <clears throat> we'll obviously keep playing and covering Guild Wars. But, uh, yeah, that's the idea. Now, uh, there's a lot of story discussion going on at the moment because I did my big review. 
a lot of story discussion. I have read thousands of messages. Most of them walls of text. Um, and I really, really love the, the conversation that's happening. And, uh, you know, there are some people, some dissenters, but there's also a lot of people that feel like sort of the review embodies, at least in the ballpark, a, a good chunk of how they feel and so on. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with that. It's nice to feel affirmed or whatever. Um, but there have been some revelations as well that have come out of it. There's just so much to respond to. It's crazy. And it's going to get its own dedicated YouTube video. How do I do this? I just go down? Where's the hell's the entrance? Here's the entrance. So we walk in, right? And it should there should be a... Some kind of big, growing, um... Expanding orange ring, isn't there? And we've got to dodge the orange ring. There, that. Oh! Oh, there was, it was real quick! Oh, my lord. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. Uh... One, of, I just got to say, I woke up this morning and read a really, really great message from... Uh, dodged? Excellent. I think that's it. I, I, I really think that's it. I read a great message from one of you guys. And it was... The, you know I have that whole bit in the review about how I'm a bit worried that Void is everywhere. Good, good. These dodges are really fun. Um, there were two examples of Void that I never gave. That I think... Uh, I think someone's pointed out to me. And are actually brilliant. And they're totally, they're totally it. Like, they're really void. Really void. Hinted at in previous stories. And the reason I believe in them so much is because it's fairly new content. Now, the message I read was someone said, Don't you remember all this time ago they set this thing up? <laughs> all this time ago. When it's like two of the most recent patches in the game. But, um, Sunqua Peak. That's void. That is a void story. The Sorrowful Spellcaster. She's impacted by Void. There's no question in my mind. That is 100% what that is. And that is additional context there. And I fully believe in it. Does that mean that there's been some intricate plan in the, in the game's DNA for 10 years? No. Alright? But that's definitely something that they had planned. And even Deepstone. Deepstone is Void as well. I fully believe that that's true too. So, and I, did, I never mentioned either of those in my review. But uh, I think that's, that's absolutely accurate. Um, there's a tweet as well. I think it's Cameron. Who is it? Whose tweet is it? Someone, some dev. <laughs> so disrespectful. Someone, I can't remember who, uh, like has a, has a cryptic tweet, sort of, about like how early they set stuff up. And look, it's also definitely true that Mother was going to be the Deep Sea Dragon since at least season four. Now that's still recent shit to me. But, because you got to remember, and I was talking about this in my End of Dragons dailies. I actually have a, a tweet at the moment. Someone said, hey, I thought you were crazy, WP, in the early End of Dragons dailies, talking about this. But I thought you were reaching, but you weren't. Uh, apparently, in the early End of Dragons dailies, we were talking about this. I have no memory of it. But, um, you know, when, when, when Kraukatorik says mother, you hear waves. You hear the, the crashing of water, right? And, that, that, and we talked about that in End of Dragons daily, and we said, hey, uh, I, I don't remember doing the daily discussion. But we said, hey, this probably means that the Deep Sea Dragon is Mother or something. Or at least connected to Mother. Or, you know, it's the, it's the Deep Sea Dragon's heritage. At least at least somewhere in that ballpark. I don't think that the Season 4 hint absolutely confirmed without a shadow of a doubt that they were going to merge the two dragons completely. Essentially killing a dragon off. I don't think that that's the case. There we go. We got it. Dodger of Darkness. Oh, they want me to dodge 25. Sorry, why is that so high? Am I supposed to come back and do this daily or something? I don't think it's, um... You know, like, like I say, I, you can interpret that wave when Kraukatorik says mother as just meaning mother... It, it Again, like I just said, is of the Deep Sea Dragon's lineage or was born from the from a previous Deep Sea Dragon or, you know, there's there's a, there are a lot of ways that it doesn't mean they're literally identical. But in retrospect, it clearly is a hint that that's what they were going to be going for. Um, not even in retrospect. I mean, even back then, I think we were saying it. So anyway, that, that was nice to remember. Because I'd actually, despite that discussion on End of Dragons Daily, despite having made that observation multiple times, I mean, I can't remember. The playlist that I made right before this series, where we went through the entire game, right? So literally this month, when we finish Season 4, this month... And by that, I mean within the most recent 30 days. 
did I did I talk about the waves at the end? I don't think I did a whole conversation, but did I even mention it? Anyway, um, <clears throat> in more recent times, I hadn't been thinking of that, and it didn't get in my review at all. But it's a good point. So anyway, uh, just a lot of story discussion. I've been really interested in people's take on June. As, no, it's not daily, because it's fucking diving goggles and a mastery in sight, neither of which I will ever return to again. Um... June's a really interesting one, I think. It doesn't seem to proc the oranges on my way back down, which is really weird. I feel like uh, a lot of people, like, inhale story very differently to me. Is that an exit? But it's a one-way exit. Oh, shit. I didn't do this before. She's a champion. Oh, God. But I don't have quality of life on this build. And that's an unbreakable break bar. What is this? By those who have blue resonance. Wait. Resonance? As in... Like what we saw in the Icebridge Saga. Wait, where do I get resonance? This is cool as shit. Let's fight this. I'm in a squad, by the way. If anyone wants to play with me, you can just type slash squad. I'm not appearing offline. You can type slash squad join and get on in. I mean, I'd love to do that, especially if we're going to do more of those race things in Kainang in a, center, in, in a second. Anyone in the live chat? I should tell people in the guild as well. Why do I get resonance? So is this, this, this maze is a little bit more detailed than I gave it credit for, which is brilliant. I'm, I'd love to be wrong here. Yeah, I think people will play and experience story very differently to me. I played this. I looked at Lee as a guy draped in red flags. Who was like this evil looking dickhead, right? And I immediately saw at June as like this savior inventor archetype, right? Straight away. And what I kind of saw with that is I thought, okay, they've made that really obvious. I want this to be a story that challenges those conceptions of mine. I want to be taken on some twists and turns. I want to be jerked about a bit. I want to find out there's something redemptive to Lee. I want to find out that there's something ultimately corrosive about June, you know? I want them to, t to challenge it and twist me around and do some stuff, you know? So then when Lee is just the bad guy and June is just, oh, I'm sorry, and then we forgive her, despite the fact they both, like, literally tried to kill us, that to me was really sour to me. I didn't like that because nothing was challenged. Everything went according to exactly how they telegraphed and it, it was boring. You know, it was it was that was not a satisfying story to me Because it was so linear And that's why the example I gave in my review as well was look people predicted this as well Like before the game even came out like that that was lame to me the ultimate conclusion was lame I spent the whole expansion Wondering if June was gonna betray me because that's really what I wanted to see because I thought they would challenge me in some way And I spent the whole time wondering if there was something great was gonna happen with Lee And so then when it became really obvious Lee was just the bad guy and when it became really obvious I was doing this mansion instance just to forgive June. I was I really didn't like that It was too linear and it's funny because like so that's my argument But when I read a lot of the comments on the review People are like oh, I really liked June. I spent the whole time wondering if she was gonna betray me Ooh, but that was Surely that was I did that too, but that was in it with a desire To see the story do something fun and it didn't do anything fun You know Taesung's right so that to it's me is like I human. don't like but you'd be the June stuff and I don't like the least stuff Waves? It feels like it was insincere. That's why I say that it felt insincere. Yeah, but people played the exact same story and had those exact same emotions as me. Yes, and the their interpretation is this is good storytelling. So I just, I really can't wrap my head around that. You know, I really don't get the logic there. Um, but they have it. I mean, I, I, I don't know, maybe. And I don't know, I, 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 I've got to stop myself being a snob because I kind of look at that and I think, well, people in that situation, they just like. They don't really want to be challenged by the story. They're, they're, they're quite happy with a linear story. They're not really thinking that deeply about it. Or they've, you know, they're not tired of linear stories yet because they I haven't, haven't seen you out here. They haven't actually, <laughs> I don't know, 
So they haven't seen as much fucking movies as me or something. Me. I don't know. You know, I want to be a snob. I want to say that I have the advanced sensibility and they don't. Stupid friends out of the village. Um, maybe the the essence is over here. So that's been really interesting to see. And I mean, well, people have been very polite and stuff. I hope I've been polite here in my little observation, but that, that's been rattling around in my head too. What is? Oh, resonance. This is red resonance. I can now fight the red boss. Okay, so let's let's look for a red boss, I guess. The question is, is the red boss going to be in this side of the maze as well? Because that would suggest that the blue resonance is in the blue side of the maze, and I was just a dumbass and I, I couldn't quite see it. Isn't June a good character for the perceived duplicity? Even when she's good in the end, she wasn't a goody two shoes all the time. I mean, I agree with that. I agree. She is. She. She. She does have a little bit more going on to her than 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 you than they otherwise could have done. She is a bit of a dick, and she does have that independent streak, and she is arrogant. You know, I see a lot of me in her, to be honest, and I kind of like that. You know, I don't really consume media looking for a representation in that media. That's not like an important thing to me, really. Um, but it is like I don't really care if I relate to a character really I, I I think that's sort of just a personal thing with me but I do kind of relate to June so I suppose that's nice is this I honestly thought that rock was gonna open does the residents have a timer no the only game is just don't get kicked out oh is this green residents what is that encroaching duck yeah okay green residents green is what I needed before isn't it Holy shit, there's a whole, there's all content in here. But yeah, so I did like that about June, you know. June had a character, let's just put it that way. She's not some boring genius inventor that sweeps into the scene and, 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 and saves everyone with her tech. She's, she, as someone said in, uh, in one of their comments, you know, she, she's illegally dumping and, you know, she thinks she's a cut above. Isn't it with her that they suggest, you know, she thinks she's above the rules or whatever, that she can't be dragged down. There's there's some comment about that in the expansion as well, and I quite like that. So, you know, that's all good detailing to June. That That is all good detailing, and, and to be fair, I, I probably should have... All right, here, let's go into here. Complimented that a little bit more. This object glows with a faint resonance, yet the air about it feels off. Oh, somebody else did it. What is this? We need blue? I don't have blue. Fuck me! Wait, do I have blue? I think I have blue. I think we're okay. Jesus Christ! I, I'm gonna range it here because... <clears throat> oh, let's stand in this. You guys want to be real careful resin that shit. Can I just say, be real careful because you will get Greatsword freed and suddenly there's gonna be three bodies on the field. Nice break again. Oh, I kind of want to start. I think that thief's using... Uh, at least Bassy. So I kind of want to absorb that. With a break bar, weakness won't matter. None of that. So you just got to like be careful. This is quite good, isn't it? There's a lot of... I feel like I'm not doing anything to this break bar. But maybe it's because it's scaled. Let me just be 100% clear. I need blue. Yeah, and I don't have blue. I'm not doing shit. <laughs> I can't condi her. I've not. Oh, I can, but I'm doing like barely any damage. Is this enough for a tag? I wonder. It's these guys doing this. It's not me. I was thinking she's fucking tanky, but it's because I'm zero contribution. Possibly scaling up. But oh, look at this. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm providing booms basically. I'm a boom bot. Go on, get in there, everyone. Let's see. Thirty-six torment. I don't have red. Sorry, I don't have green, and I don't have green. Wait, no, I do have green. Why the fuck can't I hurt her? God, I'm an idiot. Green resonance. Green resonance. Oh, that was nice. I could just sneak in there. She's just tanky as hell. I mean, I'm doing more power damage than Condi here. I may as well have just swapped the power build if I knew. Oh, let's grab that. Oh, yeah, I am contributing. I, I am contributing. Holy shit, she evaded it. I think I only 
remember yesterday seeing an achievement that did allude to these guys. This is fucking crazy. There's no timer here. But there is a there is a group event at the temple. That might be what I need. Tai Young. Oh, I did that too early. Um I'm getting out of shroud here so that I can get back in in a second. much when you did over the weekend. Oh, I'm now realizing it's because she's cleansing out the ass. Of course it is. Yeah, I hadn't even really looked at that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she does not give a fuck. She's got like classic berserker stance before resistance was a thing, which is now resolution. I wonder if that's what they're going for, since she is the spirit of the Berserker. Not that that skill was associated with the Berserker Elite Specialization, it predates that too, but... <laughs> the insane shit you can end up thinking. <laughs> you got all these patches and game errors. <clears throat> she claims and becomes tanky when people who already did the puzzle come help. It's weird. Really? Huh. So where's my best power damage? This actually teaches me a bit here. I think Dark Barrage is... It's pretty good. I mean, the autos are good. Pistol's not great with power damage. Except for three if it crits is okay. None of them are going to be that great. It's definitely just hanging in shroud that I should be doing here. The uh, four is all right. What was what, this called? Voracious Arc. Okay, here we go. Ready? <clears throat> Dark Barrage. Devouring Cut. Voracious Arc. Fuck, what are the other two called? I can't remember what the auto and the five's called. Okay. And there's a chest. What's that all about, though? Oh, dang it, man. Or it's because there were people who didn't have... Oh shit, I couldn't see the AOE. Okay, so I have red essence now. So let's go kill the red the red guy, I guess. Someone running Gale Song, by the way. Do you see that? He stun broke the whole Zerg and gave us all super speed. Because he ate the thing. <clears throat> and by that I mean got hit by the... This is cool, by the way. This is like the uh, Bone Skinner Labyrinth. But done better. There's something about these AoEs that's really satisfying to dodge. I don't know what it is. I think because it's proccing an evade frame, even though quite often I feel like I wouldn't be in the ring anymore. Like there. Like I wasn't really in the radius, was I? But it was, it was... It gave me the evade. Maybe that actually means they're really annoying and bad because... Right, it was over here, right? The red, the red boss? Because if you're not evading, you're going to get caught by all of them. Yeah, here we go. This, oh. Oh, this is the blue boss. I don't have the blue. Don't follow me, guys. I don't have blue. Oh, shit. I thought I was going to come here just for a moment, but... We've got a real adventure here now. Should probably wait in a light. Get my health back. <laughs> Take a sip of coffee. <clears throat> Sorry, what's this? Worried about WP for a second. He's sitting at a 23 to 334 ratio at the moment. So it was sort of shocking. Even as an approximation, that's scary. Wait, what are you approximating about me? What have I done wrong? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> 23 to 334 ratio. For what? 
Oh shit. Looking at chat and I got tagged. Actually, I might have just been out of endurance. Aha! Blue! I have the Trinity now. Well, no, I lost green because we killed the green guy. Oh, likes to dislike. Oh, 23 likes and 334 dislikes. Oh, wait, so do dislikes still exist? They're just not shown, right? I, I haven't really looked. Can I, can I look? This isn't the right boss. We already did this guy, right? I'm going back in. Oh, there you go. That's Dodger of Darkness. That's what we actually came for. And suddenly the 25 makes a lot more sense. I should wait before I criticize. I'm really interested in that there. You guys are about to teach me something about YouTube, but... Wait, just straight up dead end? We'll be done. This way, right? Hold on. I'm getting, like, claustrophobia now. I'm getting nervous that three hours of running around in a maze is going to get really supremely unentertaining for people. We're just going to get this last boss, right? Wow, well, hold on, but surely there's three bosses, and I've only killed one. All I know is we get to the mastery point and we take a right. That's basically the situation. Oh, there we go. Mastery point. So, so it's this way. Here, guys. I'm, I'm now about to engage on the blue boss. I could use Shroud 4 for this extra evade as well, by the way. Here we go. The blue boss. Your time is up, blue boss. There you go. She's not cleansing. I wonder when someone comes over without the buff, it will start though. Oh, thank you for the Aegis. Who is this? This is an illusionist. Oh, it's a virtuoso. I see. That's dagger. Oh. I avoided my dagger too. Wow, you guys got that real quick. I was that like, greeting all my DPS cooldowns. I was going to Spectral Grass Blast. Two dark barrages. Basically, I'm doing a thing where I go for like three dark barrages and then back out. Because about that point, your cooldowns are back. You could refresh. Um... You can refresh the trait at that point. Jesus Christ, I didn't even take the level that. There we go. That's two. I mean, to what end? Are we get? Are we, are we, I assume there's a, an achievement for getting all three. Okay, we just got to find the red boss now. If anyone knows where the red boss is, let me know. I don't think I even stumbled into their room yet. That's a great animation, that, coming up and down. With all the little spirit things connected to it. I don't remember in Heart of Thorns having that kind of detail. We just got to find old ready guy. There's going to be some kind of wall, right, that... A heart of thorns looking wall that's gonna deteriorate and the way I got to get to it is I've got to think about what my instinct would be I gotta do the reverse one what's this you can still see dislikes in the creator tab if you enable it not sure what setting is there by default Oh, I see. So the, the the content creators themselves can still get that analytical information if they want. Because I should have gone to that lamp, I think. If I die, is that it? Do I lose? <gasps> do I lose it all now? Oh no! I lost my resonance. Do I lose? Do I have to do all three in one run? Bro, there's not even an achievement for this. What is that for? Just a little chest? Maybe it's, not, it's a hidden achievement? I should have gone in the lamp. I didn't realise it was so... Um, so tight. Well, that's fine. I guess we'll just move on then. <clears throat> There's a loot room when you do all three bosses. 
You have to do this as a part of the Guardian Once More achievement. A Guardian Once More. Work with Kyung to determine the fate of Zinra. Oh! Oh, and I don't even have the start of that story yet. Alright, fine. We'll, we'll definitely come back later then. Because I don't want to have to do it twice. Because I, you know, didn't even get the uh, thing. Where would I start the Guardian Once More Zinra achievement? Go back in. You only have the resonance buffs inside the maze. The red boss is getting killed right now. Well, guys, I mean, I, I don't get anything from it. There's no point. I may as well start the actual quest. Do you know what I mean? A guardian once more. Work with Kyung to determine the fate of Zinra. You've given me no hint about where to start that arena. Now. What do you get from chests from 40k plus? Fuck all. You get like nothing. Pinnacle weapons. Once the pinnacle weapons are gone, that's it. It's over. It's a heavily out of date system. It came in in like 2013 and they haven't touched it since. So, which to be fair to them, they managed to go pretty good there. They, they got a lot of mileage. Oh look, I got an achievement. Um, not an achievement, an event complete. You start at a little temple between the harbour and Zendaijun. Okay, let's go have a look. We're at Zendaijun. <clears throat> I love that idea, by the way, of that maze. Thinking about Guild Wars 1, the fact I can go down into those valleys now and there's a maze down there. Oh, sorry, there are titles. There are titles as you go up. At 50k AP, there's a title. And at 60k, there's a title. I actually can't remember where that ends. Does anyone, uh, anyone know what the final achievement point title is? It's like the Guild Wars 2 equivalent of God working, walking amongst mere mortals, but they all have terrible names. They were all so uninspired on this, uh, this one. It's like Furious Achiever and shit. It's like they're rubbish. I can't remember what the last one's called. It'll be like Illustrious Achiever or something. It's something you wouldn't blink at to see on a random player. You, it wouldn't be anything. Every 5k you get 400 gems. Yeah, but no one up at 40k cares that much about a couple of gems. They're all something word achiever. They all blend together so they've got no value. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're, it's really, really bad. <clears throat> Has EU spud got spots? Uh, my mail is full, so other people would get in before you, I'm afraid. We have one spot. One guy left the guild at some point. Farewell to you, stranger. I hope you had fun over End of Dragons release, but aside from that, we have 499 people out of 500, and the, somewhat, the earliest message on my mail will, will get in it, I'm afraid. That doesn't stop you coming to claim the hall with us, by the way. Is this where the kid is? What, what is this? I don't even know if they're a kid, by the way. I, I just assume they are, for some odd reason. At a small shrine between the harbour and Zendaijun. Maybe it's that small shrine there. Let's go to that place. The final one is Uncontrollable Achiever. They probably quit the game after failing the final map. <clears throat> Somehow this doesn't look like it. Start in Arborstone. You read a book. in Arborstone that I've been missing this whole time. I love how the map is so big and so far away now. I just... I really do feel like I have a different world map, you know? Functionally speaking. Still no new AP armor. This is kind of sad. Look, I, uh... This is the kind of shit that I argue for that Guild Wars needs patches about more than anything else because it's like incentive and if this really was done well if it didn't just get dumped in on one patch and then ignored but it had like some hammer out patches and stuff this system this is incredibly good I would kill login rewards and look at this system basically 
Because um, people would really... If people were invested in this, half the content everyone skipped in POF and Heart of Thorns and, and in End of Dragon... You see what this episode of the LP is? Most people aren't doing this because they think, oh, I'm not on the leaderboard, so therefore it doesn't matter. But, you know, if this was better, they would all know it. I My comparison I made to this before was... Um, Fallout 76 is uh, like season thing. They they have this, but instead of it just being this gross little line, they have it looking like a big like game board that you, you just progress come in from the trail. And it resets every now and then too. It is really good, and I think Guild Wars could have done that very very well. You see anything strange? Strange? How? Is that Stuff not is looking right. right. No, it's a workman. Not acting right. Now that you mention it. Uh... Two songbirds were attacking one another. Kanaki's and teleporting me back downstairs each other to death. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That Shawrider pet snaffle give me a Battered a Tengu problem. Refugee Journal. The Huangs are getting nervous. We've been hiding in their barn for seven months, and ministry officials have been close to discovering us at least a dozen times. I could barely get Jicky into the straw last time. He couldn't understand why we have to do this. I had to hold his beak tight to keep him quiet. The Huangs had a rumour of a group of Kestrels who would take a Tengu to a place of safety here in Cantha. Once a month, once a month, this is basically the Dominion of Winds, but Cantha style. Once a month, they stop nearby to collect refugees. I don't know how I'll convince Mother or how I'll keep the fledglings quiet, but I have to try. We've been on the road three days now. We're never quiet enough for the Kestrel Ziri. He's stern and humorless. Jicky gets in trouble constantly. I have to remind him to listen to the Kestrel, to move deliberately, to look for the spaces others won't think to. We can't get caught. We have to leave Mother behind. She just couldn't do the things Ziri asks. Her body is old, frail, and her mind too inflexible. She told me I had to go to keep the fledgling safe. I'll miss her. I've lost so many. My father, my Hiori. What is this word? Uh, anyone know in the live chat? But my first duty is to my fledglings. We arrived at our destination, a Kurzic ruin in Echovald. At first, I didn't think anyone was uh, anyone was here. And then I looked the way the Kestrel taught us, to see what we might normally think to. And I realised there were dozens of Tengu, more than a hundred, scattered around, living in the quiet places. Ziri told me this was our home now, as long as we wanted. And his stern demeanour broke, and he told us he was proud of us. Jicky especially, who is almost a shadow now. Ah, oh, I love for that. That's a really great little short story. This is good, man. Oh, I'm so happy and proud of them here. This is a really good little, very, very, like, it paints a very, very strong picture for me. And it's in the law UI and it's all working out. It's good shit, man. I like that. Um, okay. What do we call that? Is that, is that a coder, is it? Is that the term I need to use? Someone, um... Someone used that phrase the other day when describing all the little scenes you get with Marjorie. This pure chaos. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, okay, what we got here? Hello. Balamri. Well, 35 shelves in, it's looking like another bust. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Looking for something? Oh, I didn't see you there. Balamri, curator for the Kainang Historical Society. Uh, well, well, former cu... Uh, let me read that again. Sorry, I got distracted. Hold on. What's this YouTube like dislike thing? Are you guys telling me there's an add on the public can use to continue seeing dislikes if they want? Is that the point you're making? And you're also telling me that it's broken? Is that what you're, you guys are telling me? Todd is too busy releasing Skyrim for the 20th time. <laughs> yeah, I kind of felt a bit like an Elder Scrolls book there. I think theirs are a little. The Elder Scrolls books are interesting because they're either longer or because of the way that they did the UI with the pages. They get less information per page and you get a full page turn and animation and stuff. They feel longer. I don't know which one it is. Okay. I understand. It approximates. It's not accurate. And what does it have it reversed? I would assume that's reversed. Okay. I'm no longer distracted. Oh, I didn't see you there. Balamri, curator of the Kainang Historical Society. Well, former curator now. I guess my research was a bit too controversial for a few of our distinguished patrons. Controversial how? I specialize in forbidden texts and banned books purged by the ancient Ministry of Purity. Between the censorship and the propaganda, there's so little we know of their regime. I call it 
our lost history. Why would that be controversial? Oh, the usual. Powerful families worried about surfacing old purist connections. Bureaucrats worried about reopening old wounds with the Tengu. Some officials prefer the past to stay buried. And you're looking for some of your lost history here? Something like that. My ancestor hid troves of incriminating documents from the ministry to keep them from being destroyed. I'd hope to find one hidden here, but no such luck. Your ancestor? Yeah, he was one of the first recruits in the original Ministry of Purity. But he had a change of heart. I believe it's my responsibility to finish his, his work by bringing the truth to light. Oh god, who could this be? It could be a character from Winds of Change. Oh, I should have watched Lorana East playthrough, so it was fresh in my mind. <laughs> oh, what? Who might this be? Do we actually convince anyone to turn their back? I mean, probably loads of random no-names. Oh, is it Zayri? Do you think it's Zayri? The hard mode hero unlock. The original guy who gives you the first quests. Do you think it's Zayri? If they've been hidden for centuries, how are you finding them? When he died, he left clues behind for his allies to decipher that would lead them to his hidden caches. It took years to piece these together. Fat lot of good it does me now, though. What do you mean? Have you been outside? It was harrowing enough just getting here. There's no way I'd survive the return trip. I can't do much except hope these records survive the chaos. Dude, some of the dialogue in this expansion makes the void shit look really apocalyptic. Oh, imagine if this expansion's back half was full on Tyria Apocalypse. Like an actual, like... And I appreciate they can't really go back to old maps and do stuff, but... Just, just, I really want you guys to imagine that. I never included that in my story review, but I'm telling you guys. Like, the, the conclusion of this saga, the kind of epic proportion and scale I would want for this. I'd want to see, like, the world plunged into darkness kind of thing. I could track these down for you. Wait, are you serious? That's fantastic. Here, take my notes. Oh, and you'll want to meet my contact in the Ministry of Archives. This is Juwan Ral. He'll be working in the archives somewhere. Why should I meet him? Well, it's been centuries. Some of the hidden records have wound up in the Imperial Archives just by accidental discovery. So, we'll ask Ral for the records of the archives here. Should be easy. By the way, she might not even be talking about Void there. She, she, just could, she could just be talking about the Brotherhood and the Speakers conflict. Okay, let's see the clues. Dude... This is it. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I wanted to be doing yesterday and the part before, to be honest. <clears throat> the truth may be hidden, distorted, or lost, but never destroyed. Well, it can be, can't it? Eventually, it always finds its way back to the light. Zay Re, former purist initiate. I see. This is a quote from a guy. He's, so it's okay for him to be wrong. Dude! So, <clears throat> just so that everyone knows, in Guild Wars 1... The Winds of Change campaign is about the Ministry of Purity getting built up. And it starts with an NPC of the Ministry giving you a bunch of quests to deal with Afflicted. And like, basically expanding the Ministry's power in the realm and sort of their, their, their aggressive policy. And they're sort of like, if it doesn't work for us, we need to cut it down kind of mindset. And that works to everyone's advantage at the start because you're dealing with the Afflicted. But then they start doing it to gangs and they start doing it and, and you know the sphere expands and expands and expands and the fanaticism grows and grows and grows until eventually everyone's a target unless you're in this very specific demographic right so you've got like this fanatic kind of like um and it, the, the name of the ministry is kind of on the nose but these purists that will uh, sort of batter everyone else and everything and it re-escalates the the conflict with the tengu here in guild wars 2 we hear about how they killed all the dredge and stuff that wasn't even in the first game so yeah um Anyway, this first guy that was giving you the quest with the afflicted stuff, uh, eventually he changes heart, Zayri, and um, he does leave. Now, if you beat all of Winds of Change on hard mode, if you replay the whole thing and you do it on hard mode, you actually get him as a hero. I'm pretty sure he was the hard mode hero. Let me have a quick look here. Which was just like the coolest unlock. And when I say beating Winds of Change hard mode, I want you all to be very clear. This is the last Guild Wars content in the whole game. Actually, I don't know. Was he the hard mode hero? 
Yes, he was. He was the hard mode hero. Okay, I just wanted to know 100%. So basically, you beat the final stuff on the most difficult mode, and you got a whole hero as an unlock, which was very cool. So now we find out that after all of that, this is his adventure. This is what he did. I'm well up for this. Okay, so let's go to the archives. Now, this is why someone was telling me to go back to the archives. They said once you beat the game, there's more stuff at the archives. But hold on, hold on. This is not the Zun request. So I assume... The burning of the forever trees. I assume that there's something else we can get. The tree singers were singing until their final seconds. Swords burst through chests as their final breaths came out in high, painful notes. Then the ministry's forces came with fire, which engulfed the forever tree. It wasn't necessary. The tree would have died eventually anyway without the singer's song to sustain it. But the ministry wanted the tree to die as quickly as possible, because as the tree started to burn, its juggernaut, which was still fighting off the ministry forces as best it could, staggered. It fell to the ground, weakened, and the ministry's cowardly forces overwhelmed it, hacking at it with their swords, even though it was already turning to ash with its forever tree. Oh, that's such a cool image, isn't it? You burn the tree and the juggernaut it's spiritually paired with also turns to ash. The glowing blue light in its chest gradually dimmed until finally it winked out. And then the fire grew out of control and everyone ran. Everyone but me. I stayed and watched as the forever tree and the juggernaut and the tree singers all burned together. The way they'd lived. Their life forces all bound together as one. It was a terrible thing. A terrible thing. Dude, when did this book appear here? Hold on, how does the, mar the Arbor Stone Mastery work? Expunged? Expunged? Redacted? Ooh, this one was banned from the Xing Jie curriculum. Twice! Okay. Hold on, let me get a sense of where I am, because I'm going to want to come back here. Here, look, 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 look. Collection available. This is so stupid, ArenaNet. Call it a fucking quest and give it a starburst. People are missing this shit collection available. It's content! Oh, and the word collection has such like a negative rep in this community. Oh, isn't this the guy? Who he? Oh, no, no, no. I think he just runs the whole place. He won't speak to me. Weathered book. A slightly weathered book lies before you with a faint smell of salt and sand. Here you go. A guardian once more. We got it now. Call it a story. I mean, yeah, story allows them to avoid the, the frightening connotations behind a traditional quest. Okay, um, Mina just messaged me, by the way, or a bit ago. We're going to be doing the Guildhall capture two hours from now. When I say a bit, I mean she messaged an hour ago. <laughs> so, and I just saw the message. So, two hours away, we'll cap it. If only they added cool rewards to those collections. Dude, they add achievement points to those collections, and your blame goes back to this. This is what I've been saying. Achieving points is fine. A global currency based on participation inside content, it's beautiful. But your incentive for achievement points dies when your incentive for this dies. You think if there wasn't a legendary mount on this track, people wouldn't start wanking off over achievement points and thus all the other side content? It's the way to go, man. Okay, The Mysterious Disappearance of Zunra by Kang Hees. As ancient protector of the Zendaijun region, the Kirin spirit Zunra roamed Xingji's southern valleys and woods for much of Canton history. Historically, Zendaijun served as a holy ground for Canton spiritual practice and pilgrimage. Zunra swore his life to protecting these lands. And those who inhabited them. Sorry, I was just rereading this, the top because I read it out loud, but it, did, it didn't sink in. So, uh, For years, he maintained the delicate spiritual balance of good and purity in the area. So we don't really... He's still just sort of kind of described as... Um, a uh, Just a friendly spirit. I didn't realise it was a he, by the way. Sadly, the Noble Kirin's initiatives would be indefinitely halted by the effects of the Ministry of Purity's purge as its impacts for the generation and its impacts for the generations to follow. The detrimental fallout of these extreme measures overwhelmed the greater Xingjie Prefecture. Despite the Kirin's vows to protect Zendaijun, violence and destruction inundated the region. 
Fearing the prefecture's fall into an infernal valley of devastation, Zunra attempted to intervene and halt the ministry's violent initiative. Several first-hand accounts collected from this time recount sightings of Zunra defending the inhabitants of the area from ministry guards and his attempts... Oh, wait, how's this go? Oh, sorry. And his attempts to halt the brutality. According to historical records, the Ministry's Purge remains the last known sighting of the infamous Kirin Guardian. Rumours and speculation regarding Zinra's whereabouts are as copious and dubious as the sources they spring from. Some believe the Kirin fled to the spirit realm in a gesture of symbolic sorry, in a gesture symbolic of his loss of faith in humanity. Others believe he was injured and kidnapped, and he still remains trapped within the realm against his will. To this day, several inhabitants who claim sensitivity to the divine swear that Zunra's presence remains strong and his devotion unwavering within Zendaijan. Okay, I have to stop, right? I don't mean to like be too relentlessly geeking out and stuff. But um look, whenever like a new Guild Wars like product comes out, whether it's like a Living World episode like the Drizzlewood Coast, right? Or whether it's like a full expansion like Heart of Thorns giving us the Maguma Jungle. You know, you have these ideas of the things you want to see that the content touches on. Like the Balthazar Temple in Heart of Thorns, right? Or like the Realm of Torment entrance in Path of Fire. You know, you have these ideas, the Tomb of the Primeval Kings. And it's like, okay, what could they do with that in Guild Wars 2? And nearly every time in Guild Wars 2, it's either a part of the main story and kind of rushed through anyway... So you sort of get a sense that you're satisfied, but maybe they could have done more. Like with the Tomb of the Primeval Kings. Or, it's just a tiny map completion thing. And there might be like one random event there or something. Like, say, the Temple of Balthazar in the Maguma Jungle. And as a lore enthusiast, as a Guild Wars 1 enthusiast, it's like relentlessly disappointing. The ways in which Guild Wars 2 can like... Explore its set pieces. They're never good enough, really. I mean, they, sometimes they're good enough. But mo there, there's so many, most of the time they're not good enough. Now, when it comes to Cantha, obviously there's a bunch of other things. Ergos, the Forever Trees, all that kind of shit. And this, like Zunra. This, this is fucking perfect. Zunra isn't really in the main story. So what's Zunra going to be? A disappointing little thing out in the open world? No, no, no. There's like a whole quest about Zunra. And a, a good meaty introduction and conversation about Zunra. I'm actually playing this. This is con. This is really good. This is good in a way that other Guild Wars expansions have not been good. This is exactly what I want. I actually feel like they've hit the beat here. I would want this for the Balthazar Temple. I would want this for the entrance of the Realm of Torment. I'd want this for the Tomb of the Primeval Kings. I'd want this for, you know, conversation about giant ruins in Drizzlewood Coast or stuff on Ember Bay, anywhere, everywhere. This is good, man. This is, and I haven't even played the whole thing, but already it's, it's hit a, a much higher standard, I think. So let's, let's eyeball this. It's not telegraphed well. And its rewards need working out. Let's return to this thing. But, you know, this is good. Okay, so which one do we want to do? Are there more as well? Is it just the two for now? There might be more books to read. Let's go around here. Oh boy, the marketing team, those were dark days. Why are you guys talking about the marketing? I actually saw the weirdest tweet from ArenaNet yesterday, I think it was. It was like an End of Dragons thing with Marjorie and, like, Kazmir on it. And they were standing next to a giant fucking burger. Did you guys see the tweet? <laughs> and it makes sense. It's like some collaboration they've got with some restaurant, right? And I'm not, I'm not saying that, that, that it's a bad idea. But it was so surreal and weird to see just, like, this giant burger next to, like, Marjorie and Kazmir. It was really funny. Um, in kind of, like, a small way. <laughs> I just sort of kept looking along. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much more here. Unlock the Snargle co collection. Unironically, the best one in End of Dragons. When you say unironically, do you actually mean unironically or are you being ironic? Because most people on the internet now just say that when they're still being a bit, you know, jokey. Dude, you look like Liss. Yes. Mr. Goldclaw gave me a whole 
You look like male Liss. You've actually stolen my appearance. That's my color scheme. Those are my eyes. That's my hat. The difference here is you've got wings. You've got the black wings. And you look high. I am Liss 2.0. <laughs> Shameless. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Let's see your sky scale. Get on a sky scale if you have one. Let's see your mounts. Because a big part of the list fashion wars these days is the mounts. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Snargle's the one below me. Oh, no. His sky scale's different. Oh, he's got the shimmer wing. Okay. Snargle's below me. Oh, I like the raptor, though. Dude, the raptor's good. That's a fucking hot raptor. Is that a, is that a Krakatoric a branded raptor? But dyed good colors. Oh, look, it's better, Liss. How very dare you? This is hilarious, by the way. He's got, like, a cute dog, and he looks like an edgy, like... <laughs> Actually, what chest piece is this? I have a friend that would love that, because it's showing chest. Oh, his name's Marganite Cultist, and he's trying to look like a Marganite. Dude, come on. If you're doing the Marganite thing, you've got to have a Marganite-looking... Oh, he's gone with fiery-branded griffin as well. That's the spear marshal chest, is it? <clears throat> I like it though. You got the Abaddon. You, you you got you got the Marganite thing going on. I've done that with Rev before as well. You you got that on a Weaver. All right, all right. Before this becomes a fashion wars thing, no one looks better than Gux. I got to say, even Liss. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> Reporting to the fashion authorities as we speak. Sorry, so Snargles down here somewhere is he? So is that there's three big post game collections? Ah, oh, he's here. Oh, well, we probably get some good dialogue here as well. I've been enjoying the snuggle stuff. Let's see what we got. In a certain light, this place is much like the Eye of the North. Desolate and worn. A relic of a bygone era. Dude. Even just the fact that they blatantly compare it to the Eye of the North is cool to me. But, oh, you've got a word of way, way with words, Snuggle. Desolate and worn, a relic of a bygone era. My apologies, Commander. But you will find that today I am not in the usual world-class conversation list that one expects from Snargle Goldclaw. I find that I am possessed of a sort of melancholy. Uh, have you gotten to tour the forest since arriving? I have, and I must admit it is a great disappointment. I'd been led to expect it would be petrified. I suppose it's better that it's a thriving ecosystem once again. But certainly, the sight of so many ancient trees hardened to shafts oh, of I've stone read this. thrusting into the sky above. Well, that would have been uniquely arresting. Don't you agree? I remember we've heard this already. Why didn't I get his collection back then? How can I help, Snuggle? Just leave me to wallow in my misfortune. Did you know there's another literary auteur in these ruins? A serious author who writes serious literature. Please, what has she done that I have not? Can you believe she suggested I take inspiration from other artists? Me, like some... Amateur? If you want to help me, then go find some of these inspirations that Rookie recommended. Then I can get her off my back and fade into obscurity in peace. Oh, these are dark days for Snargle. Do you think he'll repeat himself? Oh, no, no. It popped the panel. But brilliant! I like that too. Needed a different telegraph, but it's good. Okay, so help Snuggle Goldclaw overcome a slump in his career. Talk to Mamoru in Mori Village about obtaining a Tengu made butt. Let's eyeball this. Get a toy bell from the children of Saitung. Remember, good little children stay in their beds at night. Purchase tea and a teapot from Lady Kanda's Tea House in Kaineng. Is that the Red Duck? And then we get well rounded title. Got the title system as well. Um, is that it now? I like how these people have so many rugs and things now and the fire is warming up. 
Well, all that time we spent in Club Canark, and this was where we should have been, guys. I don't understand how I didn't get that before. Because I definitely heard him talking about s trees of stone thrusting into the sky. <laughs> I mean, that's just the really memorable line right there. <laughs> I do remember that. Maybe he was talking about that in when I saw him previously. Maybe he said he wanted to visit Echovald because he wanted to see the thrusting trees. Solid as rock. Rising around him. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, does this one just take me across or down? Across. Oh, let's just go upstairs. I want to ding the uh, little jumping puzzle thing that we keep trying, but Kanark was snatching me away from just before we get back to uh, all the lore stuff. Can't believe my ancestors were. That's a great dialogue over there as well. I could do it from the orb, but I gotta learn my way around this damn place. I assume each of those objects, there's some kind of an event that they want me to do as well, for what it's worth. So plenty of questing and adventuring to do. Do you have anything else? We don't have any fancy city food, if that's what you mean. We serve good, honest, stick-to-your-ribs food here. Food that'll see you through a long day on the trail. Stick to your ribs. I like that phrase. I think we heard that before, by the way. Yeah, and these were all the crafting stations, and I was at the upper level before. And we could be doing this for our research kits if we really wanted. Uh, here's the Asura Gate. And here's the teleporter. It's near the Asura Gate. Wait. It's not letting me up, though. Bro! What about this one? No, teleport to the first one. I swear that's the teleport. Does red mean you can't go in it? Oh, no, here we go. Teleport to the third level. Okay. I think I just got to get a better sense of the geography on the, the ground floor. And it's on the left, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, the singer's spirit. I'm going to at least climb to the top once. I, I'm not going to grind all 500 or whatever it is. But I'm going to climb to the top once. Oh, it's daytime now, by the way. So I'll show you the forest. I love these mushrooms. These should be a guild or decoration for my magical forest. My magical forest. Our magical forest, guys. So just so that you know, uh, for EU spud, I mean, we can do it for NA as well. I, I don't know what the situation is. They might already be in that situation. But for EU spud, when we cap this hall, I'm going to put decoration rights. Or maybe it's already been done, actually. I, I don't know. But um, on everyone... Everyone can decorate no matter what even if you're like completely new and you've just joined friend of dragons uh, The thing about spud by the way is we have like enormous amounts of like community investment and gold and stuff um, oh God the temptation I'm doing it I'm gonna be greedy look at this look at all of these Jesus Christ. I already missed that many I What like the most efficient speed route is because you could just be zigzagging around, up, down, all over the place. Uh, yeah, so everyone can decorate. So we can do whatever we want, you know. And, and we really do have a great inventory of things. So you guys can uh, try and do something extreme with the hall. The one thing I would say is try not to just do a big jumping puzzle. Because, I don't know, I feel like that takes a huge amount of decorations. It doesn't really... Oh, I don't know. People can do whatever they want. All right. So then we can go into the fountain. There you go. I did 29. Out of 500. That's something I could grind off screen, you know. Arborstone Vault uh, Extraordinaire. Collect all possible ones in a single run. So it is a thing. Um, I'm not going to try and practice that right now. If I could sky scale, I, I think it would be a lot easier, but... Also, there's hide and seek here. Oh, look, there is a thing to donate to the band. That didn't ding for me, though, did it? Complete four behavior scans. Interior. Right, well, whatever. Okay, so here, check it out. Let's do this quick guild thing, and then I'm going to go play the quests. So the Lost Precipice. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, getting them all with the sky scales trivial. Yeah, oh, I believe it. I really do believe it. Okay, so the idea here is it's a magical forest, okay? So this place usually feels desert and barren, right? So, uh, you know, there's a lot of consideration here. The tree on the left, the tree on the right, like framing your view. And the whole point is if I zoom in and look up, we've got all these trees, right? Even like all the way back here, see? But these are all different trees that I manually had to place, you know, all up the cliffs, everywhere. To give you the impression. But it kind of only works from certain frames, you know, certain angles. So anyway, there's this. You got the mushrooms, you know. You got like mega trees where you stack a bunch of trees together. The vine walls from Heart of Thorns, you see. Some potted plants, potted ones are a bit tricky. I think uh, this also utilizes drizzlewood trees. I think these are drizzlewood trees, so. Which were kind of a big, big new addition to the halls. So anyway, and, uh, look, here we got all these. Um, these are uh, the plat. What are they called? Platters? Uh, lattices. Lattices is the word I'm trying to think of. So we've got some mushrooms. And we do have some gargoyle y kind of haunted things. There's some seance candles around that create ghosts. Some jade stuff here, and look, 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 see, so a bit of a, a water fountain, and this was like kind of a big, big job here. We've got lamp post, these bushes here that obscure your view. These are actually trees that I've placed way down low, so that sort of they plume up here, right? There's actually like a lot going on there. So, and what that does is that closes out the visuals, but also because the actual decoration itself is low down, it doesn't like interfere with the local cap of decorations here. I love the audio in the, the Lost Precipice, man. So yeah, and we strung up some lights between some of the trees as well, as you can see. And all the NPCs that people might talk to, you know, lots of trees there. And obviously in the background here as well, you're getting that greenery that otherwise you'd just be looking at cliffs. So, you know, you've got like multiple layers here, pulling back. And as you come along, you've got the, uh, the bridge with the rock archways. This is a decoration. This isn't actually here. It's all naturally very open and very barren. And the Dulux Heart of Thorns vine walls. Got all these trees. Mushrooms planted up the buildings as well, as you can see. And a few of the dead trees. The Halloween dead trees are really good for, like, the forest vibe. But if you, but they're also very empty and open. So they don't, like, clutter the visual as well. So they're better, like, higher up, I think. Like, if you put them low down, they just contest with the local cap low down. And they don't, like, con contribute to the foliage idea. So this is quite cool. This is, the, the drizzle with trees are so thick, you can actually kind of just make a wall of them. So all of this, which would usually be an open vista, is just walled off with tree after tree after tree. These trees here. They go all the way along. And create that closed infinite. So the first magical forest I ever made, we actually decorated on the interiors as well. But this time I didn't do that. I don't know what this is. What is this? People have made some little changes here and there. So look, this one's actually... Oh, no, no. Those are just uh, leaves coming in on the inside. The whole scribing room is just so broken and like unnecessary in the game at this point. How can I help you? Got some gold trophies. We could create a trophy room, I suppose, and like actually focus on trophies. Are, are they doing trophies and strike missions? I like the feature. This was a thing that <coughs> I was actually really aggravated about. Because when I made my first magical forest, I worked really hard on this that you can see here. You see this vine wall that's across? It used to be two really beautiful trees really close with a narrow gap between the two of them and it was very closed in and claustrophobic and just felt awesome right so and they were flanked left to right they were all along here you could not see out and it was like walking through like solid wood and it was really awesome and i came back like a day what day or two later like maybe a week later and someone had just deleted a bunch of the shit there and it was really hard to set up you know, so like this this wall, like they were this close in. And people had like deleted and started using trees elsewhere. And this was like one of the things I'd worked really hard on to just get the positioning just right. Because you have to create like scaffolding with Super Adventure Ops floors and stuff to get it right. And someone had just deleted them and there was no way to replace them or fix shit. And I was so sad. And I think what had happened is someone had thought, oh, my mount won't get through or something. So they just... And this also here, this was all blocked off properly before too. But now it's just a cluster. You'd have to delete everything and try again. Oh, and this whole wall here as well of the, like the rising the vines. I remember setting this up. I was really proud of that too. And again, it was like it was perfectly framed. 
And you could walk really deep into this as well with no sense of the outside world until about here when the cap ended. And yeah, I sort of accented it with the mushrooms. It's just broken now. And there's random trees. I didn't do any of these. Oh no, I did these ones because they contribute to that. But this area over here, I didn't do anything. This is other spuds. Let's go have a look. I would be so arrogant as to only show off my own. So Gux has never been here. Like these and stuff, I, I, I don't, like, this wasn't me. But they've made like a, a forest pathway, it looks like. Which is quite cool. This would have been one person like a year ago. I don't even know if they're around or who it was. But there you have it. And they've got some little shrines, some candles around. And here on the outside, you can get much more of a sense of like, oh, this is... This is not what you think it is, but it's, you know, I'm actually kind of, I, I prefer that you see behind the scenes of it. So here, this is a really important view as well, because this is just open as shit normally. And you've got like a big open area. It's, it's hard to figure out how to make that look like a forest. So what's actually going on here is a ton of like low level trees. These ones down here, see, to create this layer. And then the upper layer, there's just a bunch of trees like that tree there. They're just attached like way out on the wall back there. Again, just to try and close it in, and then the the, the uh, fountain stops you walking all the way over and seeing it. Got the art statue there. Bit of a look back. I like these bats too. The bats hanging across. I wanted lots more of these kinds of things. I'd love just a reverse of that. That's not Halloween. It's birds on the on the thing. I actually haven't played the, some of the recent festivals. Are they doing anything good with decorations at the moment, or are we sort of out of the out, out of the golden age for that? So here as well was tricky. Usually I block this all along. I don't know whether something was here and got removed. The airship's a funny thing that gets added to the hall, but it's kind of weird. And now it starts to empty out. In previous versions of the Magical Forest, I've had all of this done as well, and all the way up here. But on this occasion, not, not so much. So it's kind of emptying here now. But yeah, the very first Magical Forest had all of this. I'm telling you guys, you, uh, look, I know we're in End of Dragons, everyone's excited about the Isle of Reflection, but it ain't got shit on this hall. This hall, the Lost Precipice, this is by far the best hall. This hall is fucking awesome, and I get so much nostalgia and, like, excitement and wide-eyed enthusiasm for this. We're in Corteria, so I'm gonna Griffin. I love this hall. This wasn't me, those trees either. I like the little other attempts splotted around. Like, look at this fucking place. And all that stuff there as well. I haven't been up there for a long time. Actually, do you know what? I haven't even thought about this. What's further exploration in the Isle of, Re uh, the Isle of Reflection? I don't actually know what they'll do with that. It's funny how this hall feels like it's made for the griffin too, even though the griffin was much, a whole different era of the game. Look at this place, look at how expansive it is. All the details, the wind. Oh, farewell, farewell lost precipice. For probably like a year or two at least. Who knows? Maybe forever. I would hate to think it's forever, but maybe forever. If ArenaNet are like fast now, and there's another expansion in two years, and that expansion has a guild hall too, I mean, we'll probably just go from the Isle of Reflection to there, right? And never look back. But I hope we return one day. What a place. Alright, there you go. That's my salute goodbye. And in one hour... Not one hour, an hour and a half, something like that. We'll move on. We'll meet up with Kazmir and we'll go to Cantha. But look, 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 here's another argument. It's an economical asset to have your guild hall in Corteria. Because if you're playing in Cantha and you want a waypoint up here, you're going to spend Telton Silver. If you have a guild hall up here, you can port to the hall and then out and boom, it's all good. Actually, I suppose you could use the Guildhall Teleporter from the Isle of Reflection, which is also quite badass. This back piece, these wings, I, w I was really close to getting on the gem store the other day. But I don't... 
I feel like I just want to wear like a big like bear suit or something and put those on and make myself look like a moogle, you know? <laughs> like a giant moogle, like Yuna's outfit or something. Mascot outfit. Otherwise, I couldn't really figure out what to do with that. Okay, so. Let's move on. Let's do... Wow, I mean, which one do I want to pick? I'm actually going to un-eyeball that. There's the fate of House Zuhelzer. Looking back is the Marjorie quest. I'm just going to have all my quests here on the top right. Like, this is a normal MMO. <laughs> We're going to have them all up there. Albax. Got to do a lot of Moa betting. Lost Law. The sampling of Snargle. Locate the various promotional samples of Snargle's works. Art is meant to be shared, Kippo. How else could... Oh, wait, no, no, that's Snargle. Kippo is who he's speaking to. Okay, I think that's all of the quests. The Arborstone ones, anyway. I mean, Christ, what did they do then? It's weird that they have the tears there. There's two, four, six quests. Let's do um, a Guardian once more. Let's go to do Zunra. So, find the author of the disappearance of Zunra at a shrine near the location written within. Written within? What do you mean? Well, anyway, I got that advice from you guys earlier. So, let's go do that. The fate of House Who Helps is quite nice. Yeah, I feel kind of bad about that one because I collected that ages ago and I just didn't quite do the thing. The Leviathan's up. Well, I could tag that goods event again, but why would I? I do not have enough space to have. I imagine that if they didn't have one-time guild hall upgrades as a part of guild halls, we'd see new guild halls more often. ArenaNet really over-designed guild halls and limited how fast they can make a new one. Yeah, they uh, they made some real mistakes with Heart of Thorns, I think. With the mastery system and the guild halls particularly, when it comes to the account binding topic. Um, those two in particular could have had so much value, so much like emphasis, so much repeat power for this game. And yes, could have um, respected people's times as well. But they, they didn't, they just... Uh... I feel like being a dev at ArenaNet must sometimes be like the most disappointing thing in the world. To do like something really beautiful and amazing and know that like higher level philosophy is going to invalidate the shit out of it for average players. <laughs> you know, or bury it. <laughs> it must just be like, oh, I don't know. That could also just be me projecting. So, is there something I can interact with here now? I mean, I totally assume this is where we want to be. I still have my personal marker on the little shrine over here. Yeah, I agree. The Jade Bot module is kind of a nice sneaky way of getting back into a character-bound space via the mastery system. So I like that somewhat, but, you know, we never had to be in that situation. So I'd rather rant and whine about shoulda, woulda, coulda, you know. It's much more satisfying to my soul. <laughs> Jade Lantern. I feel like there is a bit of a problem here. With how little clarity there is in where to go and what to do. I mean, am I just dumb? A Guardian once more. Can I not be getting attacked, please? The person is at the shrine with the mastery. 
This th this shrine here, the Valor Shrine. That, I mean, that's where we are. Why am I walking? Oh, I guess I accidentally fat fingered when I pressed M for map. My walk key bind is full stop. Well, sorry, uh, period to my American friends. There's just a bunch of no-name peasants here, though. Peasant, peasant, peasant. <laughs> I don't mean to say that offensively. No-name peasants. I mean, literally, they have no name. Their name is peasant. Kang only appears during the day. Right, because everyone here goes to bed and gets out of dodge, right? Kneel at the shrine? What, one of these? Gotta do a lot of that on the Jade Sea, too. It is day, though, isn't it? It is day. Oh my god. At least you just went from 47 to 83 by swapping that, that uh, sh uh, shadows. You have to go to the little peak there. Little peak. So just press F on these guys. I've reached the locus of power indeed. I have a battery, but I think I already activated that. The southeast peak. So what does peak mean? Mountain top. You want me to climb up a mountain? Oh, up here. Oh, there is a pathway up here. And I don't know if I ever came here. There's no map comp thing here. Aha! Kang. How am I supposed to know to come here, though? I mean, to be fair, to, to, to Twitch... Um, to Twitch chat. To the live chat um, here on YouTube, this is right. You guys said between Zendai Jan and the docks, and it basically is. I mean, the mastery point was was bad advice, but regardless, how am I supposed to know from the actual collection? Anyway, uh, hello, something I can help you with? Are you Kang, as in the disappearance of Zunra, Kang? I haven't heard that title in a while. Glad it's still making the rounds. I suppose you want an autograph? No, uh, thank you. I'm interested in Zuna's disappearance. A real head scratcher. Well, no one knows for sure what happened. My theory is he returned to the spirit realm following the Ministry's pur purge, likely to recuperate physically and perhaps emotionally. Has anyone gone looking for him? Not to my knowledge. Few are skilled enough to access the spirit realm. Mostly just practice ritualists. It's a shame if you ask me. He's exactly the kind of presence we need in times like these. Oh, I'm so game for this. I'm coming, Zunra. It's even called a guardian once more. Find a ritualist who you may call ally in Saitung province. What? How do I follow this quest? Find a ritualist just on the whole map. All right, let me think, let me think. There was a ritualist ghost spirit. At the t uh, at Zendaijan itself, right? There was the ritualist boss I was fighting when I attuned to it earlier. Let's just have a look in here. I gotta find an allied ritualist. Abandoned books. Did I read these? Hidden among the dusty abandoned texts is a faded scroll marked with the a symbol of the Ministry of Purity. 
Could this be what Balamree's note was describing? Oh! Hey, we're doing the other one. This is the message that Zayri left. The Ministry of Purity directs all chapter leaders to the amended registry of seditious talk. Now expanded to include the following. Preferring to the minister, uh, referring to the minister's strategic uh, retreat as a route, implicating that insurrection forces outside of Zendaijan Temple have camped and soldiers surrounded, referring to any kind of the Empress's so-called offer of clemency, clearly fabricated by enemies of the throne, any suggestion. Sorry, what? I'm I'm losing track here. This is 1747. Here, give me the Canton calendar. Oh, wow. How cool is that? They don't put the Canton calendar there, but they do once we're in Canther. How cool is that? So this isn't Zayri. This is only 100 years ago. This is just some different information here. Because I read Empress there, and I was like, they didn't get an Empress that quick after Guild Wars 1, did they? So this is uh, the great-great-grandmother of Empress Inn right now, right? Okay, so the Ministry of Purity directs all chapter leaders to the amended registry of seditious talk, now expanded to include referring to the minister's strategic receipt as a route, implication that insurrection forces outside of Zendaijan have uh, camped and soldiers surrounded. So basically, as the ministry loses control and rebellion and uprising engulfs them, they're trying to control the narrative, right? And they're trying to, like, affect the press and they're trying to... Um, you know, ban and burn books and materials that basically show that they're losing their grip. Any suggestion that the minister no longer speaks on the Empress's behalf? In accordance with uh, Edict Vermilion 26, any combatant practicing impure speech, impure speech and ideation must be submitted for loyalty processing. As ever, our future must rest fir upon firm foundations, which requires the rot of sedition to be excised from the body. In the margins, scrolled in a different hand, reads, we're all going to die here. Awesome. Okay, I was looking for a ritualist, but we found some information about the Ministry of Purity. Where might I find one? Uh, now, I think someone in the live chat helped me out here. This quest seems cool, but as someone who didn't play Guild Wars 1, there's a bunch of names you know nothing about. Um, well, that's true for me as well, though. I mean, the only the only name I've got here is Zunra, who was a very, very minor part of Guild Wars 1. But it's a Kirin. It's not even a person. It's, it's just a, it's a horse spirit. And, um, well, not a horse. It's a, it's a Kirin spirit. Or it's a spirit that takes the form of a Kirin. I don't really know what that means. And, um, and Zayri, right? Like, I don't know. They might mention some other Winds of Change characters. I mean, I kind of love that ArenaNet really were so fearless with those kind of cohesion moments because not many people played Winds of Change. You know, they really didn't. And it was a long time ago. It was after Guild Wars 1's heyday when only, like, the true fanatics were clinging on. And it, here it is, in, it, you know, being beautifully sort of illustrated and, and showed around. Anyway, uh, find a ritualist. Now, I've got a choice here. I could try and do this, like, authentically, air quotes, which just means a lot of hassle. Or we can, like, do it in-game as people sort of stand where I need to go. And I can just look at their thing. So, if anyone who's in this squad with me in-game wants to help out, they know where we go and stuff. Uh, let me know, and I'll just look for you on the map, and I'll just always move to you, and we can figure that out. It's not easy to remember everything as a vet anyway. The game's old. It was years ago. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's totally my view on the thing. So it's not done just for service to those people. It's done... I mean, that's just the spectre. It's done... Um... Well, you don't count, do you? Because they kind of have, like, spirit-looking things in their animations. A bit ritualistic. It's done just because that's what Tyria is, you know, and for the purity of that, which I quite like. Anyone let me teleport to them in Saitung? Yeah, you should be able to. Right? Oh, I think he's asking for a friend request there, actually. 
Let me rack my brain. Did I find a ritualist anywhere? A friendly ritualist? I mean, I'm sure I did. But who? Do you think Cass Jade is standing there? Or they're doing the puzzle? Village outskirts point of interest in one of the houses. The village outskirts. Town outskirts, do you mean? In a house out of the town outskirts. Oh my god. There's a marker on the map. They have a marker. It's unbelievably subtle. I can't even zoom in even more. But there's a marker. There wasn't a marker for the other one. So how comes there is for this one? People who played Guild Wars 1 mostly remember Zunra because they started a quest that gives you 15 attribute points. Yeah, I mean, he's right about that as well. you got to remember, the culture for Guild Wars 1, it, the, the story enthusiasts were not a dime a dozen, right? There weren't many of them. Most people never gave a shit about any of it. They only cared about the gameplay and about getting, them at, getting to max level, getting their gear, getting their attribute points. I mean, absolutely. A lot of people still play MMOs exactly like that. I think the proportions changed. I think more people are enthusiastic about it. All this Conworld stuff. But generally speaking, yeah, that was huge in Guild Wars 1. I myself was was exactly like that for a long time too. That guy's a commoner. Uh, you know, if my allergies don't get better, I could always trade you in for a jade mech buffalo. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You think I'd ever oh, this marker is here the moment you get to Canther. It seems to be a bug. Oh. So that's not it then. So I'm not I'm not at the right thing. It's not telegraphing where to go. To be honest, that w I wouldn't have been very happy if that was the thing anyway. Because frankly, that's tiny. <laughs> and almost impossible to see. Okay, so that's a bug. Oh, I'm rapidly really losing interest in this. Because this, this sucks. This sucks that I've just spent 15 minutes doing nothing. I mean, this is a town outskirt, right? I'm waiting on an event chain. How am I supposed to know that, though? Let's see. Find a rich list you may call an ally. There's absolutely no other detail. To be fair, the Guild Wars 1 story was pretty rough in prophecies, only slightly better in factions. Nightfall was great. Yeah, you're right. You are right about all that as well. I, uh, the real problem here is my temptation is just to wait a while for a wiki guide and just do that. That's really going to kill the pace and the enjoyment here. I, it wouldn't be so bad if I wasn't making videos out of this, but making videos out of it, it's like, I can't do this. Oh, that fur Hello. of yours. It's all over my robe. This was expensive. It's not your fault. I, I just need to get used to living out here again. Dad always said I wasn't much of a farmer. Yeah. I miss him too. Tai Young from the Meta is a ritualist. Wouldn't that mean at the Diego Ward? I suppose there's a little excitement to the thought that no one saved Zunri yet or, or finished the thing, but I bet people have, you know. So it's just this really weird thing where it's like the information's there but not there. With the rise of Junlai Jade, competitors in the industry are afraid to stand up against the tech giant. Nice choice. Giant too. I'm gonna give this up. If I if I can't do it, I'm gonna give this up. Let's do another one. Let's do something else. I give up. Talk 
Talk to... What have we got here? Help Snargle. Talk to Maru in Mori Village about obtaining a Tengu-made boat. Look, real directions. So let's do this. Um, Maori Village. It was one of these ones, wasn't it? Teleri. Cardstat. Goa. Owie's Perch. Cage's Perch. House Sue Heltzer. Sorry, Maori's the bottom one. Mori. It's Mori Village. Maori Village. Mori Village. Warning, this part loves to bug. Not sure if they've patched it. Oh dear, really? Well, look, I've got a telegraph here. They're at this one's good. You know what? I think the whole thing's bugged. I think it's just that the Zunra one's bugged. I shouldn't have run off like that. Got a lot of work to do. I really do. I think that that bug. I'm going to do it. If it really is that house and that telegraph is there from the second you start the expansion. I think the whole thing's bugged. I think there would have been a telegraph here, and then there would be a telegraph here, and they would move on. And I think that it just isn't working, because this is a similar collection, and they have a bug. See? So, yeah, it's uh, it's not a design thing, I think, which makes me very happy, because that's a bit frustrating. And maybe when the bug fixes, all the telegraphs will work. Oh, no, the house has nothing to do with it. Oh, okay. All right, well, yeah, it's just bad then. So, you're the outsider who got everyone all worked up into a tizzy. There's something I can do for you. Yeah, I wanted a bow for a friend. I'm afraid it's not my call. You'll need Sire to put in the order. Do you think Sire would do it? She might, but I'm afraid she's quite busy. She's having some trouble with the students. Tatio. The fledgling has a bright future, but they're too eager to rush into it. What kind of trouble? The fledgling ran away and Sire's gone to look for them. I can point you in the general direction they went. Thank you. You want the forest to be healthy, right? Sire is here and I've never seen her move. Is there something you need? I'm a little busy running this class. Okay, so she's bugged. Because he was supposed to give me an event. And he didn't. And she has an event icon, but she's not doing anything. And her dialogue doesn't match. So this one's bugged. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. <laughs> the fate of Halsu Heltzer. Find a pristine relic within the ruins of Halsu Heltzer. Okay, so that one's bugged. We'll have to wait for a game patch and then just get there instantly. Because you guys have got to remember that, right? When... Oh, wait, wait, wait. House of Hells, not Arborstone. What are you doing? Here. You've got to remember, you've got to get... When a, when a patch comes out, that means all the, all, the in, all the servers have just reset. So any kind of stalling bugs haven't happened yet, so you can go grab them. Yes, it's so strange having them here. Hi, it was you, right? I've seen pictures of Charm. What do you want me to do? I'm looking for items of significance. I'll see what I can find. So just find a pristine relic within the rubble. I know it's rude, but I mean, it's a person made of leaves. I know. I found a new one. Really? Where? Apparently, if you play this as a Silvari, there's a ton of dialogue all about how like fascinated they are by you, and it like repeats a lot. But I kind of like that, you know. Archaeologist. Ministry of Security Watch. Apparently this quest is also bugged, but it's only soft bugged, so we can do it. Oh, <laughs> God. There's an event that pops here. Oh, fucking bugs or events that I have no control over and only trigger once every two hours because they're on the day-night cycle. Oh, come on. Are you serious? So, wait, hold on. What are we doing now? We're waiting for a bug, are we? I'm, I'm trying to keep PMA here. Positive mental attitude. Okay, it's an event. The event that every other time I've been here, there's an event going on. So maybe it will spawn, you know? Maybe we just chill out for a bit. So we're moving these... It's not how dare they make me do an event. It's that you have no control or indication or sense of when an event's there. So you're left in this, this middle ground of not knowing what's happening. It's not how dare they make me do events. That's a very insincere thing you just said in chat. And I hope it's because... 
Well, I don't know why you would say that, I guess, because you just... I don't know. This place is more detailed than I thought it was. I quite like it visually, too. I was thinking maybe I'd just go up, and there might be some rubble up there. It's definitely not that right. It's especially bad if the event's bugged, like the Mori Village one. Someone says an event just started in Mori Village, but is it the right one? Oh! No, that's the meta toggling. Maybe that event is a thing. Let's go over here. Looks like it is. Ooh. Target point scored. Tengu contestants. Maybe it's not bugged. What do we want to do? Compete with the Tengu. Okay. Oh my god, is this Guild Wars 1 music here? High jump. Knock arrow. Oh, and we can be in action camp. Well, that's not right. That's just a saboteur. Archery contest. It's a huge event range. Is it the saboteurs? It's not the saboteurs, is it? Adding a little excitement to your family vacation. Not enough. He bought that foul contraption, but does he have to be Go on. This one's spoken for. There are hanging targets. Oh, like that. Aha! Oh, I, I was looking for Tengu. But it's not looking for Tengu, it's looking for targets. Oh, and so the Tengu contestants bar is how many they've hit. So the top bar is how many we've hit, and the other one is how many they've hit. I see. This is really cool. I wonder what range this is. I'm literally going to elite there just for the sweetness. Can I hit it from here? Oh, this is good. Oh my god, there's another one there. My commander tag's hiding it, but it's not. Okay, it's time for nest raiders. Each team has a nest, and in that nest are the this balls. This one belongs to Tati. The balls, the eggs. Oh, what's that X mean? Your time is up, and the victory goes to... Outsider. And my students will be doubling up on their drills for the next few weeks. What? They obviously cheated. This isn't fair. You have to let us do it again. Okay, so this wasn't bugged at all. My students, Junko had the highest individual score. What? I got way more than Junko. Maybe so, but you were unsportsmanlike. And worse yet, you were cheating. Cheating? I... I was cheating? This is outrageous! I demand a thorough investigation into these allegations. Hmm. I think I see what happened here. Mom, did you cheat for me? You, you don't believe in me? Wait, sorry, is there supposed to be a mom character here? Well, that's quite sweet. Yeah, I've not seen this. Okay, so it already dinged Snargle's thing, by the way. I'm glad we were here. Yeah, thanks. Thankfully, we helped them before they were hurt too badly. So I notified, uh... I've never known how to say this word. Boyers? Bowyers? They should start working on your bow. Bowyers? They uh, should deliver it to your uh, friend shortly, if they haven't already. Yeah, they have. They've given it to uh, Snargle. Okay. So cool, that wasn't, that we just sort of had to wait on that. Now we're off to a toy bell from Saitang Harbor. And the, uh, the tea house in Kaineng. But he's coming back, isn't this the kid? No, this isn't the kid. Sire, I just spotted one of your students in the forest. They slipped away when I called out. In the forest? A alone? No. Tatio! Tatio! Oh, this is all my fault! Yes, it is! 
But that's not important right now. I'll go after them. Uh, now I might have seen this already. I mean, I'll play this. I don't. I don't remember where this goes or how this works. But it's content. I'll play. There, that's the outsider. Don't make eye contact. We haven't done any fighting for a while. before anything happens you question the witness for any clues they might need expose. to sweep the area for clues ho oh, stranger what are you doing out this way looking at the disappearance of a Mori village fledgling any seen it? yes just a few minutes ago fighting something off something big it, it didn't look like the kid was winning I'm sorry they ran off before I could intervene Oh, this is quite exciting. I like this. I don't think I've ever played an event like this. Ever. Tracks. Two sets of tracks. One from a large animal and one from a small humanoid. Appear in the soft ground and are arranged in a chaotic, overlapping manner. This matches what the, the witness described. Blood. A trail of blood is splattered on the ground, leading to further into the forest. Oh, so we don't actually have to read or deduce anything. We just spam F on things. A crumpled piece of paper. On closer you expect an inspection, it is a lost page of notes penned by the Jade Brotherhood tracking Tengu Scout patrols. Does that match? I don't know whether that matches. Oh, this is for the heart, isn't it? Proven defense, is it? Two sets of tracks, one from a large animal and a small... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have we got here? It's quite a big ra radius on this. There's a sack of supplies. A cache of supplies is nestled in a hiding place. Upon closer inspection, it appears to contain miscellaneous components used by the Brotherhood to craft explosives. Oh, it always says this this matches the winners. I think I'm supposed to say no on those. But the it, the the icons they've used would suggest you're in a normal dialogue window. They should have had like a, a different kind of tick and a red cross. Not the standard thing. I think that's what that how that worked anyway. And if I said no on that, it probably would have progressed it. It's basically like um, the Corticus's mana opening, except with two choices instead of um, three. No sign of them. Well, maybe we can find some more clues as to what happened. Oh, we get to do it again. Okay, are you looking for information about the missing fledgling? Oh, and each time... There, so there is deduction. This is cool then. Okay, so we get a clue and then there's like an investigation phase. Uh, you got anything? I've been tracking something big moving through the underbrush. Like it was trying to stay out of sight. Maybe it has them. Okay, so something big through the uh, underbrush. The leaves and twigs on this shrub, shrub are broken and disturbed, as if something had, as if something has hidden inside. That's not relevant. It's something big we're looking for. Yeah, I progressed it. Okay, yeah, that's the way that this works. Two sets of tracks: one from a large animal, one from a small humanoid. Well, yeah, that that matches the previous clue. I mean, it kind of matches. These ghosty rats are interesting. Like, maybe a small critter in the area hides in the thing because of the chaos of the bigger fight, but it's not relevant, right? So, that's the point. It's not relevant. Two, because that thing happened, but it's not relevant. Um, I mean, that's relevant. Oh, my God. Look, we're going right up to the entrance of the, the vault. A lost or abandoned toy lies on the ground. It's of Tengu make. Oh, that's definitely relevant. What about this memento? Oh, it was the same thing. This is a brilliant event, isn't it? Oh yeah, okay, I just got a whisper. If you can hear me, hey WP, the ritualist die. event is up now. See, look at this. This is another problem with the, the way that they've done this. Well. Untriggerable events. 
Our deeds are reflected. Oh my god, it's a Silvari? It's a Feria. Oh hi. Perhaps you could point me in the direction of Mori Village. I'm part of the Tyrian delegation and came this way to hoping to see it. Looking for the disappearance of a fledgling. You seen any? Yes. A few minutes ago, an animal dragged them off. I tried to chase, but they disappeared. I wish I could tell you what sort of animal it was, but I'm not familiar with the local fauna. Interesting. I like the idea that they're a Silvari delegating. But yeah, so now the two things I want are overlapping. I don't know. Uh, concentrated corruption. A small strange pool of some unknown corruption shimmers wickedly with a, uh, within a must? Animal print? Must? What's this word mean? I think it might be relevant. What did she say? Oh, I'm going to miss so much detail. This is crazy. All right. What would cause them to it. prey on one of us? Okay. Uh, no time to think about that now. Seems they went that way. Let's go. Okay, I see. It's a champion void wallow that's ag overly aggressive, and it's fighting the Tengu. Has this been up here down the road the whole time while we were investigating? Like it's actually been there. That's so cool. It'd be even cooler if this event chain had like multiple endings. Oh, I kind of want to uh, be on the other build. Shrinosaya, please, please help me. I will, child. Please, I don't know what's wrong with that creature, but what it's capable of, help us. Oh my god, it hurts. I, the thing is, I've got to be close for the bounty thing, but it's dropping AoEs around. I feel like my brain just gets yanked out of my head. This is a really nasty combo, actually. It's It'll free any moment. I'm forced into their AoE. Because a rock wallow rolls and drops the... Uh, Alright, let's grab this. Get close, but not in whatever like toxic crap that's just spilled everywhere. There we go. Nice. It's dead. Thank you, Trainer Saya. I promise to be better. I promise to listen. I know you will. Now, come on. Let's get you home. I love her voice. Chief Ico about what happened here. Whatever corrupted that poor creature. It's unlike anything we've ever seen. Okay, so, um, Echovald Mastery went up there as well. These are great. I love these events. So it's like, um, these achievements. So, like, you know when you've seen all the events, right? Like, look at these. Well, no, these are all achievements, right? They're not all events. Complete the Vastberg Armory mini dungeon without getting hit by any traps. Damn, I, I messed that up. We could totally go back and try that. That's cool as all hell. Alright, let's go see this ritualist now then. So it's at Saitung Harbor. Let's see if it's over. I bet it is. I'm sorry, I just don't agree at all with the opinion that the events to progress these collections should be up or triggerable at all times. I never said that either. I don't necessarily think that that's correct. <sighs> either, but I think um, some kind of like sense of their timer or like uh, a way to schedule and plan or, or you know just some confidence that you know when a thing is going to happen or that you have some measure uh, instead of just complete I'll do this thing it could trigger in two minutes it could trigger in an hour it, if you leave it will overlap with something else you know that just that's just insanity and it, uh, having an event is fine but a clear uh, if you're going to do it as an event that nobody knows when it's going to trigger or when. At least have a properly defined starting place that a player knows to wait. But having no idea where to wait at what time is just madness. These are not done well. It's just pure chaos, that. Ideally, you'd know where to go or exactly when to go. At least one of those pieces of information needs to be there. Seems like everyone I once knew here is gone now. Like here, for example. I mean, what? I, I'm at the hut. 
Is our there a richness the here now? Said I haven't got a fucking clue. I don't know what the event is. I don't know where the event is. I don't know. I don't know anything. And it's just an uncomfortable sort of lame feeling and an impediment to whatever I'm actually trying to do. You know, you want to talk about respecting people's time. Come to the Zen Daijun Temple. Like, I've got pe I've got the luxury of people helping me out. But go to Zen Daijun. I did see earlier that there was a ritualist boss there, but I mean, they suggest it's like an allied ritualist, didn't they? So maybe the boss becomes an ally after you beat it. But I mean, how's a random player supposed to know that and so on? Here, Tai Young here. Twelve minutes before Tai Young escapes. We can try this other build here as well. Check it out. Um. Team Condi quickness. Yeah, so it's like one of those things. It's like you're just getting pushed to wiki, as someone says in uh, chat. And like I, 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 I acknowledge that in my new player guide, I specifically said, you know, if you want to have fun in this game. If you want this game to be smooth, if you want that kind of stuff, it's a wiki game. You know, a lot of games are like that now. You know, be on the wiki, utilize the wiki, because otherwise you're just gonna have a nightmare scenario. Um, Oh, I shouldn't have done that. What is this? It only works on villager spirits who use this to cleanse spirits. Sorry, I'm trying to break the bar. That's clearly not going to work. While you're in there, you might want to absorb that spirit energy. It'll give you some extra pep. Okay, so bells give me this. I can phase with F. You're currently in the spirit I realm. He's binding multiple spirits now. You take care of Taysan. I'll pull the spirits away from him. And the phase ended, so I don't know what that was. Some kind of tool tip. I wish I saw the intro to this event. Figure so talented. Is that why you're here? I think we can phase again. Over you. Can we please move past this? I'm sorry, Mom was tough. But that doesn't excuse this crap. I mastered the style of ritualism that you haven't. So of course you think it's beneath you. You have their spirit and force them to fight for you. Any asshole can master that. Oh, I can phase. Okay, so wait. I walk up to a spirit and I phase. But now I'm not phased again. Sorry, I was looking for a ground telegraph to tell me where to phase, but then there wasn't one. I thought there was one before. Oh, well, we're just kind of blowing him up here. I know you two didn't exactly get along, but I think Mom was right. You're too stubborn to ever be great. Well, when I'm finished with you, you two can do some catching up. And let her know I did just fine without her. Tell her yourself. Well, I had way better nights than this one, that's for sure. Did we kill him? Gods, no. He's just knocked out. I do it all the time when I didn't have to. Uh, wish I didn't have to, but nothing gets through that thick skull of his except my fists. I know, it's a bad look for you to beat your brother senseless. How did you get wrapped up in all this to begin with? Essentially, my brother and I wanted to learn ritualism like our mum. I picked it up quick, but he struggled. He got mad, found a cheap, sketchy version that's easier to practice, and here we are. Oh, that's cool. He's not dead, is he? God's name. Um, can I ask for your help with something? Sure, you helped me, and you don't even know me. Least I can do is return the favor. I'm looking for someone in the spirit realm. You know someone in the spirit realm? Okay, well, I'd love to help. Great, let's get going. Slow down, I'm exhausted and hungry. You think alternating between planes of reality is easy? Besides, even if I wasn't exhausted, my powers definitely are. Only place I'm going to go is my bed. This is a lot like the Norn have runes, right? Like very, very, very similar. Right, I could go by myself. No offense, but you don't quite have the uh, professional skill set to go it alone. Though there's this thing called a spirit stone that might help. If you get one, find me near the town outskirts. Spirit stone. All right, I'll start looking. Oh, I wish I saw the start of this event. And I wish I knew what that mechanic was. I had 10 stacks of a special action. Pressing F on spirits phased me to them. There were bells that gave me more. 
Oh, I wish I saw. When's it gonna come back? I don't know. All right, well we progressed that a bit. It's interesting. We're not really. We're talking about Zuna as like a someone, not a something. Okay, into the puzzling dark. What you seek awaits you at the heart of a puzzle shrouded in darkness. Now we do the thing, right? Now we do the thing. Let's go underneath. Are these collections anywhere repeatable? No, it's once ever, so have fun your first time. From my understanding, you have to go to the spirit realm to collapse orbs so your CC skills deal more damage on his bar. And you have to break his bar to DPS again or something along those lines. Right. Yeah, I uh, I thought they were doing a thing like in the Shiro fight in Guild Wars 1. In Shiro fight, every now and then you get knocked into the spirit realm and you have to go and fight a spirit, which brings you back. And I thought it was going to be something like that, but I, I don't know. I mean, it felt vaguely similar. Okay, so do I have to do the whole thing again now? God, I don't remember. I've been whispered that it starts with the ritualist event in Saitang Harbor. Yeah, but I I've never done that. I don't know what that is. I've I have no context for what you're talking about. Saitang Harbor is a big place. I mean, I guess I can keep my eye out for it at some point in the future. And I've got to remember, by the way, to like not go down. I think people were saying that you don't lose the attunement. Oh, there you go. That caught me, even though I wasn't... Um... Technically in it. Which is the thing I complimented before that made the dodges seem so satisfying. Okay, so I have... The red resonance. I've got red. I like that you walk up to these totem poles. This is oh, nice. This guy just gave me all boons. Wait, how did you do that? Aren't you a virtuoso? choice, though? Oh, no, he's a harbinger. He's a harbinger. It's weird to have a moment where it's like, oh, this, how did this Mesmer give me your boons and have absolutely no idea? <laughs> a Mesmer. Thank you. Okay, we got another residence here. Oh, no, 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 this is a boss. But what color? I mean, I don't know what color. It, the odds that this is the right color is not going to be right. Maybe the paint on the mask actually tells me the right color, right? Maybe, the, well, no, but it's got all of them. Can I not spawn it without the right color? It's blue, and I have red, so I can't do that. Oh, does that guy have uh, Verderac? Is that what those ghosts were? I think Verderac would look really good on my build. It's one of the legendaries I don't actually have. By the way, I think I heard... Didn't I hear something about Mystic Coins crashed? Because um, the new legendaries don't need them, so they're not really worth much money anymore. That kind of makes the Gen 2 legendaries and the Gen 1 legendaries much more... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, there you go. No, that, is that just lantern light? What is this? Oh, I guess not. I thought there that I was getting a resonance, but no. I suppose I've just gone in a circle and ended up exactly where I was already. Chess. Oh, God damn it. All these players around and he managed to tag me there. At last. Is that resonance? No. Come on, I'm getting stunned over and over and over here. They need the clovers, and clovers have coins, but that's it. Yeah, okay. Gen 2 are easier to obtain now. Gen 1 only needs clovers. Oh, here. Oh, it's a boss again. Damn it. Where 
Which boss is this one? You interloper! You'll red. I have red! Here. I'll see to it. Good. So yeah, I basically stay for three dark barrages, right? So Soul Barbs is gonna end now. Right? So there's a little bit of time there where I'll just stay, get the last dark barrage, and then I'll swap back. I don't know whether that's really the right move. But here we'll go bip straight into the four, bip straight into shroud and do the other transfer. This is cool. And there, one dark barrage, two dark barrage. So you see I'm actually getting 10k bleed ticks there. And then out again. Pair them up. Swap. Could have saved that actually. And now we're out of bit charges anyway. So. God, God. Oh, okay, good. I was hoping breaking that would solve the thing. You have proven yourself worthy. Oh, oh. Oh, we did it. The previous two ghosts. It remembered that I did the previous two ones earlier on the episode. Oh, that's so cool. I'm really happy with that. That's brilliant. And hey, look, we're in like a secret room in Zendaijan. Wow. It's worrying me there's no lore here, so when does the achievement... Oh no, there is. There's a mysterious chest on the table. Oh, this could not have gone more perfectly. Wow. All the value that we got last time, totally counted. I got the red essence first and killed the red boss first. And that was the only boss that I needed. Which got me straight into the secret room. I mean, I literally could not have asked that to have been any dreamier. That was brilliant. And we get the chest now as well, because I stopped in the middle. Oh, look, there's an amber thing in there, it looks like. That could not have gone any better. Oh, this globe is showing a different area of Tyria. It's showing Verdant Cascades. That's actually Guild Wars 1's map, because the two basins are totally there, and the Divinity's Reach area isn't emphasised. Wow, they have a new type of globe in this. Is this have you guys ever seen this asset before? Usually the globe shows a different area of Tyria, I think. Doesn't it? It's much more zoomed out as well. This is much more zoomed in, I think. All right, well, there we go. In the purest masks. Hold on, actually. That worries me a bit. Yeah, no, no, no. This is good. Okay, so we got the crystal. It's not an amber chunk. It's not amberite. It's just... It's just the crystal that she wanted. Like, the spirit crystal, she called it. Okay, now we can meet her at her place of residence in the outskirts of the harbour in Saitung. Oh, I want to love this so much. Okay, so look, this is the town outskirts. That's where the bugged thing is. Does that mean that that's where she... Now we go to that area? If at any point this collection takes us to that house, I'm sure that they've bugged the, uh, the like, the telegraphing system. Because this just feels so bizarre. Oh, here you go. Stop the extremist speakers from binding spirits. Group event. I don't think I've ever done this. I'm going to do this. Kinda depends what's going on here though. So here, right there, I just did the bit combo, but it was a waste of time because you're not gonna get 30 seconds worth of boot damage in the open world. It's just not gonna happen. They died instantly. So basically, just now, what was the point? You know, that's why I think it's better to be on this build instead, with the spectral grass with the slightly different traits. God, there's three events going on at once. This is cool. I've never seen this place so busy. Hey, there's another collection icon in the house. Oh, that's going to be the toy, isn't it? The toy that we need for Snargle. How do I get in there? Oh, there's 
Do they close all the doors and everything at night so you can't get in? That's a really nice touch. I didn't realise that that happened. So we're going to wait for day to get in there. Wait. Oh, no. Hold on. We can just go in. Hello, distressed kid. Can you help me find my toys? They disappeared and I really miss them. You're not looking for a toy bell, are you? No, nope, my toy bell's still here. It's pretty but boring. I don't play with it much anymore. I have a friend who really wants one. Could I have it? Um, sure, but you've got to help me get my other toys first, okay? If you do, I'll ask my mum to send it to your friend. So, what's going on with your toys? But the toy event's not up. Let's make sure none of them are hiding around the forest. It's this way. These... They're not even real ritualists. These imposters have completely taken over. Now, everyone stays in at night. I promise not all ritualists are like this. Well, not anymore. If any of us worth our salt, practice by modern standards. We have morals, unlike some people. Speaking of, get ready. I see some more of them. I see. So this is the start of that that quest. She's going to take me to Zendai Jan. We're going to fight her brother. Okay, I get it. And I also kind of appreciate here that this is a get big ready. group event. I see more up ahead. Right at the start of the expansion. That seems to be on a fairly quick cooldown. I mean, Jesus, we're back at it already. So it strikes me the oh, arena that expects you to immediately seems think like of her. It's in your nature to fight alongside the spirits. You don't force them to fight for you. Not everybody's like that. So, like, when it came to this collection, I think they thought that all their players would sort of know, or a good majority of them. But I, 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 I spent a lot of time here. I played really slowly, and I never saw this event, and I never participated in this event. So I, I had, I, I didn't get that tip off. Also, I wonder right now if I go to her house in the outskirts oh, right now. Are there right two versions of her on the map right Let's now? Get I'll do this because this is new to me. So. But yeah, like a really vague clue, find a ritualist, well I think. Well done. You're kind of a natural. I'm impressed. Ritualism? Well, true ritualism is tough. It's about trust. You have to trust the spirits. And they have to trust you. You'd probably think of her, because it's right at the start. You're really good at retaining information at the start and stuff. Um, the downside now, is... More on the way. You know, there's a chance I might have seen the event over there at the harbour, but the, ma the game was dead at launch because of the mega service stuff, and it's a group event, and I wouldn't have tried to have done a group event, even if I had seen it. But I don't even recognise having seen it. Maybe I just wasn't here at night time. Here we go, and then this is her brother, but we probably don't realise it until a bit later. You know, Taesung's right. You're talented, Kyung, but you'd be way stronger if you learned our ways. Ways? <laughs> you mean holding spirits hostage? Yeah, not my style. He also said you're too stubborn to know what's good for you. Guess it runs in the family. Okay. Awkward stop there, okay. Oh, I still haven't got it up. Damn. There we go. Look, we're even we rewarded. These are really them, good. But it won't do much good if Taesong, I can learn this mechanic their now. Leader is still stirring up trouble. Oh, someone's got an Orine legendary. I haven't seen you out here in a long time. So, you finally decided to join me? Nope. Just dropping by to remind you that you're an idiot. Keep your stupid friends out of the village. <laughs> and I'm going to listen to you because... Well, we're about to beat the crap out of you. Sure that'll help. Okay. Oh, I should have checked what build. Whatever. Let's see this mechanic. Let's see how it works. The other thing I could do is get out of Shroud right after the second one, but I don't think that's a good idea. Right. Okay, break bars oh, up. What a coward. 
He's hiding in the spirit world. You can't hit him from here. You'll have to go in there and get him. Here, I'll open the path, but hurry. Welcome to the spirit Collect world. Collect energy. Spooky, huh? You should have a clear shot at him now. While you're in there, you might want to absorb that spirit energy. It'll give you some extra pep. Okay, I have six stacks. Seven. Eight. Wait, no, it's not coming in. Oh, can you only get six stacks? I can't believe he's binding multiple spirits now. You take care of Taysan. I'll pull the spirits away from him. So it looks to me like to get in, you press F on one of the little spirits. I think you're so talented. Like Everybody these guys. Here, someone else to no. For you. Can we Her? She phases me? This? I'm sorry, Mom was tough on you. But that doesn't excuse this crap you're involved with. How do I phase? Okay, I'm in. So the special action is a countdown? You have your spirit and force them to fight you. Oh, it's too quick. It's too quick. I can't. I, I actually have. I need to. I can't even read the tooltip. <laughs> and it's over. I don't know, man. It looks like a really cool mechanic. I need to be able to experience this stuff in peacetime, you know. Similar thing to Dragon's End, though. You've got to be able to. Exactly get along, but I think Mom was right. You're too stubborn to ever be great. Well, when I'm finished with you, you two can do some catching up. And let her know I did just fine without her. Tell her yourself. Use the special action on chain spirits to free them. Oh, nice. You got a cool dagger. Well done. Salt spray dagger. Yeah, they do look very pretty, don't they? All right. So, I'm believe uh, my belief here is that she's waiting in that house now. And there's like two copies of her on the map. And she's complete. It doesn't. You're not waiting on the event now. That's my guess. So I have the stone. Let's go up and have a look, shall we? And that fish event is there again. I did play that fish event, by the way, but I think I did it all on my own. And oh no, there's no timer. I was going to say I'm a little bit worried that it failed when I did it, but no, I, I have done it before. Maybe I need to go into town more. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys, I'm telling you, this quest does have telegraphs for everywhere to go, but it's bugged. The third telegraph is, like, the only one that's appearing, and it's there when you first get to the expansion and all that shit, because this clearly is a part of this quest chain. Hopefully it will unbug now as we move along. You're kidding. You actually found one? How? Where? What? I have so many questions. Me too. Mainly, how does it work? No clue. I've never seen one in person. Figured by the time you got back, I'd be rested enough to think of something else. But it's here, so I guess we could at least read the directions. It comes with directions? Not exactly, but there's a library of spiritual texts over at the Shinota Shore. I've used some in my own studies. I'm sure they'd have some type of ritualism book about spirit stones. Okay, guess I'll hit the books. This is really good. I like the way that this is like unfolding, you know, each step of the quest. So, that which you seek sits on the shelves in a hall surrounded by water. The Shinota Shore. This here. A hall surrounded by water. The, sh the Sizzle... Uh, Sizzle uh, Hall. Okay. Nice, clear telegraph there. Oh, and actually, let's see. Is the... No, the icon's still there at the house. Yeah, I think that's just going to be stuck there at the house for every player of the game, no matter where they are. All right, uh, to Jive Bluffs. Lady, you'd see one if you took the covers off your eyes. <laughs> She's a ritualist. I was actually really impressed playing that event there. How cool she looks. How much like a Guild Wars 1 ritualist she looks. I really, really thought it was awesome. interesting this guy is on, isn't on a taxi no he was running on the taxi road so well that it looked like he was on the taxi but he um he had uh, a unique skin all right let's get off here because we want to go to the hall there it is oh wait no we should have stayed on well, i suppose it's fine now that i have teleporters 
didn't have teleporters here before, and this part of the map was like really vertical, you know, really, really uh, tricky to navigate. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, you actually used the taxis too. You were sure you'd never use them before release? Yeah, I. Uh, I'm using them constantly. More than I knew I was gonna use them because it was a new feature, and I want to have fun with new stuff. But um, I use them way more than even that than I thought. Right. So I'm at the hall. There was a doorway. Yeah, there was this. Oh, I never found a way into that. Do you think it's lower down then? I honestly thought that there would be a moment where we go inside there, but I guess not. It's going to be on the roof. It's not going to be an entrance on the roof either, is there? Actually, all the jade tech on this is really wild. I wonder if they had an idea for some story here or something. Taxis on max speed can bug you into the ground. That's quite funny. Ha! Huh. She said it was at the Sizau shore. That which you seek sits on the shelves in a hall surrounded by water. So, so far they've had a lot of events. I wonder if there is an event that takes you here and depowers this and you can get inside. Oh, there's a teleporter in into it. Wow! It's been really funny over this past two weeks, seeing how, like, knowledge has propagated around the community. And, like, like I never saw that. I never played that. I've streamed all of what I've done. You know, this Let's Play is, like, basically everything I've seen. I've never been in there. And yet, there's just this assumption that I've done it now. But I've, I've not done that. I guess people came here. Last time I was exploring Sai Tung, I never had the bot, and I couldn't teleport around like this. I'm going to need a battery. So I haven't, I haven't swept every single teleporter. Oh, that's cool. But people were talking about it like in a candid, like roundabout way, as though I already know. Okay, so Let's climb up. there's a battery. Dick, talk. I assume it's this. It is this. I mean, there's no map comp or anything in here either. Look at this. Wow, look, it's like another Club Canark moment, another place I hadn't been. Does anyone want to talk to me? That's so bizarre. Is there even a suggestion up in the regular hall that there's a way inside if you take a teleporter that's at the base? Everywhere, half the city can't get home. Yeah, but these Aether Blades are a force to be reckoned with. Haven't you seen the Hollow News? They're pirates. Of course they steal and ruin everything. Don't tell me Minsek's afraid of a few unkept hooligans. Well, I certainly am. I'll take inconvenience over, well, pirates any day. Never heard that. It doesn't look like I can press F on anyone. It doesn't look like I'm missing anything down here. Maybe as we come upstairs. This is where these collections are really good, because they will take you to this stuff, you know. Over and over and over again. It'd be interesting if there was a bunch of heart stuff you could do in here as well, actually. But, of course, because I was here before the bot, I couldn't do that. Oh, nice. Sitting on the, uh, the bench. I like it. Very nice touch. Oh, look. There's a lantern here. 
and a kappa statue and got loads of kappa statues. <laughs> I'll trigger this. This is the top. I've been dreading that moment, thinking, oh god, I'm going to hit the top in a second. There's a bunch of sh books around. I mean, that looks like... I was looking at that marking in the middle. It looked like an envelope. Ah, here we are. Mysterious book. Oh, very cool. Okay, this text on ritualism contains a chapter titled Spirit Stones and You. It appears to be filled with com complex terminology and highly specific references to ritualism theories for those intimately familiar with the practice. Fantastic. Look at this, I've had a little quest moment where I've come to a great library and actually like scanned for a book and grabbed one. And... Okay. Uh, let's return to her. I, I guess, anyway. Though, I mean, who knows, actually. She says, learn how to master the practice. I, I'm, I'm sure I've got to go back. It is weird how doing these through the collection system sort of requires them to have, like, item art for every little stage, you know? Like, look at all this, like, weird filler art they've got to, like, do. I mean, the books make sense. The stone makes sense. But these ones, where it's just chat with someone. It's like, what do we do? Uh, just spirit vibe. <laughs> Wisps. It kind of adds to the theme, I guess, and it's kind of a bit of value, but it's more like a nuisance. Maybe I need to go into town more. Meet people. I'm not going to find my soulmate talking to a water buffalo. Not that I've heard this so many times. But dating was so much Hello, Kyung. You wonder if this collection I refers to signet of spirits, right? which every Rit and their grandma ran and guild on? It's weird because, I mean, they totally could. As a signet, it's like an item. I, maybe we'll collect it, right? We might get the signet ring of spirits or something. And then use it to summon Zinra. I don't know. But uh, it's a weird one because if you actually look at Guild Wars 1's proper heyday, and like when Canthal was new and everyone was originally playing it, signet of spirits was a crappy skill. I think Signet of Spirits only got its super buff where it was three summons at once. Like, like at least a year after Eye of the North came out. It was like way later. So when I think about Signet of Spirits, I don't necessarily think of it, it like the definitive version of it. The one where everyone was farming with it and soloing all that content. I know that technically it's been that way for the majority of the game's life and stuff. But it kind of feels like it's over the... The sun had already set on Canther by the time that even happened. You know, it was just a crappy elite skill for most of it. It's sort of in my mind, you know, but... Anyway, did I stop by the library? I did! Here, look, here's a book. It seems helpful and confusing. Let me take a look. Hmm, interesting. Whoa, I wasn't expecting this. Huh, no, we're definitely not doing that. Ooh, but we are doing this. Okay, I think I got it. Do you... Do you know what you're doing? Of course! Just not until I'm doing it, usually. So, it's pretty straightforward. I use some visu visualization techniques while channeling energy into the stone. Which should open a portal for you. Where do I find the portal? Turn around. Whoa! Oh, I'm so into this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a battery. We gotta take our technology. What is? Okay, what do we think is gonna happen here? One, they teleport me to a whole other area of the map with like really different color grading and stuff. So it's like we're in the spirit world. That would be awesome. That would be the coolest thing they could do. And given how they've done the main story, where we go into like the Orin dream sequence moments, it could be a bit like that. That's the idea one. Idea two, they give us like the hallucination post-processing effect and we're now like phased like we were in the event earlier. Remember the group event in the temple where I had the special action? And I think that's more likely what they'll do and it's still very cool. Let's see. Okay, it's the phasing thing. Oh my god, and we look like a ghost. Ghost Gux. Dude, look at our eyes. Oh, and the hands work so well here. Okay. Oh, what the what? Oh, look at all the spirits that are around now. <laughs> oh, where did he go? <laughs> I'm sure everyone can see me. 
Hello, who are you? Do you want to speak to me? This is really cool. Let's see. A guardian once more. Learn how to harness the powers granted by the stone. Oh, here are. We got a, a thing. As you step through the door to this strange world. Oh, is it giving me... Um... There's a new bit of dialogue. I think I missed one. I think I probably missed something. It's like your your senses are heightened as you step through the door to this strange world. Into the dark echoes of Canther's past. This is so cool. Okay, wait, 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 though. Am I following a linear path? Are my mounts ghosts? No. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Oh, God. I feel like I'm off the track, though, now. Hold on. We're clearly looking for the orbs. They were clearly leading me here. I'm really nervous about losing the sense of where I should be right now because the telegraphing is so... Oh, there's a bunch, actually, in this little area. The gravity of despair weighs upon you as you realize... You stand amid the stained memories of the Ministry's Purged. So is the idea that Zunara just got too depressed by all this shit. <laughs> just peaced out, basically. How many stacks do we want? Oh, there's one over here. No, you sense him. Feel his light, as though you're one. What did that say? He is you! Oh, I right-clicked the chest. I probably should have just opened it. Wait, Kyung isn't talking to me anymore. Oh, uh, and it doesn't print that text in the chat box. What do we think? Oh, what was that? Did I just see like a drifting orange light? I didn't get an achievement ding either, did I? What you seek waits where the light shines upon the once deceased. In this area, or are we now going to a graveyard with a light at it? Seems like everyone I once knew here is gone. Gaia? No, I'm sure she's busy. I saw her uncle at the market the other day. Said she's engaged now. I'm happy for her. Oh, apparently I really was invisible to everyone else. They say here, you actually are invisible, WP. Can't even see the tag. Only on the minimap. Wow. If that's for real, that's really cool. Hmm. I've lost the plot now. Uh, you know, if my allergies don't get better, I could always trade you in for a jade mech buffalo. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You'd think I'd ever replace you, you big furball. This section has markers that work. Very hard to see. The hints are very misleading. I don't know. Uh, I'm getting really frustrated by this. Oh, actually, a bunch of these have unlocked here now. Oh, a bunch of these have unlocked. Okay, so hold on. So across the whole map now, probably. Light shines upon the ones deceased. Bloom within a newfound refuge. The ruins of old. The waters of familiar ruins below a bridge that ties past and present. 
The halls of Zuhelza. Oh god, it's the whole expansion. Wait to the bottom of the shrine hidden in the trees. At the crossing of Respite. Below the waters frozen in time near abandoned solitude. Dragon's End Second Portal. Okay, I see. So, Saitang has two, New Kaineng has two, Echavald has two, Dragon's End has two. Okay, so what, what I needed to do was observe the fact that all the locks have disappeared on all this. Okay, so, and it, it is everywhere now, so it's not this area. So, what I seek waits where the light shines upon the ones to see. So, I've got to find a graveyard on this map. But the light shines upon those ones deceased could also be the lighthouse near the um, the Unchained who were once deceased and are now wandering around or something. So it could be at the lighthouse, which is easy to get to because I can waypoint it and just skiff over. So I guess I'll do that. Now this is suddenly a whole world tour needle in a haystack, which I'm not too keen on spamming for ages. So, and again, feels very much like I should just wait for the wiki. So I don't know. We might abandon this quest now and go do something else. Because otherwise I'm just going to spend hours and hours and hours. And it's too slow for this let's play. It's too slow and it's too too time consuming. Which disappoints me. But we'll go have a little look. And then we'll move on to a new quest. Those other clues. I mean some of them they seem a little bit vague. I mean, if people in the live chat right here while I'm making the video have a good idea about where they think that we could go, like really good ideas, I'll, I'll push on with it, but otherwise it's just it's going to take forever. We see a lighthouse. Oh, interesting. While gliding in Shroud, I don't get the Jade Bot. Do you guys see that? I can't Jade Bot boost while Shroud gliding. That's funny. It's uh, an interesting little fringe situation. It's nice to be on a Condi build with all the weakness. It does not matter. Oh, they were out of range. Why are there still so many eagles? I killed the hunter. Didn't I kill the hunter? I'm getting absolutely messed up by these guys. There you go. Maybe I should try Parasitic Contagion again, but they nerfed it so hard it just feels really unsatisfying to me. In fact, this whole build in the open world, I'm going to go back to Power 1 now. Yeah, uh, it's not here, and look, this is just going to happen over and over and over and over again. Or if it is here, it's so subtle and tiny, it's just going to be a game of frustration. Oh, that guy's got the hover bike. I like it. Okay, let's do a new quest. Let's go to the fate of Halsu Helzer. So, find a pristine relic within the rubble. Now, this might be another event thing, but I'm happy to wait it out. At least I've got a good sense of where it should be. And while I'm waiting for the event, I can, like, hunt around in the, in the, in the walls and things. Did you see the tourists from Tyria? Yes, it's so strange having them here. It's the child I've dialogue. seen pictures of Charles. Found a new one. Didn't really? Where? Trying to zip line up. Down the hall a bit. It was completely covered in overgrowth. Oh, someone in the live chat says that they're marked on the map. And you know what? I do have a bunch of markers now. I have a bunch of collection markers. Look, there's this one here. Oh, why is this so inconsistent? <laughs> there's one down here. <coughs> okay, so we can do it. 
Right. I'll tell you what, the universe doesn't want me to get this rubble. This must be, over these videos, I mean, you guys tell me. Drop a YouTube comment. I, I must have tried this rubble and got distracted and done something else. At least like six times, I think. I keep going back there and I'm like, I'll look for the rubble and then, pfft, nope. Turns out this isn't that bad. Okay, so, so now it's telegraphed. Okay, so let's go. Just for your information, the last one needs a completed end of dragon dragon's meta. Or invulnerability abilities. Oh, interesting. So, we're in the area. What is it we're looking for? Some kind of spirit orb that we pick up? I assume it's like those red orbs, right? Wait, we're not in the area. What am I talking about? I really weirded myself out there. So the Sky Gazer Cathedral. Aha! Oh, and we get this whole phase as well, like one of the little lore phases each time. Oh, that's so good. You blink, trying to lift the veil of dream from consciousness. Clouded still, the air chills your exhalations, which linger like heated phantoms. Hated? You do not recognize this place, but he is well acquainted. Zunra is. Limbs bound by shackles, frozen in death's clenched hands. Oh, it's so edgy and poetic. He conjures light to guide you to this tomb, where he has been led, left to rot. What are they telling me? That Zunra was here. It's such a shame Myong did... Was that her name? Didn't have a little bit of extra dialogue for me to say, okay, go out on the world tour. It feels like that's missing. Oh, that's great. That is great. Oh, this works so much better now. Look at this. Perfect. I've, I'm, I'm feeling good and very happy again now. Now that I see that these, these actual things are points of interest, places for me to go. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the zone request for sure. We'll finish it. And I'm guessing if I had just spotted these subtle little markers on the minimap hanging on the edges, then it would have shown me the side tongue spots too. I kind of want to do the whole thing in order now, but we're in Echovald, so I'll do Echovald first. And I guess, yeah, Dragon's End is going to be hiding the last one. Probably where Su Wan and Aurene are talking at the end of Dragon's End. Probably that it's there. Speaker patrol leader. Come on, I'll do it. Just on the odd chance that it's an event I've done. I think that this, this is speaker territory. Really oh, nice. We're on power again. Jesus, they see six. Feels good, man. No elixirs needed. And this is a dragon setup, isn't it? Dragon. Oh no, this is diviners. We could probably mix in. Yeah, it's diviners leadership. We could probably. Let's try scholar on this. Oh, never mind. I'm being attacked. Of course, you can't stop. And besides, Scholar would kill my uh, vitality, which is the other big thing I was just thinking of there. Oh. Oh, wow. Do you see all the uh, spectral grass pans just go flying out there? Days was actually incredibly effective. Oh, and the other thing is the uh, stability I get from um, the free foot in the grave trait, whatever it's called now. 
What do I call it? Dark Disciple. The stability I get from Dark Disciple. Um, that lasts a lot longer. Little phoenix on the platform here. Strikes me, whenever you're in like really weird, cool places, that's when you find a phoenix. Oh, okay. This is St. Angica's Shrine, actually. Hold on, this is the uh, the super cool place low down. Nice, another reason to come here. I mean, hell yeah. Oh god, guys, it really looks like you do those collections, you will see all the cool places. Like, look at this here. I've got this stab. He missed his first one. If he tries to get another CC off, he's going to be dead for it. The entrance is hidden, like, right around here. We went here, like, was it yesterday I came here again? I think I've been here, like, three times already, and I'm more than happy to go back. Yeah, okay, there was the door. Here it is. It's, it's here. It's this moss right here. Is this dragon stats? No, this is not dragon stats. What I'm thinking is, let's mix half dragon in, though. Let's try it. I'm diviners right now, and I prefer all the extra quickness, but we'll see. Let me just have a look here. My power is 258. And my crit damage is 209. Now, if I swap my trinkets to dragon. 209. Came. 230. Power's about the same. We'll see how the quickness feels, though, now. I mean, it might need to supplement it with the elixir, you know? I mean, hell, I could just put Elixir of Ambit. No, 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 no. I like the Lich form thing. Sort of. I don't know. We can see how this goes with 50% uh, Dragon. Health went up, obviously. Thinking of swapping Pistol off, by the way, and putting on Axe. But I like the Pistol 3. Go Axe and Dagger. Don't use the Pistol at all. Pistol is mostly there because it's new. But if we're going to get to this phase where we actually start like cleaning the build up more. Nice. Oh, I've got to take some time to look at all the bodies. This is so creepy and cool. This is totally one of my favourite things about the expansion. Just suddenly you get this sense of all the fucking people that died here? Some say the pages of history are scribed in blood. And here, the bloodshed is so potent, a taste of foul iron taints your tongue. Do I go swimming in it? Do I swim in the blood? No, you want me to go up the stairs? Sickening him with reminders of those he failed to save. You plead with him to forgive himself, but he doesn't hear you. Zunra, no! He's left too much guilt. Hold on, I feel like I've missed one. Oh, there you are. Or perhaps he's choosing not to listen. Awesome. Let's go back to Saitang now. If we're lucky, the telegraph's even Anyone on the world map. I'm a bit hurt over here. I somewhat doubt it. Oh, just in time to skip out on some of that meta event dialogue. Even better. Uh, do I think that fractal progression should be reworked to be more in line with raid and strike progression? No, I think it should be reworked, but not to be in line with those other formats. I think it should be reworked in the name of infinite progression. Or not not truly infinite progression, but at least a lot more progression. Fractals are where gear-minded prog players should feel at home in Guild Wars, and they don't. No, okay, look, it doesn't work on Sight. Oh, no, it does. There, there is one here on Saitung. There is a telegraph. Okay, shut up, WP. Before you go on a rant that you shouldn't be going on, it, there is one. 
So let's go grab that. I don't know where the other one is right now. One of them might be bugged or something. I don't know. We'll see. Now I know what I'm looking for as well. I'm looking for a red orb. So I could go back to the lighthouse thing. Now, because I didn't even know what I was looking for before. I didn't know how small it was, how big it was. Whether it was a UI thing or a game thing. You know, you just don't know what you're scanning for. Uh, but yeah, I, I do believe that fractals are inadequate the way that they currently work. Um, and that I, I, I love fractals. Or what fractals pro profess to be. But uh, as I've been saying, I'd take a sledgehammer to some of that stuff. For sure. And what I would do is I would do a bunch of really good strikes. Nice, solid thing for about a year. Right? I'd have like a really good satisfying game plan in place the player base is happy because they're getting regular strikes feels like that end game content side of the game is being delivered and so on um, and under that goodwill that's when I'd start taking some swings at fractals to make it ultimately better for everyone and more satisfying but players don't know what's good for them so they'll whine about certain stuff and so and no they don't change so you, you you use the goodwill you got over the first year to buy some leeway we're not changing fractals. That's what I do. Oh, look, this one's these little orbs. Here's one. You emerge, choked by the sharp inhale of icy breath. But the cold sinks within you, hardens to dread. His dread. Yours. Oh, look, there's one over here. This one's a bit more non linear. I kind of like this. Hey, I got a donation. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you. SJ Day. SGD. 10. Uh, just a little something for the few hours of entertainment. You're going to go to bed now. Enjoy myself. Uh, have a great night. Uh, you've been really good company. Thank you for all the awesome comments. And I hope that, you know, I often think about with this series, I'm really hoping that people who watch the Let's Play later, like they'll see the live chat going and it's like an ac extra, you know, quality to them, isn't it? It's an extra bit of the video, which I really like. Um, so people who have got core observations and are talking a lot, I, I really value. So thank you. And have a good night. To everyone else who's here live at the moment, we can, uh, we'll be doing the Guildhall capture fairly soon. I believe Mina will be setting up a squad. Or she can just join this. I'll give her control of it. And then away we go. The last big adventure. Well, I say that. Sorry, destroy themselves. Shit, I missed some dialogue. Zinra, no. I'm sorry. Too busy receiving a donation. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, God. Oh, there it is. It's up there. It's really interesting they actually encourage mount use there. When the mount doesn't get the, the ghost pepper effect. And feel your vow shattered. I don't know what that said. Like the mountain or, or something. I missed it. I'm sorry. I get, got distracted by the pop-up. A guardian once more. Uh, Saitung Province's second spirit portal. What you seek waits among those that bloom within a newfound refuge. Oh, this was the lighthouse one. Yeah, I never would have found this. Oh, I see it. A newfound refuge. No, 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 it's here. The derelict temple. Let's go. See, they don't even have to be that accurate with the language and stuff if the telegraphing system is working. Oh, we had another one. Air lock, R lock in. Thank you. I've been having fun tuning into the long form content on YouTube. Fingers crossed for long form Stellaris. Oh my god, you just made me really happy there, man. Dude, I'm reading so much about that game and the situations update and stuff. Do you know what? I, it would be a real dream for me to make these exact kind of videos exactly like this. Put them out live initially. No massive render process or like, you know, publish period and all that kind of stuff. Just sit back, kick back, relax, and have a community, and we just watch and we play some slides. Oh, that would make me so happy, man. And I like the way you've described this as well, just long-form content. I really like that, man. Thank you. And a donation. Oh. Let's just clear these guys away before we go into the mists. Holy shit, these guys are burning. Oh, no. Oh, this is so good. Hold on, let me turn the effects volume up. I feel like we're missing a... Wait, hold on. Just the whole game is really quiet for me. 
I mean, the, the, the background music doesn't fit the screaming crying right now, but hey. Okay, what we got? Despair suffocates you. Between grasps, you what? Between gasps, you watch them. Cruel people. No, he corrects you. Cruel actions. Oh, man. You guys should watch the TV show Bojack Horseman. It's kind of like the ultimate expression of first world whining. Okay, so like, and it does get to be a bit much. Um, but season one is a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. And it comes down at the end to a simple question. Do you believe in deep down? What is a person? Is it who they think they are? Who they feel like? Who they want to be? Or is it just how they act and what they actually do? Are you the you you believe you are? Or are you the you that the world believes you to be? Right? What is the person's true identity? And um, basically the show kind of asks that question. You get this comp this abominable person who's like... It's really easy to relate to and you've and like feels bad for himself constantly and someone's writing a biography about him and they're kind of mean to him in the end and he says don't you think i'm good deep down and she won't even give him that consolation and there's a conversation on a rooftop at the end of the season where she says she doesn't know if she believes in deep down and it's really good anyway the rest of the show's okay but bojack's greatest crime is it's not funny it's not even remotely funny there's nothing funny about the show and it thinks it's funny and it thinks it's trying to be funny and it's just, ugh. But the rest of it's good. The it's sort of the societal analysis it goes through. Lost Soul. Thanks for reminding me of that, Zunra. Lost Souls following orders from those they'll never meet. Did that say? Burning flesh. The smell stains your nostrils. Oh, here we go. At the base of the pillar. You hold your breath to block the scent of death. Okay. This might even be going overboard with how much edginess I like. <laughs> it might be we're on the precipice here. This is so, like, goth and sad. <laughs> All time. Okay, next. Um, New Kaineng's first spirit portal. What you seek waits among the ruins of old. Probably old Kaineng, then. Hey, I had another donation. Full Brumby. Dude, thank you. $20. $20, 20 bucks, man. <gasps> I didn't buy the coaster. Okay, nobody say anything. I will remember to do that tonight. Uh, hey, WP. I was away for a few days. Back now. You can't wait to... Uh, sorry, you can't agree more with rebranding re collections to quests. There's so much fun with good rewards, but most people don't even bother to open the panel to see what's there. Yeah, I mean, look, we could list out. Oh, it's good to be back in the city. Think, it's been a while, eh? I, think they were a I, I could list out, a, you know, a, a five-point bullet plan. Five days, five points. Oh, what is it Michael Scott says in the office? 30-day plan. 30 days, 30 points. We're back in business. I could give, like, a five-point, you know, like... I think point one is it shouldn't be here in achievements. There should be a new button on the left. Several dead. There should be a button here, and it says quests. There are no words. They should have their own icon. I mean, functionally, once you get into the thing, right? Once you've clicked into this, this is fine if you want it to be this. I mean, I don't mind. They even have, like, the, the list style, where they don't need to do art for each one, right? This is all fine, but it should be its own items. There should be clear telegraphs and mini-map utilization and all that stuff. Straight through it. It's not like a bunch of new stuff needs to be coded and designed into the panel. The other thing that can be done, and I've always, I've always said this, is the story journal. Where what you could do... So, I mean, he's not played anything. Oh, well, he's played End of Dragons. Like, I believe that if you want to have like stuff that supplements the story specifically that feels like side quests. You know, it's so like chapter 5 here. There should be tabs. You know how like when we're in the build, you've got tabs. There should be sub tabs here. So the scenic route, this stuff here, you scroll, this is the main thing. But there should be a tab, which is like a side quest that was available here. And then another tab was another side quest that lets you get deeper into this specific moment of the story that exists outside of the main path, you know. And maybe uh, achie um, actual achievements can be housed in there and stuff. So there's a little bit that can be done with the story journal, but mostly it's just ripping all these out of this goddamn achievements thing. To be, f to be perfectly honest... 
It's not even just that. A dailies need to be pulled out of this. There needs to be a daily button. Or uh, let's call it repeatables. There needs to be a repeatable buttons, which houses monthlies, dailies, weeklies. They're all under that button. Achievements, mastery stuff, that all goes under this. But and, and then so there should be a, a repeatables, a quest, and an achievements. They shouldn't all be in the same goddamn thing. And why login rewards appear there as well blows my mind too. This stuff can stay in the achievement thing, the account bonuses. Not that they all come from account bonuses, but hey, fine. Anyway, that's not really End of Dragons. That's some outstanding Guild Wars cruft that has built up over the past decade. You know, I'd expect it to be achievements. Uh, sorry, expansions that start doing stuff like that. But this one didn't, obviously. Right, let's go north. Actually, it looks like both of them are in the sea. Which I was thinking a second ago, actually. I was thinking to myself, hold on. Oh, i got to listen to what they say at that area. There's definitely some cool stuff going on about Ricey Palace with that. I was thinking to myself, surely a lot of it's an old Kainang, both of them. And it is. Can we head back into the city now? This place has given me the creeps. Not yet. Technically breaking the game here, because that's a T2 jump. You know what I honestly get the sense of with End of Dragons? Honestly get the sense of. I get the sense that most players would fucking hate this expansion if they didn't have a Sky Scale and a T2 Springer. Specifically that. High jump on Springer and a Sky Scale. I feel like there'd be a lot of winding, whining about map navigation because this is actually a lot more like um, demanding. What's the word? Arresting? I mean, demanding works, but it's... It asks a lot of you. And I think that a lot of veterans, they don't want to do that. They don't want to be asked anything. It doesn't respect my time. And, um... They've kind of glossed over it because they have all this movement power creep. Maybe you can say that's by, uh... By design. I've really enjoyed having a bit of a deeper experience here, though, for sure. Oh my god, thank you. Sky Walter as well uh, said I've enjoyed all 10 parts of this. Thank you. I've started getting the impression the past few days that, I don't know, people are dipping in and out and not watching the whole thing, which is fine. People can do whatever they want. But um, in my mind, this is like one long series, you know, and anyone who says that they've watched the whole thing, that makes me really happy. So thank you, dude. That's very cool. Man, this is high. This is cool. Exacting. Is that the word? Oh, the guild hall capture is going to start. Okay, two minutes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll join their squad. Well, we'll get this and then we're going to go. Hopefully we can do it in time. I don't want to rush. Whoopsie, I went too high here actually. There's a spirit of pain up here. Oh, this... The only thing with dagger is the self-bleed. I know it synergizes with Life Siphon, but nothing else. Okay. Are they monsters fueled by evil? No. For, for, not for most, it's fear. And their deepest fear is others knowing that they're afraid. So they mask themselves in hate. Hey, they're actually... This has got more of the bludgeoning, right? But, I mean, I think it's totally appropriate here. To shield their true faces even from themselves. But he shows you past illusions. And what you see is worth protecting. They're talking about... Xenophobia and what motivates it and I think uh, I think that was they were speaking very accurately to the human condition there I really like that. Okay, cool. Listen if you're in my squad watching this live We're gonna go to the last area of the expansion. It's the Isle of Reflection. We're gonna be run by the lovely Mina So I'm gonna type squad join Shear van Glen Raven Okay, so you guys, anyone in the live chat that wants to do this with us, you don't have to be a spud, but being a spud, you know, this is our guild doing this thing. You can join this guild um, rush event if you want. Just type slash squad join list and you'll be in. I don't know if she needs to lieutenant me or not. Also, um, you can go to Discord right now and join that. I'm, since I'm making this, I, I won't do that. I tend to be a bit private anyway. But we have... A, uh, what is that? 24 people already in the voice channel. 
everyone's there having fun, chatting with each other, doing the event. So, if you guys want to go to the Discord uh, comms, you're more than welcome to as well. Now, in the meantime, where are we starting from? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the guild. I'm gonna go to the Lost Precipice as it is. I don't know where everyone's meeting up, but I want to meet up in our current home. So I'm gonna go here. If you guys want to meet me here, that's cool. And then we're gonna go to Saitung, go to the boat, and head on through. Oh, we instantly filled the group. All right, we're full now. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Farewell, Lost Precipice. Actually, I feel like I should be at Sai Tung, actually. There we go. Look, some people are here. I should go get that last waypoint for Gux. Actually, he needs two. Can I get there in time? I don't want to hold everyone up. I don't want to slow things down. Oh, what? What? It doesn't really matter. I mean, total map comp on this character. One day, guys, we'll get like Zaitan's last stand, and it will be the best thing ever. The final POI. I threw that bounty out on Twitter, and nobody's managed to claim it yet. Absolutely, no one's figured it out. Okay, I'm being asked to make another squad. Okay, that's cool. Okay, guys, so if you want to be in my squad, since we've got, you know, over 50 people here, if you guys want to join mine, just slash squad join lists, and, uh, and we can double up. Will this definitely work with two squads? How does the matchmaking work? I hope it would. There we go. I can't remember how I was supposed to go up there. I think I was just supposed to go up the giant updraft, wasn't I? Squad one, better than squad two. Oh, look, look, look. Someone made a little grove here. A little Christmas grotto. I like this. Dude, we could do the Art of Reflection as a snow guild hall. How cool would that be? Okay, and finally the arena. Man, they need more snow coverage stuff. Actually, didn't they do a lot with Lake, uh, not Lake Doric, with the uh, champions? <laughs> Goodbye, Lost Precipice. Goodbye. I have my bank guild. My, it's called Jinlai Storage, by the way. Just, just want to flex a little bit on this. Jinlai chests. Look at this. Storage. That's my guild, baby. My guild. And I have a bunch of waypoint codes there that Kerry put there. I think that was from an old, uh, for an old gathering route. <laughs> uh, I can put them in the Lost Precipice somehow, sometime, someday. Okay, goodbye to the Lost Precipice. We hardly knew you. Oh, wow, isn't this weird? The, uh, the new compass thing doesn't work from here. Isn't that kind of weird? Look at that, I can't click. I can't snap to Canther. God, look at the world map now, man. Isn't this such a isn't this a crazy sight? Look at this. I'm in the guild hall and I'm looking at a whole continental-sized region that was never on the minimap before. Look at that. I'm telling you guys, it's such a bizarre, crazy thing. Oh, and the true data mind map is even bigger and even better. Okay, okay, yeah, look at all the guildies that are there. Alright, I'm I'm going, I'm going. I want to get a bit of the dialogue. Hopefully double squads works. Yeah, this is the EU run, just to be clear. Um, North America, we already did it. We did it super early for NA Spuds. Spud 2, they were like well ahead. They're ahead of the curve here. God, ArenaNet really should have added new guild missions and shit with this expansion. Wouldn't it have been so cool if over the launch of this X-Pack there was a whole new batch of like guild content? And we were doing all these exciting new things every week here in Canther. I would have so much more motivation to go and do all that stuff and collect commendations if there were new re new rewards for commendations and like just new stuff plugged in. Got a couple of new puzzles, challenges that were balanced and stuff. Ugh. I would have rather they do that than add a new haul because that would be something you do every week instead of just once. Right? Surely it's more economical to add missions than a haul. I'll do what I must. Or reward schemes at least. It's like a new reward is the top, then new missions themselves below, and then a new hull's below that for me. Let's 
Small in size, huge in danger. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Lost Precipice is the best haul. I like this, alright? I'm excited. It's new, it's Canther, it's cool. But the Lost Precipice is the way to go. Look at this, all the spud boats and stuff around. This is actually kind of cool. I like thinking about all the other guilds that would have come here and done this. People just sailing around, having fun. Dude, this is way better vibe I'm getting doing this here than I did pre-release on the pre-release press. With just a bunch of people standing here. Because I did exactly this before End of Dragons came out. We were all here, and we triggered the mission, and we went in. But this is something else, man. Hello, everyone. Jesus Christ, look at the map. These guys should... Oh, maybe they're... No, they're not NA, though. Wait, wait, wait. Am I repping the wrong guild right now? Who am I repping? Spud 1 or 2? Yeah, Spud 1. We I am repping Spud 1. So what are these Spud 1s doing? We should mouse over. We should whisper all of them. Noct. Gizmila. I think Noct is in the live video here. S. Koshak. Shaftmaster. <laughs> Good name, by the way. Right, so let's see. Hold on a second there. This boat goes to an abandoned island. Even seasoned adventurers need to stay vigilant. Never know what you'll run into. What do you know about the isle? Years ago, when the ministry was at its peak, Reiko Murakami, this is the final boss of Winter Change, was killed there. It sparked the beginning of the ministry's downfall. Even today, some people are still attracted to its morbid history. Oh, we gotta go to, um... Wait, are they already in? No, they're not. Don't we go to Dougal first? Does Dougal have a cutscene for me? Hold on. I will happily spend 20 silver on this. Oh, I think I well, we've just had a message. WP, no, stay there. But look, I'm here already. I'm going to have a look. If there's a cutscene, I want to see it for sure. <laughs> People screaming, WP, wait. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'll be back. Hold on, hold on. I've always dreamed of exploring Varby. Oh, These are the how, vanilla ones. What do you want? I'm busy. Is there a Canthan person here now? There is! Check it out! Minister Nguyen. Hello, Minister Nguyen. Urban planning. As a best practice, of course. <laughs> Land leasing is our domain. No, I'm not going to build the guild hall swap item. Don't worry. I just want to get the details. Minister Nguyen, Urban Planning, if I may have a moment of your time, the MUPs scouting an island off Xingji's coast, the Isle of Reflection. Dare I say it, it'd make a great spot for a guild hall? Interesting, tell me more. It's a small isle off the coast of Xingji. Look how big this room is. I dream of the day Guild Wars has so many guild halls that this whole place is filled with people from different areas of the world. Hopefully not different areas of the mists, but different areas of the world. Maybe I have like one or two mist guys in here. Um, it's abandoned, but what remains of Balthazar's arena is still there. The natural scenery is beautiful. Waterfalls, shores, picturesque hills. Uh, what would squatters... Why would squatters take to this location? Good question. Reiko, founder of the Ministry of Purity, was killed on the island, so people tend to avoid it. Perhaps it's a convenient place for squatters to use for that reason. What's in it for my guild? Tyrian governments have authorized an initiative that allows you full claim to the isle, so long as your guild occupies and maintains it. Okay, can you tell me what it looks like? They did do a cutscene! the coast of Xinjie, where sea spills over into sky, an isle slumbers. Though its shores seem undisturbed by imprints of the past, I advise you, look closer. When the waves recede, what tales may you find etched in the sands of time? Like the ebb and flow of tides, we all waver between past and future across life's eternal ocean. And in walking their intersection, we pave our path in the footprints we leave behind. As you embark on your journey, ask yourself, what story shall I impart in my wake? The answer awaits you at the Isle of Reflection. Oh man, that's some good tourism. That's some good advertising right there, isn't it? Alright, not a problem. Let's liberate Reiko's Fall. I should warn you, claiming it is a full-scale exp expedition. And then you have the, the, the upgrade. But we already own it. I'm being told. We've already bought one.
Travel to the Isle of Reflection entrance located on the southern coast of Xingji. They put a lot of detail into this feature that, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, okay, so. I attempt your adventurous spirit with an exciting expedition. Like the Gilded Hollow. It's phenomenal. Okay, let's go again. I, I should have used a TP to a friend there. TP to a friend, I would have saved 10 silver and a loading screen and a run. That voice acted cutscene should have been a trailer. Well, you never know. They might, it might have been. They might have done that. You never know. Okay, cool. Oh, everybody's fishing together. Um, so I, it's in Mina's hands now. It's in um, you guys' hands. I'm, I'm not gonna intrude or, uh, or or try to take charge or anything. You guys do your thing and have fun, and I'll just I'm along for the ride. I don't know at what level we we enter. I'm mousing over people in the squad, and nobody's in there yet, so I'm assuming we're, we're waiting for this. I think we just walk up and press yes, right? Meanwhile, I'm late because this better be a wedding. Sorry, someone's at a wedding. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know you could die the hover bike like that. I was, I almost bought that the other day and I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna care about anything anymore except outfits. Outfits I'll try and keep on top of. So I didn't get it. But that actually looked, I didn't realize you could die it. How do you start the actual capture? I don't know, just walk on in and talk to the guy. Should we go in? I'm gonna click yes, let's see what happens. The bike has really nice die channels. Yeah, I guess it's because, you know, the material that it's made of is not something you often see elsewhere. Oh, we're in, and it's ours. But this is Spud Club 2. This is Spud Club 2. Ha! We have all the EU people visiting Spud 2's hall. That's funny. Um... Okay, hold on. So if I just go, if I pop the guild pack, you guys don't want to be in here. Don't, don't come into Spud 2's hall. I've just allowed the EU players to snoop on the decoration scheme of the. Oh no, no, no. Oh well, no, this is fine. I can just double tap it. Could have character selected as well, to be fair. This might put me at the very beginning of Saitung again, which would kind of suck. Maybe speak to the NPC. I think we don't we want to speak to the NPC. Oh my god, this event. Hey, I'll do this, by the way. I, I want the achievement for this, so I'll play it. Oh, my inventory's full. I spent a long time before this episode clearing it out. I swear to you guys, I spent a long time clearing it out. Really. Whoa. You know, the dagger offhand, the dagger main hand, really isn't necessary when I've got this thing. Okay, go to the portal, they say. The event has started now. Okay, so so let's go on in, I guess. Oh, here we go. Claiming the Isle of Reflection. It's it's up. Let's go on in. Never mind the Naga event. We'll do it some other time. Here you go. Claiming the Isle of Reflection. That's the instance you want. It's up now. I think we might have missed a little bit of dialogue. Oh my god, look at this. Everybody's standing here. No one went up to Kazmir. Dude, this is going to be chaos. Wait, we got like a hundred people doing this. Look at this. <laughs> I think we're going to destroy this, everyone. How many people does this map fit? Yeah, I know, right? I think we've spun up a bigger map than the expansion itself will spin up. <laughs> 500 people map. Yeah, come on in, guys. Oh my god, and all the turtles. This is going to be impossible to see anything that's going on. I'm going to run the DPS build. <laughs> I 
Uh, does anyone want to drop birthday cake or anything? I mean, it's not going to scale. There is an upper bound on the scaling for stuff like this, and they're, they're, they're not going to not going to handle this. <laughs> oh, I like the amber turtle, dude. That's a really good die. The guy that did his like looking like amber. Oh, two of you did. <laughs> we should just be pure turtles. <laughs> Oh my god, bobbleheads. Yeah, have fun with that. I'm not going to turn that on. Alright. I'll try to be quiet. Pleasure to meet you, Ambassador. Bian, Advanced Zoning and Development Analyst, MVP. Uh, the what now? Minister would brief me on the details. Our backup mm. force should be here well before your land use permit expires. That's the guy we were I talking to. I was under the impression there were just a few squatters here. Can't be too careful, right? Besides, it was part of the deal you negotiated. This is your guild? Uh, don't worry. <laughs> I think our backup is here. Wait, who's the backup? I can't remember this little bit of the story. I mean, I'm not okay. going to see. Hello. Y you're leading the reinforcements from Minsec? Akane, intern, second class. You the person who approves my unpaid overtime? I don't... <laughs> Did your squad already scout ahead? Ugh. Well, seems like I need to work on my negotiation skills. But I'm sure we can handle a few squatters. Either of you ever been in a fight? The use of force is strictly regulated, and it's outside the purview of my role with the Ministry. I beat out two other applicants to get this internship. So yeah, obviously. Don't worry, everyone respect the authority of the Ministry of Urban Planning. I have this under control. It's the same that so many people are called out. Just look at all the nameplates. I mean, I'm not holding the hotkey down the whole time, so <laughs> it'll be a little bit more visible. I kind of think I should. So many people not even in our squad. <laughs> Seems I have to break that use of force regulation. God, the paperwork. I have a drunk driver, watch out. This, right? I like Akane. She was only in it right at the start, right? So it's cool that she's back here now. True campers, your homeland calls upon you. Defend her from this new pestilence. <sighs> Damn purists. They better at least have their sectarian demonstrations permit. Purists? <sighs> This is you don't insane. Seem very surprised. Our I nation is infected, ripe with turpitude, rotting with sedition. Um, Look at this. This is insane. Yes, but the minister assured me. I've heard that name. Slept through most of history class, though. How strut among us. One day I'll be one. Poisoning your sons, sullying your daughters. Founder and first minister of the Ministry of Purity. Do not succumb to this indoctrination. Cantha oh. is your birthright. Cantha belongs to Canthans. So this is like holy ground for racists? You could say that. <laughs> holy ground for racists. Twisted. <laughs> <sighs> this deal just keeps getting better and better. Do you answer the call of the Celestials? They beseech you. They compel you. She's like, what's her name? Aubrey Plaza from Parks and Rec. Um, dude, this turtle effect, it just does not work, right? I mean, it's insane. That turtle graying out needs to be much stronger if, if, if this is what they're trying to avoid. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like in six months, people won't care much about the turtle anymore. <laughs> you won't see a billion of them. But it's crazy. Down he goes. Now we need a Ron Swanson. <laughs> I bet there's someone already in the game that's a bit of an analogue to Ron Swanson. Somewhere. I'm thinking a Norn for some reason. Well, we all know why I'm thinking a Norn. You must not be allowed to live. Okay, it actually looks like they're surviving a little bit, you know. I got a good few animations off on some of these. So what's the deal? Do you think should we split, or should we? Um... Oh, we'll never. 
I'm really happy that I'm enjoying this so much. This feels really good. Much more than I anticipated it would. Um, I don't think it works as a press thing, but yeah. Uh, shall we split into all three and kill them all at once? I mean, there is a time limit, but I mean... Yeah, I'm sorry to the North American people who are disappointed. This is only the EU half of the community. Um, but, uh, and they already did it. I They did it very, very quickly. I, I, I've probably let you down there. I probably failed. I could have, um, you know, put in more work actually making it more um, transparent when that one was happening. In accordance with section 45.6. Witness, the outsiders have come to claim our land. You're gross. Zoning and development analyst Bion. Advanced. Let every request approved. Man, I kind of want uh, Spectral Grass back, like real bad, for these phases. Just wait till we get to the big boss. I wonder how hard that would hurt with the scaling. It would be funny to see us wiping, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, very far. If you won't leave, you'll die. Oh no. The one thing I hate about BIP is if people are like, if the Zerg's too big, this is funny, what's going on here? Someone's bugged as they got off of a, 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 a turtle. We, <laughs> we need to eject them from the premises before that land use permit expires. Let's split up, cover more ground. I'll head to the arena. Beyond, you take the war room. Akane, head to the mines. Assistant fanatic removal specialist. Seems like a good resume builder. All right. Oh, I'm gonna go with Akane. I like Akane. Oh no, I'll stay with everyone. I'll stay with everyone. Um, yeah, it was void, guys. The guy floating. It was just void. It's not a big deal. It's just void. How come the siege turtle isn't available in World vs. World? Well, it's just a word, isn't it? Doesn't mean it's it be good for World vs. World. Um, I feel weird about, like, the turtle in World vs. World because, like, I don't know what the war claw really did for World vs. World that was positive, particularly when interacting with the siege side of the game. Like, it's very rare people actually pull the chains and stuff. But who knows? Alright, here we go. We got a boss. Uh, yeah, when the Zerg's too big, you lose your bleeds. Your, your transference bleed, like, so fast, like, there. Well, this time I've kept it, but I can't quite... There we go. I think I managed to get a little bit... Oh! Oh, the van got me. <laughs> All right, rescue bot, go. Oh, I got floated. Watch out. Oh, that was cool as all hell. I'm scared of him. This is like the rooftop meta, isn't it? Look, it's scaled well. It's scaled well. It's like real content here. Oh, look at all these people, guys. They're way more confident than me. I'm not going to PBAOE him. When, when he's over there, there's no way I'm going into him anymore. No way. Look, after he gets unstunned, he's going to teleport up there and do not stand next to him. Do not stand next to him right now. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Oh, he didn't do it. I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, there it is. He did it. How the hell is a guy on a sky scale still not in combat? I break the bar over here now. Oh god. I could probably really nuke people with that, you know, if I wanted. In a high scaled meta event scenario. Oh no! Oh, I'm so ashamed. I'm gonna get defeated. <laughs> I was holding tab looking at whether the other bosses were dead, if people were there. I <laughs> just sort of W'd forwards and then I'm in the hot spot. Alright, good res team. Look, she even says watch out. Oh god, he's going to do it there now. Maybe. Oh no, he's up. He, he's, there we go. Dude, I like this guy. Whee. Alright, the ritualist. I want to do the one that I skipped before. This guy's the easiest of the three. The arena one's a beast. Seriously? The Ritualist. Okay, that spring a CC in there. Right oh, these are my cursor again. Always happens. <laughs> Hear me, Rico. Bless me in my struggle against these depraved invaders. 
Didn't he sound like Southern there? American Southern. Hear me, Reiko. Bless me, Ma. Oh, I missed it. I could have used my 4 and 5 in Shroud. Alright. Oh, Whale of Doom for the final CC. Hell yeah. That's not going to go through, I don't think. Because he was stunned. Whoa. Got knocked by something. Oh, come on. The Ritualist is clearly the easiest. He has no capacity to hurt anyone. He moves a lot, sure, but what, what does he do? I can't imagine the other bosses doing anything to us because I don't remember any big telegraphs. Dude, someone near me is so hardcore on the Condi Cleanse, it's insane. Or a lot of you guys are. Like, when I self-bleed, I want to put it on them, but it instantly gets cleansed. Instantly. I guess I'm just standing in a bunch of, like, druid seeds and stuff because there's so many players. And if it can proc on me, it will proc on me. Since no one else has any condies. Oh, look at that. They're just gone again instantly. Like healing rains and shit probably doing it as well. Oh, we missed the last one. Oh. We split. Some brave souls went off to the other boss. Interact with the crystal to claim the hall. I remember when Heart of Thorns came out being so, like, edgy about this. I'll let you guys do the honours on this. Oh, do people want a picture? I shudder to think how my PC would explode with culling off here. Should we try it? Ready? Here you go. Here's full culling. Actually, the frames are not that bad. You guys want to get a picture? Dude, there's still world versus world models, though. I'm highest, highest, and there's still world versus... No, there you go. They're slowly loading in, I think. Get off the turtles, because it will grey you out, and we won't get to see you very well. Jesus Christ. Pfft, can't even see it, really. This guy's insane, by the way. Have you drank the big tonic? Bootleg paladin? That's a hell of a look, Requiem Armor. Really standing out of the crowd there. Look, he's even doing the thing where if you're tall, you go to the back. If you're tall, go to the back. If you're short, come to the front. And if you're wide, go to the back. Like this char here. <laughs> Vlat Bloodclaw. Good name, by the way. Oh, look at all the mechanist mechs around. <laughs> oh, there you go. People are sending them away a little bit. Imagine being the photographer trying to organize this. Yeah, as Mina says, guys, this is not the only event we're doing. There's lots of events, and it's always very easy to see in Discord. So just keep your eye out. Try not to become, like, blind to it or anything. Well, well done, Spuds. It's good that we got the hill here to benefit our flash photography. Do you like that? That's Char over there on the left. Get those super venture boom boxes. I don't know how long they want us to hold our position here. Just let everyone take their thing. This char looks cool too as well. He looks like a proper Blood Legion guy. <laughs> Time to start mission from the waypoint. 15 minutes. Time to do it. 5 minutes. Time to take a decent group picture. 45 minutes. Alright, let's, let's hit the crystal. Let's hit the crystal. It's not done yet, is it? Until we hit the crystal. I don't think I'm the only one who can do it. I think Mina can do it too. And they've ultimately set all this up and deserves the honours. I'll type it in chat. Picture done, question mark? Well, I hope so, because <laughs> I've gone wandering off already. Crystal's magical energy pulses irregularly, as though in a state of flux. Binds the crystal. There you go. So it's done now. So now we'll get ported into the actual hall. So, as a big moment here, I'm going to go through the permissions. I'm going to give everyone in the guild permission to decorate. Don't troll each other. Don't delete each other's stuff, please. Alright. I don't. You don't need me to tell you that. You're all adults. You've all got brains. You're all nice people. So... 
<clears throat> uh, so here, for example, we go over, and I've got the Isle of Reflection for Spud. Not just Spud 2, but the Spud. So, uh, yeah, anyone can drop anything. We got trees, we got... We got a lot of stuff. We're no lo we no longer have, like, everything, everything. Um, but we do have a lot. So here, uh... Ranks. So, event helpers. Okay, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that you, you're not all going to be able to remove all decorations. But you guys can decorate and arena decorate. You can decorate and arena decorate. You can decorate and arena decorate. Everyone can do everything, basically. For that. And we'll change it later so that, like, new members can't or whatever. But yeah, have fun. Oh, the lighting in here is really good now, actually, during the day. I really like the water here. Good frame rate here as well, actually. It's buttery smooth, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and don't I need to click removal decorations? Aren't we just going to see a bunch of floating trees around? Yeah, look, 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 look. <laughs> That's the uh, Lost Precipice forest that we were in. You see that in the sky over there? That's the forest. This happens. It's still using the coordinates, believing it's a different map, right? So that is the Lost Precipice stuff up there. You see the floating, burning forest? It's quite chaotic and crazy, actually. Oh, look, someone's actually climbing up. <laughs> on the sky scale. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sky scale for this for sure. Let's try and go up there before we remove all this. Nice job with the big planks of wood here if somebody just placed these to give a bit more access. Look it's creepy as hell, isn't it? But that is uh these are all the other decorations. See so look. This is the bridge, that's the bridge up there. And here's the uh, the fountain. This is bizarre, man. Can I make it? Oh, nah. Oh, I can. There we go. <laughs> we're basically at the spawn now, where all the NPCs and things were. Dude, sky scale is crazy when you actually think about what kind of movement it's enabled us to do here. Plus the other masteries, I suppose. So yeah, um, I'm gonna turn all these off now. Okay. This will probably kick and possibly even disconnect people from the game. This has been very buggy in the past. Removing 2,000 assets from a map at once. Um, so we go. Clear decorations. Three, two, one. <laughs> it did nothing this time. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe the whole function's bugged. That would kind of ruin it a bit. And I know some of you guys are thinking, I'll oh, just do a map load, but that, that's not how it works. Maybe in time it will toggle. Maybe it's just got a lot of like... Dude, look at the bone wall over there. Oh, I'm actually really fascinated by how far away you can sail out of the hall. Maybe this place is a lot bigger than I realized it was. And more more closer to the uh, the Lost Precipice than I thought. I just had this image in my mind of it being very small. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could try and manually delete some of it, but that's not going to be great. We really want to hit the button now, because if someone tries to build some other fun things, they're just going to lose it all. Oh, travel to another new version of the map. It works well, apparently. Let's see. Character selects, go in. Yeah, just try and get out of that hall, guys. See, maybe it did spin up another one. God, do you know what it's going to turn out? It's going to turn out that I'm repping Spud 2 and I'm deleting all the Spud 2 stuff. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Oh, I guess that they fixed the bug, basically. My guess there is that they fixed the bug, the crash bug, by just saying, okay, you spin up a new hall when you hit that button. There you go. Wow, the skybox in here. Oh, it's so pink. I like the, the ground as well, the, uh, the, the other colors too. All right, yeah, I'm going to explore. So, yeah, you decorate to your heart's content, guys. 
have fun with it. Make it a snowy hall, make it a tar-based hall, create a trophy room. Again, the one thing I would say is try not to go like crazy with like jumping puzzles. I know they're sort of fun, but they use a ton of assets and they don't look pretty in any way. I mean, there will be time for jumping puzzles. We can do it, but I don't know. And roller beetle races as well. I mean, if, if, if that's really what people want to do, fine. Um... I'm just saying it wouldn't be my preference. So there are fish here. That was cool. Seeing a dragon all the way out there. Knowing that a player is riding it. Did I just see someone with an Aurene legendary? Like the footsteps. Oh, I love how optimized this place is. God damn, my frame is so good. This is really nice. Really pleasant. Oh, the tree looks great there, actually, doesn't it? This feels a lot better in the daytime than in the night. I will, I will say. Maybe I'm, I misjudged it a little bit. We got a bell. Can I get on a mount and get an achievement? <laughs> oh, can you ring that? Ring bell. Whoa, that was cool. I just saw holographic Krakatoric there, and I thought it was the bell that did it, but it wasn't. It was. Um, it was someone with a holographic Krakatoric. They're rich if they have an Aurene Legendary. The price is uh, astronomical. Really? Oh, look at the skiffs around. It was nice hearing the uh, pre-searing music. Uh, where are the buildings? Can I? Can we change the music? Let's go and have a look at the buildings. I mean, I've really not seen. It's a shame some of these posts are still broken. Because obviously, all, all the whole guild hall was broken before. You don't get to see all the details, you, and we don't. Well, I'll never get to see all the animations of them building up. I did for the path of fire hall because that's what we did with Spud too, but. Now both branches are like totally full and totally upgraded. They didn't add anything new, did they? And it's all the classic NPCs. Which is good. I like that. I, I like the idea of the guild initiative being my friends through all expansions as we move along. How's the guild doing? Having any trouble? Everything's restored? Yeah, it's all restored. Commendation trader. Dude, you look awesome. We get a Jade Tech waypoint. People decorating. It's never better. What upgrades can I buy from you? There won't be any, right? Yeah, there ain't. There ain't Jack. Which building is this? What the hell was it that Ruby was trying to not look at? It was in this room, wasn't it? Wasn't it? It was in this room. The time has come. I mean, there's a lot of cool detail in here. Maybe it wasn't the scribing room. Trying to hide a jade bot workbench. Oh, you might be right. It might be because there was a jade bot workbench decoration that had been put down, and that's a game feature that hadn't been announced at the time of that live stream. So it was that mastery track. I think you're right. I think it's a. I think there was a jade bot workbench there. And it was in the name of keeping that whole gameplay feature under wraps until they were ready to talk about it. I think you've got it. I 100% believe it was a Jade Bot workbench. Is there one? No, it's a new decoration you can place around. 
So remember that guild hall, that arena nets guild hall? It was like they were like a real player base. They were like a real guild. They were using it like there were random hedges and things around. They were decorating. And so, like, I bet one of the members of their guild internally on the on the early access servers or whatever, they had put a better workbench on there. I bet that's what it was. I mean, what else would it be? Void stuff? I wonder how they felt making a war room for this expansion, knowing no one uses any features remotely related to it. Someone else decorating? Another bell? Can I ring this one? Oh, so much flat, more flowery here than a second ago. When we, isn't this where we were fighting the Wheelbender? <laughs> Look at it. There's a lot more detail there now. Yeah, thanks to everyone who joined the Guildhall capture. Thank you. And thanks for running that to Mina as well there. That was really, really awesome. Yeah, and especially those of you who went to the Discord channel. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of private and I kind of, I don't engage with that too much. But it doesn't mean that I'm not really, really, really happy about people using it and making friendships and all that kind of stuff. Like, really. Oh, we got a, a friggin' Order of Whispers globe here now. Do we have one of the mirrors too? So, uh, yeah, people who engage on that level is, is awesome. And I, I'm, I'm super happy that people are doing that. Let's go look at the mine. I don't think I've really looked at the mine. I wanted to see the music. I mean, where is that triggered? Usually. It's not going to be at the arena. Workshop? Is that workshop? That has the music changing NPC? Because I want to see if there's a canther track, right? And we can put a canther music on it on there. You're right next to the tavern. It's the tavern that they change it. Yeah, oh, is this guy leading me there? Hello. I'm following. I'm a following. I mean, I don't. I don't really remember what the decoration. Uh, okay, <laughs> I don't really remember what the decor. Oh, it's in there. But the door is blocked <laughs> by the globe. Is it? Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh, this is a good tavern, isn't it? Holy shit! It's intimate. Oh, I can't press F to sit. I love meeting new people. Hello. Oh, oh, there's no Canton music. I pray to the spirits, but they rarely answer. It's night time, so we actually get the spooky forest super You seem a friendly it. sort. Let's do the pure sound of nature. For now. See all these other tracks? There, there should be a Black Citadel Running guild hall. You know, so I can put the music of the Black Citadel there. A giant smeltery and stuff. Ugh. This is a bad time to be traveling. And then there's anthems. I don't know what anthem we currently have I selected. Met Bram Bram once. I served him a meal in my old tavern. Probably He's superior adventures. <laughs> So that anthem plays when you beat a mission. Oh god, we're gonna get blocked. We're gonna get locked in. Okay, cool. Let's go look at the uh, the arena here. Oh, and the mine. I always like exploring the mine. The mine tends to be one of those places that's like, you know, it's deep and it's intricate and you know, it's an interior. Ooh. And this is one of the things that I regret we won't see, you know, watching the guild hall build up. We're not going to see this place get dug out. There's so many phases to it, you know. I could clear this tunnel to get the good stuff further down. Here's some bats. It really crashes me how few players probably are like appreciating all the like look at this little mushroom here. Someone put this mushroom here, guys. Let's appreciate. It's quite quite far actually. I feel like we're gonna break out the other side of the island. Oh 
actually didn't mean to glide there and ac accidentally procked it. Yeah, and there's another doorway out here. Okay, so there's our little tour of the fully upgraded mine. <laughs> I like how everywhere I go, like on a random roof, there's a goddamn decorating spud. <laughs> Hammering away. Sorting the tarp. What is going on there? I'll tell you, you know, they're adults, right? The people are adults that are playing this and doing this. But you give people this kind of... It's like toddlers with a, a, a box of crayons, you know? <laughs> when you look at what comes out of it. I'm, I'm guessing that these orbs being stacked like this is a scaffolding to get high up. Which means we're going to have a bunch of ugly floating platforms. Oh my god, look at that. Someone's put the um, super adventure like cliff on top of the building. And they've also set the building on fire. We also have three Krakatoriks flying around up there. It's literally like toddlers grabbing like all the colours of the crayons in one hand. And just smearing it across the wall. That's what we got. <laughs> okay, let's go look at the uh, the arena. So, is this the arena from the first game? It doesn't feel like it anymore, right? Didn't they say all the, the buildings were still around? The reflection arena. It's good, nice and open. Is this the biggest arena yet? Basically, the bigger the arena, the better, right? You've got to have a big, wide open space. I want to get out onto a skiff now. And um, sail around, see like the, the outer lying islands and corals and so on. You love the giant globes, makes you wish they had a version with no stairs, so you could have giant moons floating around. That's a cool thought, for sure. Look at all these places. There's a whole shrine here. So you could just, like, pick an island and just... Look, look, look that's it. We're decorating there. Someone put a bunch of trees up there. And to anyone, if we ever run out of a decoration that you want to use, uh, believe me, I wholeheartedly encourage you to just go pick up more. Rip Forest Hall. <laughs> oh, I'll sign this. I'll scribble my name on that. Rip Forest Hall. It's okay, look, look. After a while, we can do uh, like a big theme, you know, and we'll make this the Forest Hall, and then we'll make this a Snow Hall, and then an Underground Hall, and all that kind of stuff. This is really lovely. Feels like the Gilded Arena is twice the size of this one. Yeah, the Gilded Arena is very big, for sure. I always wanted them to do bigger ones with the later halls, but um, <coughs> the POF one uh, didn't, so I didn't expect this one to. Either. I wonder if I ram into these barrels, I'll break them. Oh, look, someone's building here. Got some player stuff going on. Making a fortress out of this island, maybe? Something like that. Oh, wow. And what's that over there? Is that the arena? Oh, no. That, is that someone else is building those? Is that like uh, Ascon Ruins or whatever? Player placed. I think that is, right? Players have placed that. Some of the Joko Bone Wars. Oh, nice. we got like a statue kind of thing. Oh, he's bugged. <laughs> <laughs> he's bugged himself inside the decoration. He can't get out. Also, he's got a fishing rod out. I think that's a fishing rod. Oh, just enjoy this. Someone's sky... People sailing, people flying on dragons, people decorating. Filling the sky, the sea, and the land. A true MMO moment we just had there, looking across that. This is a pretty little place. You just saw someone with an Aurene Legendary. There is someone with one. Yeah, man. I mean, 
I hope to get one eventually. I assumed that the first one would be cheap. I mean, you do get a free pre, but maybe that's really silly of me. We need a one week later tour. Yeah, maybe on the finale of this series, you know, which will be next Friday. Maybe I'll come back and we see what, what has happened. That's actually a really good idea. A really good idea. Oh, look, that guy's making it a little like beach house area. I'll probably be back to fish here anyway, assuming that they've put unique fish on the map. It's cheap, but time gated. Yeah, I, I had heard that. I've um, I've got a weird feeling about that. I really don't mind the time gating. I really don't. But I feel like time gates features should be staggered after release. Like I feel like uh, all that shit should have been disabled for the first two, three weeks. That's cool. Everyone's fishing there. And what that means is everyone can play at their own pace. No one has to rush. To feel like they they can get to the earliest time gates, you know, the earliest dailies, the earliest weeklies, so that they can stay ahead of the curve or whatever, you know, it's just like such an unnecessary, like lame sort of extra pressure that um you you could avoid by having all those features. Do it, but give people a two week buffer to just chill and enjoy the thing at their own pace first, instead of feeling behind now because they're you know the utter losers have rushed way on ahead and they they've already hit those dailies and they've already gathered. You know, you could have gathered how many by now already? 15 dailies? And I've got zero because I chose to get play the game in a normal way. And, you know, there's just kind of that weird sense, you know. And I think that the uh, the time gating, but with a purchase choice, is, is good too, you know. You can, you can rush it if you want, but you'll pay a premium. And it's a player-dictated premium, you know. You can't argue with the economy that the players created. So I think uh, it's really cool to see how close I am to this weird part of the city. And this island where I always wanted to go. So yeah. Alright, let's finish this quest. Thank you for that, Spuds. And I'm keen to see what you've all done with the decorations. I hope that you don't feel like, um, you know, we're going to run out of uh, stockpiles. Because I know that some of those decorations, especially from Launch Heart of Thorns, are insanely expensive. And they're not very big, and you don't get many. So it kind of sucks. If you're going for, like, a certain ruin aesthetic, and it, there's not a 1,000 in the stockpile, there's only 25, so you can't really do much. All right, a guardian once more. Um, so we were in New Kainang. Oh, yeah, and we were in the, uh, the ruins of the sea. Up here on the top right. So let's get back to that. The avid fishing collections are still disabled. I feel like they're just slowing people down at this point. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of doing a competition about fishing with Spud, like a big prize pool for people who get there high. But I don't actually know. I can't figure out how fishing is set up at the moment, whether people can get cod walking like among, amongst me and minnows think, already or what. I think they were a purist. A purist, huh? Uh, you feel like Ender Dragons has done so much for the economy, from tons of gold moving from hoarders buying the time gates to melting down tons of crafted items for research papers. I, I I haven't seen the effects of those two things yet, but I think you're totally right. I love that you've dropped that message there in the live chat because I really do think I want to believe in that. Um, and yeah, that's the other thing. You know, if you're like a hoarder or like a TP Baron type person, you know, you're, you're spending an inordinate amount of money just on that early prestige. And I think that, yeah, the game having as many opportunities as that is, is excellent. So yeah, I hope that that's true. I haven't quite seen the 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 impact though, so I don't know whether I can really but stand by. But yeah, the research paper thing looks cool too to me as well. Like all that like dead stuff that it's like, why would I bother crafting this? It has no application in the game anymore because they don't they don't want to remember pre level eighty content exists and stuff like that. Well, now at least research paper gives it a bit of value, you know. It's also hard to really comment on that stuff and really compliment that kind of stuff when we're only one week in, one and a half weeks in. You know, it's an expansion that Please ostensibly your has and to last for, what, two, three years? Now, obviously, that might not be true, but that's what my ballpark guess is here. And if the economy's good for what, two weeks at the start and then just crappy again for the rest, it's not really a... You know, what kind of an observation is that to make? So we'll see. 
There's no click to salvage stack. Yeah, I saw something about people setting up double click macros, right? Just to salvage and grind through. I'm not at that point with the expansion. I've still got real content to do before I have to worry about item rewards and stuff like that. So I'm pretty... I'll probably be insulated from that for another two weeks even. This Today's been awesome. I've had a lot of fun with this. And I've got a bunch of these story collections to do still. While we're here, I could try and get these last messages about this vault story too. Oh wow, I went all the way up and I didn't have to. There we go. When he left the mortal world, was he enraged? Did he simply turn and go, disillusioned? Music works well right now, doesn't it? The vibe. Ignoring screams of children, unconcerned with elders' wails. Suddenly you feel as though you're crying, but in place of tears. You shared your doubts, exchanging them for truth. He did not choose this. It feels like it's going in a good order, even though I've done the maps in a weird order. I wonder if it's properly coded that you always get the story in the right order, no matter what level you do the objectives. And by objectives, I mean each box, but also the order of the wisps. Okay, so that's the end, though, until we do Dragon's End, right? What you seek waits below the waters frozen in time near abandoned solitude. I'm guessing that's the sealed off area. What I seek awaits me at respite. Let, well, hold on, let's just see where it is. The no click to salvage stack might be a way of incentivizing players to salvage more expensive items, which give more notes per click, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like sometimes there's like a negative thing that benefits you in some subtle way, and it's not that anyone ever endorsed the thing. What I'm, what I'm trying to say to you right now, guys, is actually really important about the world and about, like, how bad business practices and stuff come about. It's not right outright malice. It's that you're incentivized to not do anything about it, right? It's like, it's very easy to turn a blind eye to, like, something that's negative in some way. You know, it doesn't really matter what we're talking about. But if there's incentive, in, if there's not, if there's incentive to just sort of back away... You know, if there's not an active incentive to change something, a lot of, like, slimy things can end up existing, and that can manifest in a ton of ways in the world. In fact, most of the problems of the world literally come down to that one phenomenon. It's not that some evil person ever twid twiddled their moustache and decided to do something horrible. It's just they weren't incentivized to ever fix something horrible. And this is a little example of that, possibly. They never designed for it, you know, to be this weird thing. But it kind of benefits them to be this weird thing, so... The priority for a fix drops down the list. So far down the list, with some sometimes that it never, never gets resolved. So I think I've got to be in the caves under the water. God, these icons are so small. They're so small. Why are they so small? There's one there. That doesn't look like it's down. Let's try the one on the very bottom left. They knew the legendary required 3,000 notes. Alright, maybe it was more deliberate. I don't know. I'm, I'm obviously discussing this in a vacuum. <laughs> 3,000 clicks doesn't sound too bad to me, though. Am I just insane? That doesn't sound too crazy. I'm now manually clicking as I as I play. Each little move of the camera is a click, you know. Oh god. Oh wow, I've never been here. Wait. There's an upstairs. Oh no 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 no. Jesus Christ. That's like the perfect worst timing. The spring and oh, hold on, Jade Bot, save me! I didn't realise that this area was here. Please let me out. I'm trying to leave. I'm not that close. Oh, Gux has been defeated. 
Oh, I do realise, actually. Yeah, I remember. I have been there with the bridge and stuff. Yeah, that's post-meta. Oh, my God. So, it, to cheese that, you'd have to, like, involve in, grab it, and then involve in and get all the other little ones. Yeah, I ain't getting that. There's no way. But the truth is, I wasn't even trying to do that. There's a second objective, isn't there? And I was trying to look at that one. Where is this other one? Is that it? No. Void energy readings at 25%. I repeat, 25%. It's here. It's Archimorris's solitude. Okay, so I don't know how I ended up getting so distracted before, but I have it I have it waypointed. I all left clicked it. Let's go to that now. Let's try one more. And then I think we've stalled. So Marjorie, next time we beat the meta, we have Marjorie to speak to. We have the spirits to speak to. We have Aureen and Suwon to speak to. And Albax as well, if I finish this Albax quest. Okay, it's underwater. It's underwater. Under the jade, I should say. Right. So again, back to the top. Jesus Christ. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm happy to go into these tunnels. I like these tunnels. How you did it was use a mount and the revenant double heal. It was annoying, but not that hard. Really? For all of the moats? Surely you're going to press F and then well, you're going to walk into a big orb and then you've got to collect all the little ones. You know, with a max turtle doubling the, the everyone else's health, I can kind of imagine that working out. By the way, nearly there for Arborstone Tier 4. I'm actually deriving a little bit of satisfaction at the moment, which is good. I heard the miners accidentally dug too deep and flooded the basin. Abandoned all their work. Damn. I wonder if this is the only entrance. I mean, it's such a subtle entrance for such a big thing. I kind of want it to be the only entrance, but there might be more. I certainly never found another way out the number of times I've been in here so far. So it's just like a fisherman's paradise here. I'm really scared to boost. But we'll try. There we go. Nice straight line. Cavern fish, fine, but is there a way? Do you know what? This reminds me of a little bit. Did you guys ever play the game? Um, uh, oh god, what was it? Outer Wilds, I think it was? Jesus Christ, I was playing it just a little while ago. Anyway, there's a planet in that game that's like this brambly like mess. And you have to sail through it and it's like... You never quite know where you're going if you're going to swim into a giant angler fish or anything. And it's a lot like that. I actually loved that game so much, I was close to wanting to do a Let's Play on it. Seriously. I think I could do a really fun LP on that game. It's probably a bit overdone and old at this point, though. You can also enter by finishing the trial, which you can enter through the temple. Oh, yeah, of course. You can get in that way. That's a good point, too. The time loop mechanic got in your way. You're too slow with exploration. That sort of seems like the wrong way to interpret that game, though. It doesn't get in your way. It is the game. Also, oh, yeah, we can go left. I don't want to swim into that. And the magic of that game is how things change each loop, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. Like, that whole game is around that mechanic. You're not meant to fight it. You're meant to embrace it. Alright. This one's a different colour. These are all different colours. Is that just the post-processing? He shares with you a moment. Not seen, but felt. All these frozen people here. Bright noise, brief explosions that split life with fire, did that say?
Quick flashes illuminate a child's silhouette. You shield her, white hot pain brands your side and she cries. Blinded, you feel your limbs being bound and fall half dead on the ground. Sorry, are they telling me that... Oh, wow, that's the second one. Are they telling me that, um... What are they telling me? I wish I could reread these, because they're gone now. I have just to remember what I read. Zunra didn't see that. He just felt it. Someone defending a child? Dying defending a child? Oh my god, I want to finish this. I want to finish this. It's called a guardian once more. Zunra must come back in these last ones. Oh. Oh, all right. We'll deal with you with Marjorie. Okay. The fate of Halsu Heltzer. Dare I try it? <laughs> Hold on. Get a toy bell. Wait, I thought I did that. Wait, no, I spoke to the little girl, and I think she wanted me to do the event, didn't she? Or we could do Outbacks. Or we could locate lost records of Shingji's history across Tyria. And go to the Ministry of Archives. Oh, so much choice. I think I'm going to do the fate of Halsu Heltzer because I think that's going to be localized and a little bit shorter of an adventure and unlikely to end with the Dragon Stand meta event. <laughs> right? I think that we can do this and so I'm going to I'm going to try this now. There might be a bit of waiting around for one event, but generally speaking, I think this is this one's going to be okay. So we're moving these where? The university first for study. Then they'll go to the Kurzik Cultural Center in Kainan. I imagine some of them will end up on display. Most will be archived. All of them will be heavily warded. Well, so we want rubble. Possibly where? after an event, where? but possibly just here. We have a collection icon, but that's just the original guy telling me, "Hey, there's a collection." So the rubble could be anywhere around here. The House Who Helps Quest is the favourite one you've done. Really? Oh, that's exciting to me. I think that that Zinra one's amazing. It's better than the Zinra one, is it? Okay, I'm ready for another adventure. Oh. Wait. Oh, there's a uh, spirit thing here. But what do you want me to do? Oh, just smash the crates? Hello. Thank you, fun spirits. What are these unusual coins, by the way? Like, I haven't seen where to spend any of them. Just use the vendors. The rubble is part of an event that happens right there where I am now. Okay, so I am waiting for an event. Well, exploration got us another thing while we wait. There's a vendor in the Diego Ward that trades some of them. Oh, there you go. New event. Maybe. Oh, there is a new event. It's at the entrance. Oh. Oh, wow. How do I get out? I doubt this is it, but it's probably something I haven't done anyway, so I kind of want to go see it if we're waiting around anyway. I mean, why not? There's a vendor in Canark's club. No, no, no. They trade for Canark coins. We've seen that. Sigur. Hello. Oh, we're going to go back to power. Nature will win. Sure it will. Bugged? Possibly. Either bugged or a very long cool, uh, wind up. You can new get new recipes and skins. Some are upgrades of the flame serpent skins into a shadow form. 
As in referencing the shadow form skill from Canther in Guild Wars 1, or just you mean they look like a shadow form? Like void, void, salt spray void kind of weapons. That sounds fun. If, there, if I didn't already have a million fancy looking skins in the game. I'm thinking this is bugged. The next tour starts soon. I'll I'll go on the tour. Let's do a tour. Want to do something? I mean, that's gonna take me all the way over there. I like being. I like that this layer of the place is accessible. There's a tourist up here too. Forests in the ruins. Just like me. I actually get a really good vibe from this place, actually, in Echo Vald. Kind of a Guild wars -y vibe, you know? Like, the ruins of an old world all around you. Which has always been captivating to me and is fun. It's definitely good. Wait, I thought I saw a uh, a chest there. I guess not. The next soon. Hey WP, I just finished part nine. I'm always enjoying your perspective and commentary. Perhaps some more team content today if you need it for collections. Maybe, I don't want to overdo it on metas though. I did a bunch of meta stuff in part nine, part eight and seven, I think. So I'm actually really happy with how part 10's gone so far. We did we just did a big group thing, but that we'd never seen before, the guild hall capture. There's been lots of really cool, like nitty gritty exploration stuff. It has been a, it's been a bit lame, like relying on events that you don't know if they're bugged or when they trigger and th there's been some issues, but generally speaking, I've really liked this and I want to just keep doing these collections at the moment. Quest, quest lections, what do we call them? Look, if you're going to ask me if you can go into the mines, the answer is no. Just like I told that char, they've been sealed for over a century, and that's how they're going to say, I know what this is. Okay, someone told me about this. So, this is the Ergo's Warren. What you guys need to understand, oh my god, is it all properly lined up? Listen, in Guild Wars 1 factions, okay, all the towns had like sectioned off areas that you could only go into if you uh, if you were in a faction with a ton of alliance, uh, if you were in an alliance with a ton of faction points. So basically, it, your guild could unlock extra areas. You know like the Crown Pavilion? No, uh, not Crown Pavilion. Literally, to Guild Wars 2 players, you know that you need the gem store item to get in here in the Crown Pavilion, right? The Royal Terrace. This system, a unique area filled with special vendors, but it was locked off. That existed in Guild Wars 1 as well. All the towns in Canther, there was a special area like this you couldn't get into. They had like discount merchants and stuff. Now in the cap, and the way you did it is you had to play like the faction and you had to do the PvP and just blah, 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 blah. So anyway, it wasn't, it wasn't a microtransaction thing. It was an actual game system. So anyway, that's all the little places. So there would have been one at Claypool and there would have been one at Shaymore and there would have been one at Beetleton. At the capital city, okay, and this was the capital, House Zuhelzer. At the capital, so only the best alliance had access to a unique area, and I think this literally might be it where we're standing, except you couldn't do it in Guild Wars 1. They would only let you up here if you had it. Now, in the capital, not only were there discount merchants and stuff, there was a raid, a hardcore PvE endgame instance for 12 players. And only the best alliance members could even try the raid. Everyone else was locked out. In later years, they let you taxi through, and they added scrolls and stuff. Anyway, so the idea is the raid was below House Zoo Heltzer. It was called Ergo's Warren, and it was another area of the forest that you couldn't otherwise get to. So here in Guild Wars 2, we get to hear about the mines. So she says, look, if you're going to ask me if you can go into the mines, the answer is no. Just like I told that char, they've been sealed for over a century, and that's how they're going to stay. Why were they sealed? They got overrun and became a liability. 
It's weird because it was mines in the Jade Sea for the deep, because there was one obviously here, the top alliance for the Kurziks. The top alliance for the Luxans had it too, and they had a mine. That's where Kanaxe was. And in the this one was Ergos's Warren, which really didn't feel like a mine to me. It was more just another area of the forest. But here they're saying it's a mine. Anyway, they got overrun and became a liability. And it's your job to guard this entrance? Yeah, so meatheads like our friend don't go digging their way through inside getting killed. Way too much paperwork. Oh, this isn't the thing. Look, I've heard that there is dialogue here about Ergos trapped in an amber mine. I've heard that there is here. Oh, here you go. It might be this guy. Gah! This was adve advertised as an adventure tour, but all we've done is look at a bunch of stones. Where's the adventure? The violence! I was promised violence! Oh, a great char here. Let me down to fight Ergos, you wimps. Hey, he's me. He's me as a char. You haven't been bothered by the gangs. The gangs? Those twerps. Don't make me laugh. Took one look at me and ran the other way. <laughs> this is good. This is a good char, isn't it? You seek knowledge. Oh yeah, Ergos, a powerful forest spirit, they've got sealed underground. Took over a big amber mine, or so the books say. A worthy opponent if there ever was one. Okay, so he moved from where we fought him in the first game into a mine, and the mine's under here. I see. So we hear about Ergos here, and we also hear about Ergos from Dreslov, up here. By the way, the Dreslov thing, someone told me there's a Moss Heart event or something? There's some kind of extra thing going on there where you can uh, fight a Moss Heart, a champion Moss Heart. I've never done that, and I kind of want to see that too. Oh, fuck me. Where's this event? I found a new one. Really? Where? Down the hall a bit. It was completely covered in overgrowth. Enchanting the stone itself with magical walls and protections. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. Is there something I can help you? Yeah, trigger the event. That's what you can help me with. Oh, West Wing's infested. To avoid that. The West Wing. Is that the mine? Or are we talking about the a wing of the cathedral out here? I wonder if they'll do strikes and stuff for all this kind of stuff. I can't believe this, by the way. I could easily have missed this dialogue because this guy's just called a fucking Priory Explorer and when I moused over him, he didn't even have dialogue. Knowledge defeats darkness. He didn't even have the, 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 the chat box thing. Here we go, it's here. Beautiful. Help them extract relics from their wards. Okay. This spell should reveal the wards protecting the artifacts. Assuming I've got it all right. Reveal! There! The shimmering fields! There are the wards! Check around the rubble nearby for the keys! Okay, so I can deposit? So, rubble. Get a vampire beast crawler. Did I fuck that up then? Is that what the idea? Oh, this guy's quite strong. My contribution zero. Don't I need to find a way to detect the wards? Don't I need to do something special? Oh, look, look, look. House Zuhelt's a relic. A magical ward shields the priceless Zuhelt's uh, historical relic within, but the passage of time has deteriorated it, leaving it dangerously unstable. Use a rune key. Where did I get a rune key? I like how similar that sounds to room key. Oh, I have an achievement. Successfully disabled 10 wards in a row. Oh, wow. I mean, I'll try it. Oh, God. It's not even hard. It's just so long that the pressure's going to be on. Oh! Oh, but now I don't have a room key. And I've lost the achievement. Wait, can I deposit? Ten minutes to do ten in a row, so I've got I gotta do one a minute. Search the rubble, get a key, go to a ward. Okay, so rubble first. I thought it was gonna be the other way around. Oh my god, the weakness though. The the power build weakness. And this she's not even trying to fight me, she's resetting. Oh I'm possibly scaled out the ass. Okay. Let's try this again. Rubble? Ah, I have a key active effect. 
Oh no, I don't want to fight the vampire beast. Oh god, this time pressure now. Nine minutes till it either fails or we get it earlier than that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully this hasn't overscaled. Okay, grab the relic. Cool. So, rubble again. Get a key. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. CCs don't don't mess me up either. I really can ignore all the mobs because I actually got. Uh, not only did I get attacked and it didn't matter, I actually got uh, dazed on that and it didn't matter. Okay, good. There's rubble up here. Uh, I might want to kill that. All right, we'll kill these. We'll kill these guys. Wow, I feel really weak. Oh, is it's because it's an event that scaled out the bump. Whatever then. Let's go down there. If I knew they'd be this tanky over the 30 seconds, are you fucking serious? I would have. Um, I would have stayed the condi build. I mean, I could swap it on now, I guess, but I think I'd rather run away. All right, this is number three. Cool. If I fail this just because I misclicked wrong, it's going to be brutal. Okay, that's three in a row. Seven minutes left. Some rubble over there. Climb up. Oh. I'm standing close to that. It knocked me back. If that had happened while I was while I was doing this, I think I would have failed the achievement. So that's a risk to avoid. Don't step inside the thing. That's four out of ten. Oh look, 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 look. we got the the fate of House Who Helps a thing. Oh, that's just a random chance as we participate in this elaborate event. I got gotcha. you. Need some rubble. I hate hearing those death sound effects. It's either NPCs or worse, players. Which really means that this might snowball against us. One. Alright, that's 50% of it done. I just gotta do this a second time. Same job, again. Simple. Well, we're at no risk of other players beating this early. Holy fuck, what the fuck? Oh, I think the confusion, t the act of, the act of activating the thing propped confusion, which instant cancelled the thing. The only fear here is that a player has a ton, is like gathering like 20, and they're going to drop their 20, and then that's it. Heal off that guy. Okay, let's see if this works. One, two, three, four. This is really scary when I'm being attacked while I do it. It's really scary. I, it shouldn't be. I, I guess it should be fine, right? But holy crap. Okay, you gotta get more rubble. Oh, don't make the mistake of forgetting the rubble, man. That's just going to ruin the whole thing. There we go. Get a key. Scout wants to attack me, but shouldn't matter. Oh, he hurts. Oh. 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 Okay, the scout. I knew that they had some bursts, but not that much. Alright, don't try it with a Skelk, everyone. I got through that because I have Ritualist and Dragon Gear. Um, which has some vitality on it. 
Oh wow, this might fail. This just might straight up fail. Someone's just cashed in and it didn't give much. So let's assume that they had a bunch. Okay, get a key. I'm going to go to the upper level now, I think. It's a bit hot here. Actually, that seems okay over there. Oh, vampire beast on me. Okay, let's heal. Okay, here we go. This is 8 out of 10 for the achievement. I suppose the nice thing is that our actual, like, quest doesn't even require us to beat this. Because we've already progressed that. Do you know what? I actually think I shouldn't hand my relics in. Because this is clearly scaled so high it's probably not going to beat. I could save my relics, sneak back here later when no players are around. Yeah? And just cash 10 in and do it. One, two, three, four. I'm so nervous. Five. Okay, last one. Last one. We're at nine out of ten. We got three minutes to do it. Rubble first. Don't go down state in the middle of this. Don't take any unnecessary risks. If it looks like the players in the area are going to beat it, I will cash mine in. But otherwise, I think I'll just board them. Okay, let's find a nice empty relic area. Like that one up there. Nothing near me up here. Here we go. Oh, there's a saboteur, but it's fine. One. Two. Three. Oh, I'm so nervous. Five. We got it. <laughs> three AP. Well earned. <laughs> well earned. Okay, so do I hoard... We're in a prisoner's dilemma here, basically. The speakers thank you for your help. Wait, did he just steal the relic off of me? Shit, he did. I only have five. They've been taking them off of me. The thieves have been grabbing them. Oh, wow. If I kill a thief, can I just spawn a ton in for myself then? Or is it actually super dangerous to go anywhere near a thief? Oh no, you can get them back from killing the thieves. So I have six. If everyone else does it, I'll do it. If no one else does it, I won't do it. It's a prisoner's dilemma. We all benefit if we all do it, probably. But do. Do <laughs> trust. How many relics collectively are here? Oh, look, look, there's a thief. Kill him. Get the loot. If everyone crowds around a thief and kills it, surely we spawn a ton of relics all at once, right? Because everyone, um, everyone tags it, everyone gets a, a relic. I'm just going to keep focusing on thieves. In theory, doing the mechanic, if you're spawning thieves, you could, a zerg could just blow it up, right? Am I right? You're essentially duplicating a, a a relic. Unless it's really sophisticated now it distributes the loot. Oh, they're trying. I reckon I can push that maybe a fifth on my own. I only have seven. I want to see this get beaten because... Um, Corruption. 30 seconds. No, honestly, I'm gonna. Um... Oh, there's a thief. Kill the thief. I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. So there, surely we just got two. I can't do 50% of the event all on my own. So it's just throwing them in the void. Yeah, yeah, there's no need. Sorry. There's no need, there's no need. Come back later and do it. Well, I suppose 
Trust me, guys. It will be better to come back later. I will... Next time, I'll come back. I will deposit seven of them. Eight of them straight away. I'll put it to 80% complete at the instant the event starts next time. As long as, as long as I'm the only one here. And I can fit... And then, you know, it's like the Jade Moore thing, you know? And then uh, everyone can come back and, and whatever. All right, so... But the point is that we got the fate of that house who helps us died here. So here, we got a pristine relic. So we meet again, Commander. The Echowald gangs are at war with each other. Anyone who can help, please meet me at Mori Village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found something. Maybe this will help? Oh, let me see. Yeah, this is an excellent shape. Well done. Wait a minute. Let me take a closer look at this. This belonged to Danica. She was the leader of the house when it fell. This, this is special. Before we do anything else, we need to dedicate it at a resting place. You mean the cemetery? Yeah, she was buried in the cemetery here. The Ministry of Purity would have tossed her straight into the sea. But her body was hidden until it was safe for her to be reinterred with her family. What a terrible thing. Yeah, it was a dark time, which makes it all the more important we do this the right way. Her grave is at the highest point in the cemetery. Dedicate it to her memory, and then we can get cracking. Okay, so we go to her gravestone. So we're moving these to where? The university first for study. Then they'll go to the Kurzakur. Which was like north somewhere. I imagine some of them will end up on display. Most will be archived. All of them will be heavily rewarded. We don't have the uh, Starburst icon. I say Starburst. I mean, what is it? A crown? It's a crown on a diagonal, on a, uh, a diamond shaped card or whatever. Oh, that's the mine entrance. Ooh, I very. I actually. um tried to use Bond of Faith there, but I pressed the button light enough that my Logitech G600 never detected it. Like, it clicked. Like, it actually fully went... I, I pressed the button, but with such a light touch that it didn't... It didn't register somehow. So, no rule breaks. <gasps> oh, no. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That's what. <laughs> Tank control springer. I actually like that moment. A moment where I'm incentivized to walk like normal again. Oh, I don't know if I've done that. So let's go have a look. Pick up this rock. Wasn't I told that I should place the rock somewhere else sometimes? And you can get two in a row? Thank you to the Shrine Guardians. Crop of villages. The Brotherhood made their first move. They're marching toward Kropa, a Kurzic outpost in Speaker territory. That's Arborstone. This is the the uh, the graveyard. I've really made a a mountain out of that molehill. It's fine. That's what I do, baby. So her grave, if I remember, was it was obviously really well marked. I think it was on like a higher section. One of these, like a full on mausoleum, wasn't it? Inside one. What's the precise difference between a mausoleum and a crypt? Is a crypt underground and a mausoleum above ground? Aren't they just like little buildings specifically for graves? Isn't that what they both are? Maybe she was in here, actually. Wait, or was she in, like, a really special place? Like, one of the, uh... The other areas. Is that good? Sounds right, but you're not a graveologist. Yeah, I kind of like all those terms, you know. And a ghoul. A ghoul is like a, a a fantasy creature, not necessarily undead itself, but that might eat the bodies that it finds in a gravestone. So you find them in crypts. This was Gunther's grave. There's giant walking mausoleums in Elden Ring. Really? Oh, I think that the party's trying to tell me something here, guys. They're all standing in that one spot over there. <laughs> 
Sorry, uh, I went to Gunther, not Danica. Whoa, hold on, hold the phone. She's up, up, is she? Here are, we got a wiki quote. In general, crypts refer to a vault that is often located below a church or on the grounds of a memorial facility with the mausoleum to house a casket. Wait, within a mausoleum. So a crypt is within one. And a mausoleum is a stately and serene building that may house one or more crypts. So the mausoleum is like the meta building. And the crypts are within it. Here's a gravestone of Countess Danica. Countess Danica Zuhelzer, final leader of House Zuhelzer. Pay respects. No need to go. Yes, it's I, Danica Zuhelzer, hovering before you. Now why have you come? I was sent here with this. Ah, I'm talking to! There's a woman trying to piece together the story of your house through its remains. Its remains? As if we were wiped out? Do you think the Ministry of Purity was really that all-powerful? Or that I was foolish enough to send every member of my house to fight? Please, we sent the children away. As many as we could, smuggled them away in boxes, under straw, dressed as merchants and bards. They ended up all over the world, with just one thing to remind them of who they were. A piece of the tapestry that once hung in our great hall. It was meant to reunite them when the day came. Apparently, they forgot. Find all the pieces of the tapestry, and you will unify the far-flung branches of our tree. Take my piece. It's still hanging on my headstone. You can use it to find the others. Thank you for your noble service. Oh my god, I can see why it's your favourite voice acting and commander voice acting for a side quest. And it's Danica, and she has a new VA. <laughs> and uh, it sounds really good. I'm amazed by that. Wow, that's good. Wow. Tapestry shred. Return to Valeria first with Danica's tapestry piece. And then find some other ones. What's in my mind now is, have I ever spoken to someone in Guild Wars 2, some random NPC, and they say, yeah, I, uh, I think I'm a Kurzik, but I don't know, or something like that? I like this. I like the way this, this story speaks to the resilience of people as well. You try and exterminate a population, and they're always, you know, it's like a futile endeavor, right? That, that was really cool. I didn't expect that. All of a sudden, yeah, the Zunra one doesn't look that good, right? The commander never spoke in it or anything. I mean, it is good. The Zunra one's really good. I'm so keen to see how it ends. Zunra might have voice acting. If I can bring Zunra back at the end of it, Zunra might speak to me. Why don't I just waypoint? Why don't I waypoint Zuhelzer? Right? Huh? Waypoint to House Zuhelzer? Waypoint Zuhelzer? Yes, it's so strange having them here. I've seen pictures of Charles. I, found a new one. I think really? they should have given all the Ger all the uh, <laughs> all the Germans, all the Kurzics German accents, because that was what all their stuff's the named after and stuff, weeks. right? I know, right? If they were gonna redo it, they should have gone all the way. They should. I know they sounded American in Guild Wars One, but fuck it, let's do something big and, and interesting here. I mean, they put all that emphasis and stuff with their cast members in POF and uh, here too, I suppose, as well, actually. They're not interested in that German representation. They named a place after German chainmail, did they? Well, did you do it? Tell her about what happened with Danica. Danica herself! I like this, by the way, in parentheses. They should do this more. I wonder if pre-release this had triple brackets around it. Because when they're when it's like work and place, pro, pro, place order or whatever, they all have double brackets. So was this like double brackets and then like triple? Danica herself. And there should be many surviving Zuhelzers? Wow, this is quite the development. Show her the piece of the tapestry. Hmm, but she only knows where to find this one. She tells me to find the rest. Well, you're going to do it, right? I'd go, but there's so much to do here. And besides, there's likely to be danger. And as we established, I don't much do danger. 
Any idea where I should start? Well, think like a Kurzik. Apparently they were hidden pretty well, so where would they have gone to be safe? I didn't really narrow it down, but I'll do my best. Holy shit, it triggered in a whole other thing. Oh my god, this is huge! Track down seven tapestry pieces within their whole own quest. This is a meta quest, guys. We're doing a meta quest. Now I have to find the fucking thing. Here we go. Tracing the tapestry. Let's hide and see. That was the day the Ministry of Purity attacked. We said our goodbyes and then scattered across Tyria to preserve the bloodline. Someone in Lion's Arch of Canthan descent may of Canthan de descent may know more. There could be something hidden within the de depths of the Derman Priory. There may be a Tengu outside of the Dominion of Winds who could help. It could be worth pursuing rumors of lost wreckage in the waters surrounding Saitang. An official in New Kaineng, uh, Luckgardist Plaza, might be able to help you. The site of an ancient battle in Echovald Wilds might be worth investigating if you can get in. Proving yourself at an ancient temple in Dragon's End could present. Tell me that's not beyond the map. Because that's not even the end, end, is it? That's that. This is just a step. Tell me that's not beyond the map. Tell me. I beg you. All right. Well, let's go through in order. Someone Canthan in all of Lion's Arch. Is this something I can think about as a law geek? Now let's see. I don't know. There could have been Canthas anywhere. I would say as well, um, if the Zaishan were still around, because Zaishan, Battle Isles, Cantha. I don't know, is there a Canthan among the uh, guild initiative? Is the lady that gives the tours a Canthan? I don't think so. I mean, I'm guessing there might be a UI icon taking me to the place, which I, I hope for. But beyond that, I mean, Jesus Christ. I don't think any of the farmers or anything. Guys, when you look at Sharkmore Caverns, do you get like nostalgic? Do you get like a warm fuzzy feeling? Like, oh, I remember that. Like just thinking about the farms and the warm summer glow of your first experience walking through and going to Sharkmore. Isn't there a canton on the council? The banking guy? Really? On the captain's council? There's a canton on the captain's council. I didn't remember that detail. That's funny as well, because I was just saying the other day that I quite like the captain's council stuff and would like to spend more time with him. <laughs> Your first kiss. I, I don't know whether I'd go that far. Okay, so it looks like on the minimap they are not actually marking where to go. Do you know what I'm really embarrassed to admit? I don't really know where the captain's council hangs out at the moment. Is it up here? I could take you to the captain's council in old LA. Oh, it doesn't need the matter. Okay, nice. Limsa Laminsa is a knockoff LA. Uh, no. Wait, Limsa's the, uh, yeah, it's the big pirate town, isn't it? It predates LA, doesn't it? Or did it only exist with a Realm Reborn? It predates LA, I think. If it was in, um,. 1.0. And not only that, it's better. Limsa Laminsa is a better city than Lion's Arch. Either version of Lion's Arch. Yeah, this is the Captain's Council. I'm not completely hopeless. I did know. Captain Hao Luen. Jesus. I honestly, I, I didn't, I had no memory or recollection that there was a Canton on the Captain Council. Dude. Well, hello, Commander. What brings you to the Crow's Nest? Weird question. But you're of Canton heritage, right? Yes, my family's been here in Cryo for centuries, but we're proud of our Canton roots. I'm planning to visit as soon as I have the time. Why do you ask? This is great. This is like you really could, as a, as a community, sit down and be like, okay, what Canton lore do we know? And just work your way through. I'm looking for a piece of an old tapestry. You happen to have one? That's a surprising question, but yes, yes I do. It passed to me shortly before I became a captain. 
It's been handed down from firstborn to firstborn for, well, I don't know how long. Tell him all about Countess Danica Zuhelzer told you. A Zuhelzer? He's even got, like, the pale skin. Hmm, well. I knew we were of noble blood, and that they're about, as, they're about as noble as it gets. That would mean I'm a Kurzik, though. That's a new idea. You said you need my peace. I need it to reunite the house. I mean, that's a noble enough cause. And with what you did for Lion's Arch, I trust you're on the up and up. Hold on, I thought the idea was we were bringing the people. The, the material doesn't matter. I thought the idea was uniting the people. Who the fuck gives it? Who cares if we rebuild the tapestry? There's no one there to fly the banner. Well, whatever. Okay. There could be something hidden in the depths of the Derwent Priory. I mean, I'm pretty familiar with... Are we talking about the special archives? Or are we talking about just the basement of the Priory? Or are we talking about the caves and Scarlet's secret hideout? I mean, Jesus. It would be so crazy if we went to Scarlet's hideout and there's just a canthan sitting around there. By the way, this is the... Well, we've seen for a while there's some content in Corteria, but here we are. As far as I remember, POF and Heart of Thorns did nothing like this. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. I think it probably means special archives, just because it's such a great place. Oh, this music, man. So good. Okay, well, never mind. I'll just have a look. They're not going to let me into the lecture halls. Gix, Ogden, you got anything to say? What do you want? Oh, it's such a shame you can only talk to him about cre uh, precursor crafting. Thick book. History of Evan Hall. Why is everything here written in Crichton? All those loops and swirls make my hands ache. The humans say it's because Crichton is the most universal language. How can it be universal? It only has one word for hunt. Only one word for hunt. Dude, I love being back here. No, I think it's going to be the special archives then. Let's go to the special archives. This one's a little hard to find and it's not a person. Well, I know there's books about Cantha, and there's probably a book even about the Echo Vowel itself. It's here, I think. Research is only as oh, it's someone as we speak to. You press F on someone, and they say they'll let you down. One's knowledge cannot go beyond one's. What type did you say? Scritological humor. Humor about the script? I'm uh, fairly certain you heard the word wrong. This I spent so long trying to get for the Let's Play. Holy fuck! I do not get a warm feeling with that. Jesus, I remember spending so long here going mad. Just desperate. Is it you? It might be you. Knowledge is the greatest treasure. Who the hell lets me downstairs? What about you, True Claw? What do you think now that Mordromoth's dead? Here you go, do some research in the library. I had a sense it was someone up this end. Wait. Hold on, this is the same. Are you serious? Do I go into the fireplace now? Can I have done that a second ago? That's not right, what do you is need? it? No. You must visit more often. Hey? Oh, wait, I can, apparently. Knowledge is power. We know so little. Maybe I can't go in then. Check all the rooms. Okay. I guess I guess it is gonna be in here then. Well, WP, it seems we're being beckoned to leave your stream to chat with hot girls and boys. I know, it's such a nightmare. <laughs> I've got to the point where I'm not even talking about it and on any level to people because we'd just be talking about it constantly. I love the conspiracy theory idea that I'm actually um, 
I'm actually running that bot. I actually run a porn site, guys. And uh, I'm I'm just subtly advertising for my true revenue, right? <laughs> it's just there. We're just living with it now. <laughs> okay, so hold on. It's going to be in here and it's not a person. Do they actually want me to read a specific book that's not actually marked? Yeah, the wooden potatoes, totally. Oh, look at that. Old camp and clothing upstairs in this room, in this storage room. That's unbelievable. And we can't mount, so we actually climb up. Oh, I've been up here before, and I've lamented that there's no content, but there is now. Oh. In fact, it's even better than that. Holy shit. There's no content here normally, right? As you rustle through the pile of clothing, you find what looks to be a tapestry shred that matches what Danica said to look for. Okay, the only thing I don't quite get is why we're just getting these. I, I really thought that... Okay, well, whatever. There may be a Tengu outside the Dominion of Winds who could help. So, the natural inclination is going to be to go to the bridge. But I wonder whether it's actually up here. Maybe this guy or, you know, the Dominion Killing Zone fields. You thought it would be the Jade Block? Oh, what? In the, the actual place underneath? Yeah, yeah. I guess they don't have it there because it's season content. But, I mean, they've broken that boundary now. You know, Champions takes you back to Thunderhead and stuff. I honestly thought that the Special Archives was just explorable, but I guess not. Dude, this place looks good, too. Swift arrow. Honor and glory. Look at that, he's talking about honor and glory. Have you ever faced a wave of crate or a horde of undead? No. Oh my god, it's cool seeing someone skiffing around there. Hmm. Learn to savor the monotony. Maybe now that he's dead, he'll speak to me? No. Well, not dead, but... Hint, remember there's another Tengu not quite up against the wall. Well, there's the Lion's Arch entrance. Which you're now making me think of. Let's look at the diverse ledges then. The fishing stuff can ask you to fish in living world maps too. The fish of the day one was for Remember Bay. Right, yeah, so, you know, I feel like they're starting to cross-pollinate a bit better, which is good. If it had ended up being this guy who I spent all that time filming the green screen for, I would have been. I think my head would have exploded. Well, it doesn't seem to be here. Let's try Kessex. We can go along the whole wall. There's the guy that used to be a. Uh, you, you guys know they used to have law books in the game, like. Um, what they kind of do now. How would I describe the feature? They had like a codex, let me put it that way. They had like a bestiary type feature. And you would, uh, you'd open these books and they'd be, the UI was a little bit, you know those side-by-side -side cutscenes from Corteria? It, they would look like that. Um, and anyway, there's a, there's a Tengu in a tent who used to be giving you one of those items before it all got removed in the earliest betas. So, uh, I think they repurposed that already though for a roller beetle race. Oh, someone's whispered me and told me now. Apparently it's the Hanto trading post. Which, yeah, there's lots of Tengu there, but I mean... That would not have been my first check. It's this hut here, yeah. There, okay, it's not. The time trial, the, the beetle thing's there. But he used to stand in here. This used to be a hero challenge here. He'd give you a book. And this is actually a Tengu hut, believe it or not. But the Tengu himself doesn't exist anymore, I guess. Okay, so I'll go to uh, the Hanto t trading post. Oh, look, there's a guy standing there. Wouldn't it be really interesting if it, if it was Caladris that you could speak to here? Nine ninety nine a month for unlimited hot potato action, dude. If you want that, I've got a free video up. Um, type, what, when, why, why did I make that video again? 
Wooden potato strip tease, I think it's called or something. Look it up right here on YouTube. Video on my channel, I get all the ad revenue on that puppy. It's not much ad revenue for a 20 second video, but you know. I'll take what I can at this point. Here we go, there's a guy here. The Tengu Trade Master. I wonder if he has some ambient dialogue talking about Kantha then. Are you here to buy something? If so, get to it. I'm buying information. The Tengu came from Kantha, right? Not all of us, but some of us, yeah. My family was driven out by the Ministry of Purity many generations ago. Every Tengu child grows up with the stories of those horrors. I like this little reminder here. See, again, this is like the safe hands thing, you know? Like, Arena Net know exactly what's going on with the Tengu here. They're not all Canton. There's Karomi here. There's Quetzal here. There's people from mainland. Avacara. Uh, yeah, Avacara. Every Tengu child grows up with Act the stories with of, honor. Yeah, of those. Speak with integrity. And the ones that are from Canton here, they're the Sinsali. They're, who weren't the nicest. Anyway, I'm on a mission to reunite the Zoo Heltzers. I'm looking for an artifact. That's ridiculous. The Zoo Heltzers were wiped from Canton. The same as the Tengu. Not true. There are Tengu and Zoo Heltzers still alive and well. Really? But the stories, they weren't pure fabrication? Yes. I'm looking for information about a piece of a Zoo Heltzer tapestry. Can I ask you a question? Yes, my ancestors could fly. No, I cannot. Now trade. Look at this. These are the Tengu I like. Short-tongued. The They're all business. Finished, These Tengu are fucking cool, man. And now we've got Pigeon Tengu. So ho 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 ho! I know. But it will pay honor to the <laughs> ancestors. able to do better than that. I got something like that. It apparently belonged to a friend of my ancestors who died fleeing Cantha. We were told someone might come looking for it. Can I have it? Have it. This is place of business. You can buy it. Three gold. Hell yeah! I suppose that's a fair price for an ancient heirloom. Pay three gold. Nice. You bet your height it is. Now, if you're done buying, move along. Hmm, to think. Tengu and Cantha. Maybe I'll have to see that for myself. That seems like a season six hint. It could be worth pursuing rumors of lost wreckage in the waters surrounding Saitung. Well, that's back there. Oh, I, I liked Corteria. Jesus Christ, just rumors of lost wreckage anywhere around Saitung. Anywhere around Saitung. This is huge. I'm going to start at the Haiju docks, I guess. The business bird. I like that. Is that like being the business bitch, but you're the business bird? That's real good. I don't know why I'm working so hard on this protocol. That guy is going to complain about the Pigeon Tengu just as much as I did when he gets there. <laughs> no, no, I like them. I like them. I just want to balance, you know. I, I think they're cool. Um, all the funny, like, cutesy kind of, you know, it's not just Pigeon Tengu, is it? There's just a very different vibe to the Tengu of these days. I was really upset about Kalagis because she's from Central Tyria. She's from the Dominion of Winds and they totally recharacterized her. If they keep the upper Tengu with that kind of vibe, and uh, you know, it's all it's all a big melting pot, isn't it? I like to have like the variety there, but I don't like the idea we're going to lose the cooler Tengu for like this new vision for them, because apparently the cool shit doesn't have a place anymore. Like the Char aren't cool anymore, the Norn aren't cool anymore, the Tengu are about to not be cool anymore. You know, that's the sort of thing. I, I've, I've convinced myself it's at the docks, but it's clearly not going to be at the docks, is it? Let's try just the, the regular harbour. This one is random, which is unfortunate. Random. This one is a special fishing hole. Saving you a lot of time. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Look, I don't mind you guys sending me the messages. Okay, that's cool. So it's a special hole. And we're going to fish it up, are we? We're going to fish the tapestry up. But hold on, the dialogue suggests I can speak to someone who would tip me off that it's a special hole. So I wonder who I could speak to. Near the lighthouse, maybe? 
Well, I'm thinking um, if it's from Echovald, but you know, maybe if it drifted across, maybe it's somewhere along the eastern flank. I f oh, and that's what's random about it. It moves. I find it's usually in the southeast corner of the map by the shipwreck. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll have a look. A shipwreck by the Naga Domain. And hey, that actually lines up with exactly what I said, doesn't it? That it would be sort of near Echovald. Well, not exactly. Holy shit, don't attack me. Offshore fish. Look at all the pink reflecting the water. What a pretty place. I'm actually going to choose to go here because it's prettier. This is like whisper UI pink. Let's get boosting. I like the kelp rising up from down there as well. Let's go. I feel bad what I just said about the char there, by the way, because a lot of char that they're writing are still cool at this point. That char in Echo out there was cool. Bangar's cool. Kreesh is cool. There are cool char. There are cool char. You've got to not let the Omicron be everything. So we'll go this way. You're nostalgic about the faction's character select screen. Playing this? That's really cool, man. I didn't think of that, but I think that's awesome that you have that association. And that's got to be... That has to be Arena Net's done something right there. Offshore fish. Look at the city over there. I'll use Angler Sense. I thought that was a peasant standing there that maybe I could have spoken to. Offshore fish. There's another one up there. Offshore fish. Should I sail uh, in there? Offshore fish. Let's turn around and go on the inner the inner waterway. Wow, someone says for me it was where the Leviathan boss was. That's quite far away from here. So am I looking for a special fishing hole or am I looking for a shipwreck? Wreckage site. Oh, that's so good, isn't it? Look at this, wreckage site. Oh, and there is a ship crash down there too. Oh, by the way, I set up my hotkey. Look at this. My cursor's up here. I press J, get the fishing rod out. I set it up. I tweaked how my stuff's working. Alright. Um, I was going to say I was going to de-tag. But I don't need to. I can just look at the bob. Oh. Wow. Oh, I see. It could be worth pursuing rumors of lost wreckage. They're just suggesting go straight away. I thought it was going to take me to a person on the shore who I'd speak to would tell me about lost wreckage and then so. Sort of. An official in New Kaineng's Luck Guardist Plaza might be able to help me out. Well, got a waypoint and everything here. You're really impressed with all the uh, side content and post story content they've added? Me too. This is totally what I feel was missing from the other expansions. Usually for for POF, a lot of them were like more economical, and for um, HOT, they were you know barely existing at all. God, I'm exhausted. The Ministry of Trade will be holding a public forum about the proposed tariffs following the border night reopening. shift. No kidding. I don't get paid enough to spend half my day fighting off Rizzi. I can see that there's a marker on the map here, by the way. I don't know whether this is the right collection, though, because for all the other stuff, we haven't actually had markers on the map yet. Yeah, there's one here. Like, look at this. Officer Suni. Sunny? Suni? Hi. Heard you were, big, uh, you were a big help stopping the blackouts. Thanks. Maybe now I can finally make some progress. So many years worth of history to go through. You're sorting through history? Oh, yeah. Files scrounged up from the east after the Ministry of Purity fell. 
Oh, no, no, this is the tapestry shed. I almost stopped there because I was thinking, oh, this is the other quest. But it's not. This is it. Um, got sent to this precinct due to its proximity to the forest. Shot in the dark. Pfft. Is there anything you could have about tapestry shreds? Tap this feels makes the whole tapestry shred that phrasing, by the way, is totally like Guild Wars 1 building up the Hall of Monuments. Tapestry shred. That's oddly specific. Any other information you can give me? It would possibly be catalogued under Z for Zoo Helzer. All the way at the bottom, of course. Give me a moment. Nice. Take your time. All right. Amat, Brower, Catacomb, Durheim. Oh, God. This is going to take a while, isn't it? So these are the houses and the word catacombs in there, too. Luck Gardist, Urukar. I don't recognize this. Vasberg. Hopefully this turns something up. Zoo Helzer. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> All the way down to Z. Wow, big file. You mentioned a tapestry shred? Yeah, there isn't a tapestry shred in there, is there? I'm collecting them. Oh, yeah, here it is. My, this is old. I'm not sure I can let you take it. I was talked by the ghost of Danica who helps her herself to collect the set. Her ghost? My word. I suppose uh, you could be lying, but with what you just did for New Kainang, it's yours. One less thing I need to worry about filing. Just take good care of it, okay? Did they want me to have beaten the meta for that, then? At some point in the past. Maybe the same is true for this next one here in the Echo Wilds itself. The site of an ancient battle in the wilds that might be worth investigating if I can get in. Oh, I got lucky. I can only talk to this person in a map that the meta has succeeded in. Nice. I'm so happy I got lucky. The power grid is working as expected, minus a flicker or two in the lower districts. But who gives a shit about the lower dicks? Dis the, the lower dick tricks? Districts, am I right? An ancient battle here in Echovald. Aspenwood? I bet this is after the Aspenwood meta. If you can get in, I bet it's in the basement here. They want me to do the uh, Aspenwood gate. The ancient battle, there's earlude into PvP. I'm 100% convinced that's where it is. If you see animals exhibiting unusual behaviors, do not approach. We have okay, yeah, I'm being whispered that it is, it is Echo Valve. Well, we'll see if it's going on. Gang activity's quiet. I see uh, an escort. The escort doesn't seem to be anywhere near here. It's over there. Is Are they going to go up there? Is that how that works? Uh, what, time, what kind of a timer is this one on? I don't even think that appears on Wiki Event Timers page. You sunk so many hours into Jade Quarry back in the day. Jade Quarry is actually one of the game types that's still alive because Guild Wars 1 has a big botting problem. And a bunch of bots play uh, Jade Quarry. So if you learn how to counter the bots builds, you can keep playing in Jade Quarry. Obviously, it's very binary and uninteresting because it's the same thing every time, but it is a thing. Aspenwood is 30 minutes away. It's not part of the meta, it's an event chain. I know, I know, I know. I've been Why are people such pedants about that? I know it's not part of the gang war meta. Right. Half an hour, so maybe we do uh, do something else. I guess if I have Scepter, I can break the... Actually, does this boom rip? Oh, wow. I didn't realize the Dagger 3 boom rips these days. Sorry, you mentioned event timers. I thought it was untimed. No, no, no. It's definitely on a timer. It's just not a meta timer. It starts at the beginning of night every day. Okay, so that's the timer. So yeah, night time's about half an, half an hour away. So we're stalled on this quest. Or can we go? We could go to the JC. Proving ourselves at an ancient temple in Dragon's End could present an opportunity. Proving myself at a temple. Is it the mini? Is it the, is it the Sanctuary of Lone? Mini dungeon again. Proving myself at an ancient temple. I mean, that's the only thing I can think. Doing the mini dungeon. What do we think?
Oh, the one with the Shrine Guardian. That's a good idea, too. The one, um... Oh, in fact... Oh, no, that's the other event. That's the other thing. Yeah, the, uh, the Jackal. But not a Jackal. The Nine-Tailed Shrine Guardian. Okay, so that event that we did, uh, like, two days ago, three days ago, I think it was. At this rate, you should do all the quests before Dragon's End. Uh, yeah, I mean... Well, so far, actually, to be fair, there's only three... Only three quests? Albax, Marjorie, and, um... Zunra. They all want complete Dragon's End, so that's, that's three. That I found so far. This one might might have that too. Oh god, this is so not it. I've got to go further north. You got the fishing first try too. You were shocked here. It's random. Well, I think what people were saying... Um, I might be wrong, but I think what people were saying is the randomness is the fishing hole. The hole itself can move. That's the, my guess of the thing. Oh, God. We're actually in the battle for the Jade Sea right now. Here, you got a tapestry. If I had any information about it, I wouldn't trust it to you. Come back when you've proven yourself. Come on! We need more troops, and then we'll set off. Oh, so I can't do four Aspenwoods, and I can't do this because it's the battle for JC, and I doubt that it it happens, does it? While this is going on, maybe when Captain Far comes down here, the Shrine Guardian will consider me to have proven myself then. Or, this message here is you don't need to do it personally. I walked after, after it was done and a guardian handed it to me. So hold on, hold on then. Maybe I can join an End of Dragons meta map. And they might have done it. I'm about to play a little bit of Join Wars 2 here. Full. Full. Alright, whatever, let's leave. So that one's not good. Well, hold on. This one. Full. German organized group. Oh, no, no, no. DE. It just means Dragon's End. Meta. Bring boons, buffs, 10 stacks. Oh, I got in one. As long as it's a different map, the, the Guardian might be happy on this map. Oh, shit. And here, guys, I'll squad... Uh, well, I won't hold on for now. Sorry to have kicked the people playing with me out. Oh, I, I, I want to change my build here. Are these people okay? Or are they wiping? I mean, they pushed the meta here, at least. Unless I'm daggering, this is the best thing for me to be doing on it. Oh, well, actually, on power, I can do all of it. Can't I? Coming down the walls. Put the signet on, just drain the stacks down. Yeah. Hey. I don't have any knives in my back, do I? No. Me? No. You're good. Okay, let's keep moving toward your base. There's not much time. OK, 
Okay, see, spirit? See, I'm good. I'm good. I'm a good guy. Let's chat. See, does this spirit even help us? Um, oh, God, it's, like, leaving. Does it even help us in the final meta? Because it seemed a bit self-interested before. Oh. Back on your perch. In the meantime, I'm going to read this letter because I just saw it there, so why not? Oh no, I remember that. That was the really Look, loving message. Enemies! I'll handle them, boss. Don't ignore them. We need to keep moving south to our old base. Ah! Oh my god, that scream. What's going on? It's just patrolling. I don't think I can do it. <clears throat> Damn. Ah, uh, well. She's just patrolling in circles. So. We're sort of stalled now until uh, Fort Aspenwood, I think. Unless we could do another one. The toy bell from the children of Saitung. She didn't want to give it to me before because why? She wanted me to do the event, I think, right? Let me go to the door and ask her again. Oh, the door's open now. In a display of resilience, two warriors from opposing factions stood together to conquer... You gotta help me find my other toys first. Yeah, so we gotta do the other event. In a special report, we spot... So we got, we got this event, we got the shrine event, we got the four Aspenwood event. We just gotta get on a map where any of those events are uh, are done or at least popped. Now, Albax, I haven't looked at at all here. The noble bird has been swept from solitude into the hands of chaos. Albax hinted at the monks of Xingji. Bring him a lucky item by solving his riddles. What the hell's lucky about this place? The monks of Xingji. Does Albax want me to do like jumping puzzle style stuff? Like do I climb and explore? Or do I just speak to people? The other one was a coin. Uh, sorry, the, the clover from Club Canark. So maybe they're all special vendors. Maybe camp the new year related. Hey, that's a good idea. Like with the lucky fireworks and stuff, right? Hey, be careful with that. Yokels. If you damage the minister's order, you'll be paying for it. Hmm. You folks at Minsec must be swamped with everything going on. Yeah, you bet your ass we are. June's put the whole empire at risk with the opening, and we're the ones handling the fallout. Things are also pretty crazy at the Ministry of Agriculture. They'll let anyone in. Can you believe that? With mainland criminals running amok? Do you sell me anything? You sell me the blessing, the jade throne, the heavy armor, Bum, 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 bum. This, that to me, this is this is the end of Dragon's music to me. Oh, you were thinking of Nine Rings, dude! You're a genius. You've got it. That's totally it. They're referencing the Guild Wars One, Shinji Boardwalk Festival with the Nine Rings. That's definitely what it is. Government's a goddamn bureaucratic. I don't know what the noble bird has been swept from solitude into the hands of chaos means. But you're definitely right. We need to go to the training grounds and ask the heart guy. Hey, maybe we need to beat the heart and he'll sell us it. I bet it's that heart vendor or someone near here. 
Dun, 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 dun. I'm convinced. I'm doing it this way. Don't get overconfident. Overconfidence is my middle name. Five minutes for that. Lame. Okay, what do you want me to do on this one? Nothing. Okay. Oh, this one we just run in circles. Step right? into the ring. Try to keep away from my landslide. Oh my god, look how little progress you get in here. You just gonna let me hit you like that? I can't Move. I can't do that. That's gonna take forever. What about this one? My defense protocol sleep. Subvert my defense protocols by employing crowd control effects. Right, I'm ready to crowd control. I like how they even use the phrase crowd control, by the way. My defenses are now resetting for the next Maybe this Vindicate here is a great sword. Come on! You have successfully eliminated my defenses. Oh, that's really slow as well. Hold on, let's do the jumping puzzle. Hey, have any particularly masterful combinations to show off? Let's see them. Uh, okay. On this build. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. I guess we can use. Oh, you caught me off guard. That's not easy. I really only have the one field. Even Lich won't give me. A oh, this guy's giving me smoke. Thank oh, you. Unusual Repetition technique. Good. I like training bad. Change up those exercises. Oh my god, she gave me a dick ton. Look at that. Oh my god. How many times can I dodge into this chest for value? Or is it just the chest? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We wanted to go to do the jumping puzzle then. Dodging gives you a lot. Uh, dodging does give you a lot, does it? What if I dodge like this? Dude, I'm not even in range of the heart at the dodge area. <laughs> or is it somewhere else I need to dodge? How does this work? To climb the whole thing gives me heart value or each jump? Do I need to toggle into a, like a, a mode so that I'm not cheesing it? Because in theory, can't I just sky scale up here or something? Is that it? I mean, it didn't give me any credit. Hey, WP, I'm a 12-year lurker. Finally managed to catch you live. Hope you're uh, doing well and enjoying the expansion. You're a 12-year lurker. That would mean you watched me, like, Halloween 2010. Wouldn't it? You can't be a 12-year. I'm not even 12 years old yet. That's, uh, I appreciate the enthusiasm, though. I mean, maybe you watch some of my AMVs, my killer AMVs, before I ever... Oh, there we go. I got it that time. Anyway, thank you, man. I, that's really, really nice. Thank you. I lost eligibility for gliding. R really? I thought the gliding was a part of it. That was to teach you that mini glides matter. I'm well spoken for an 11 year old. Do you know what weirds me out, man? Right, I have Guild Wars 1 characters that if they, like their age, if they were actual people, they'd be like going to college and shit. So, okay, if, if instead of installing this MMO, Enemy detected. I'd had. Threat assessment. Was that your face? I'd had a kid instead. I would have like already lived that whole phase of my life, you know, where you're a, you're a parent. Of a, of a child or whatever. I, I could have raised someone in this time. Do you know what I mean? Dodge. This is just so slow. Go quicker, dude. Ooh. There needs to be like three of them in there. I don't remember taking any time on this at all before. Maybe the hero challenge sped me up? <clears throat> you first found me after doing a Q&A with Guild Wars Buddy. That's pretty cool. About those things I said. No for death, dismemberment, or other minor injuries sustained during this test. 
I was actually talking about it, well, a video I did with him the other day, because uh, we were talking about my ergo ergos and the fact I have ergos coverage, and if I remember rightly, I did ergos with yes. him. I could have raised a healthy future taxpayer. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, that just weirds me out. And that's just this game. What if I think about even earlier characters? Maple Story characters, Perfect World characters, RuneScape characters, you know? Soul Saver. Scarlet Blade. Isn't it called Scarlet Blade? Yeah, that's a joke. Me and Matt did a uh, Scarlet Blade video. <laughs> so I've got a character out there somewhere. I think literally called Wooden Potatoes as well. For people that don't know, I'm talking about uh, there's a Korean... I think it's a Korean MMO. Where the whole thing is you can only play females and they're all in skimpy armor. And they like have a lot of like boob jiggle physics as well. That's like the central thing. Is this nearly done now? Take your positions. Here we go. We'll see how long you last in a real fight. You hope you're not setting me on the wrong track with the idea of the boardwalk. You're not, man. You've got it. It's the heart vendor here. He's gonna sell me, you know, something about the lucky okay, rings, this isn't and we really got it. A real fight, right? Just a skirmish. You scared? You should be. We've also played Ergos for the Factions Twitch Let's Play. That was really cool. I have no memory of that. Did we really? We played the whole thing on Twitch. The Spuds did. Why don't I remember shit like that? Get yourself ready for round two. I really miss having Greatsword 5. Like here, Spectral Grasp is on cooldown, but Greatsword 5 would have been really good. And unfortunately, we don't get it. I think I'm going to put the power signal on this, by the way. It's time for the final round. Your biggest challenge yet. Literally. We can do this, Master. We won't let you down. There you go. We'll see about that, kid. Come on. Show me what you got. So it doesn't actually tell me how much power I get, but I'm at 3,000 power. With the might and so on. 3,200. No food. Oh, she spanked me. We're not letting these children get the best of us, are we? And like here, it's on cooldown, fine. But as soon as we go into Shroud, it's going to be back. Quite like that. Look at this. Each auto here is like... How much damage is that, each auto? Maybe I should put an elixir so I can get to the 25 blight threshold. Because I'm not getting to it very quick. I yield. I yield. I know when I'm beat. Where well we go. Well done, students. Well done. Let's collect our item that is 100% guaranteed to be the right one. In fact, yeah, I think I'm going to run this elixir because it's 10% damage, basically. Here we go. Ancient Canthan secret. Oh. I don't remember that icon. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know what to say. I mean, look, we've been, we've been, we've been deceived. Martial artist stuff, though. That's cool. Ancient Canton secret. Oh, it wasn't the Nine Rings. I mean, how could you deceive me like this and waste my time? Do you understand? Do you understand? I'm trying to put on a show here. You buying something? I'm just outraged. I'm disgusted. Master, you have time oh, my mastery. Good point. Good point. Good point. Commercial hub. Harborstone now has a multitude of commerce operational enhancements. We can go have a look at that soon. Okay. Um, I kind of want to finish fishing for local legend, but that's fine. Let's get. Let's finish Harborstone next. Okay. So the question is.
Where? What the fuck, basically? What? Where do I go? I mean, maybe the monastery? Wait, level 4 of Arvastone's really good. Why is that? Level 3 was Club Canark, which is pretty good. Wait, so who started the Civil War? I have to admit something. Something about the monks here. Balcony where Marjorie was? Are there any vendors there? Well, that's where we saw Kippo and Snargle before, but I don't remember anything else. You can go have a look. Careful with no, it's that. these guys. Isn't this where Marjorie was? Or was she up on that balcony? She might have been up on that area. Oh. You could just stay high up. Anything tied to Menlo? Yeah, we haven't seen anything about Menlo's time in charge of the monastery, have we? I haven't heard Menlo be talked about at all in this expansion. There's a Jade Lantern. There's the bell. The Spectre. Maybe it's just like some clerk or something in, in June's like room. In the Royal Chamber. I mean, I did go in there. There's a vendor in there, but... Yeah, nothing on Sin either. I don't remember. Did they actually explain that Sin went to live with them then? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm lost. Totally perplexed. Something with the throne would have been really cool. Oh, wait. Or was it here, actually? The secured gate. Someone let me through. No? Well, I don't think I ever interacted with this one. <clears throat> oh, he proposed to her during Winds of Change. I didn't know that. Okay, uh, let's just go to Fort Aspenwood then. I mean, uh, we've ran out of time. So we'll do we'll do Fort Aspenwood. And um, then hopefully the, the Shrine Guardian and Albax will have to wait. I don't know about Albax. I really don't. I can't figure out what, he's, what he wants. If you see animals exhibiting unusual behaviors, do not approach. We have received reports of numerous attacks. You think the Ministry of Purity would have issues with Menlo having being a half Ascalonian? You might be right, actually. You might be right. I think there's a lot of interesting story there, but maybe, um, I don't know, maybe they're holding it to later. I actually, this has been so good, this expansion. The devs have been so, like, all-encompassing. They've genuinely covered the stuff that you would want them to. I really do believe that they have thought about Menlo and what might have happened here. And there's, if there's not signs in game already, I, I wholeheartedly believe it's because they have ideas later. I don't think they held anything back on this. Honestly, I really don't. I think that they know it all and I think that they have You're dead. tried to hit every bar. I really can't complain. Um, so when it comes to Menlo, they have earned my confidence on that. That they're probably, if there's not something already, there will be later. I really, really do believe that way. The other thing, though, is I'm pretty sure Menlo was talked about in core areas, wasn't he? Aren't there the descendants of Sin and Menlo and Devonna and stuff? Up in Divinity's Reach? Right? Aren't there, aren't there descendants up there? They might have already rolled him into some Ebonhawk story or something. I can't can't tell you off the top of my head, but it might just be that it's inappropriate because that chapter of his life's already been explained. That he left the monastery again after a while. And I'm just, I can't remember it.
I don't really know where this event starts. It could possibly be that, though. You peaked at the Albax achievement. It's more events. Which event, though? I mean, I, I don't mind it being an event. I just want a clear idea of what... Here you go. This is totally it. Oh, I'll give, I'll uh, think the squad up. If you guys want to do this for Aspenwood, I mean, I doubt I can solo it. If anyone wants to come, I'm going to go on NFG and you guys can join me if you like. Um, so, End of Dragons. Fort Aspenwood. Look at that. Fort Aspenwood appearing on an LFG in the sequel game. Wait, at least I think this might be the start. Oh my god, what? Kurzik Arena? Ancient, oh, Ancient Kurzik Axe. You get an uneasy feeling as your hand approaches it. You should be prepared for anything. I kind of fucked that up. I think I've done this already, haven't I? There we go. We have 17 stacks now, which is good. Okay, we'll go to Dagger while he's in that. While he's in Wind War mode. Oh, no, fine. Three, five. Elite. Unbound Spirit of Pain. Really should have used the three and got rid of that prop. Maybe someone else in the area can do it. I really should have got rid of that prop. Nah, I'll do it now then. <coughs> The Haunted Altar. Victims of the Ministry of Purity's Purge on the Echoveld. These Canthan spirits attack anyone who comes close. Defeat them to end their pain and usher them finally on to the afterlife. Okay. I just got to figure out where the event starts. I don't know if I've ever actually like triggered the beginning of it. It's going to be night time. I mean, we're in dusk right now, so... Didn't it start all the way up at the, um... Doesn't it start, like, all the way back here or something? Have I taken any of the specs into PvP? Harbinger's World. In the betas, I did. And I fought against them in World vs. World. And, yeah, Harbinger looks strong to me. I liked Harbinger before. All the players were whining about it, saying it wasn't good enough. I liked Harbinger. I was taking Harbinger into ranked. That on the first beta, they let you play in ranked. So I was playing properly at a plat level on Harbinger. And it, it was definitely, you know, it wasn't going to get plat 2, which is really what you want to feel your build will do, I think, personally. And I, I really wasn't, you know, I wasn't climbing in there. But I was, I was comfortably at where people are playing the game properly and on proper builds. It was a little bit limited, and I definitely I could have been playing something else. But I thought it was strong, and it was good enough. That put it what, far ahead of a lot of other builds to me. Uh, I didn't play it in the other betas, and I don't know. But I do know that Harbingers are scary to fight in World vs. World right now. Which is cool. All I can say to that is thank God they got rid of Torment Runes for World vs. World. Because if they're scary now, I mean, imagine what they would have been if they left that, left that in. All these players here, it's actually freaking me out that we filled this squad so fast. Because I don't know where to start where it starts. I just remember it being is this the start of it? Is this it? I'm a little concerned that that's it, all the way over there. I remember going along a lot of lanes. I remember passing that. I remember starting the whole thing at Arborstone, the whole tour at Arborstone. So maybe it is that. There's a player in my group charging it. What is that? Defeat the speakers currently disturbing the ceremony. That's not it.
If Fort Aspenwood, I think, is just outside the main building. Oh, okay. So when I um when I did it pre-release, we weren't doing an event as we ran along the roads. We were just running along the roads. <laughs> it's funny how my my brain did that. <laughs> so unreliable, right? Okay, that's fine then. So I'll just go out to the front. It starts close to Owie's perch. Okay. That's all good for me. I kind of want to go up there and see if that bristleback, uh, bristleback, uh, moss heart event's going on too. Really like to do that. Play Condi here. Unable to currently change templates. Why? What am I in combat with? Quality of life and usability of that is just stellar, isn't it? It's really good. It definitely starts near Owie's Perch. I'm also sort of trusting here that people are right that it does start at the beginning of night time. I mean, I don't even, I haven't even verified that. Maybe that's not true. Starts in the northeast, right outside the gate, people are saying. Okay, well, I'm northeast ish. Northeast is Owie's perch for sure. Look at all these banners and all this food getting dropped. Jesus. Okay. Thank you for these. I've really enjoyed the uh, consumable thing over the expansion. People dropping these like all over the place. I've never quite had an experience like this. You know, this is like cooking 500s actually feels pretty good. Power and ferocity. Vitality, toughness and fishing power. Power and ferocity. Concentration and healing. There isn't a Condi food here, but it's fine. I can run this one. I tried earlier and it was bugged. Has anybody done Aspenwood? Uh-oh, is it bugged? Okay, so if it definitely starts here, how do we know it's not bugged now that people are talking about it being bugged? When does it start exactly? Are you guys sure it starts at the beginning of night time? Maybe it's up on one of these other maps. I'm gonna join this guy. I mean, nothing's going on here. It wouldn't have bugged on two maps at once. It's been added to the timers on wiki. I was wrong earlier. It says started there. So it is on the timers. Okay, let me have a look. Aspenwood apparently should be going on right now. Oh, this is lame. That map I just spun up is now full, so I can't even get back into the goddamn map with the squad that I created. And this map doesn't seem to have Aspenwood happening. I bet when I was messing around with the toys it was going on. Because it looks like it's a little bit in. It doesn't look like it's just about to start. It looks like it started a while ago. Neither of these maps has it. So we've missed it. Oh, there you go. This guy says events up on my map. Now I've got to break combat and get onto it. Okay, right click to that guy. This is all though, even if I do manage to do it here. Elite spirit. Oh yeah, it's up on this map. 
Okay, cool. Don't know why on some maps it's not. Yeah, yeah. So join on me. Join on, on me, guys. And we can do this. Oh, I'm really happy about that because I was... Uh, I'm in subgroup two, so you'll know you're in the right one. It's a little bit... I'm uh, going to be a bit disappointed there. Okay, left generator, right generator. Let's get on a turtle. Oh, these guys are already... Oh, it's really cool to see all the people already doubled up in turtles. Generator there. I'll get into this guy's. No, this guy's. There we go. Oh, but he's not moving. See the NPC. I'll just kill some, some mobs then. The map's full. Rest in peace. I mean, look, my sympathy... Uh, my sympathies to you. I don't know why it spawned inconsistently on maps. This isn't even a normal meta. I wonder if there's a bunch of other quests that I need to do here as well. So I'll be back again before long. Apparently there's another live one in group three. Nobody has to miss out. Go to group three. Go to map I either of those. Whoops. Hopefully that makes sense to people. Generator's going down. Inventory full. Let's do a big old salvage. You went to do a strike. Nice, man. Uh, today's strike is the um, skyscraper, by the way. I don't know if people want to do it. I kind of do. We might set that up, actually, after this. It's long, but it's good. Like, if I type strike here, priority strike is the Whisper of Jormag and the Kaineng Overlook, so... This, all distracted doing these side quests. Oh my god, that thing ran so far away. Oh, I shouldn't have ripped all of my uh, light away. So this, the 30 seconds from these bits will absolutely go through. Without a doubt, that thing's going to be alive in 30 seconds. So essentially, what that comes down to is like another 40,000 damage. Just from those two initial casts. If we get a couple more in, we'll have more. Which is, you know, that's a good amount of damage that we would not have if uh, we were running Spectral Grasp here. A little bit squishy, feeder. Myself. Do you know what? I kind of don't even want to trade away uh, the break bar damage now because that costs so much. Well, the five doesn't cost. Maybe that daze isn't actually worth it, right? Let me have a look here. See, this doesn't rip light off of me. The five doesn't rip light off of me. The four does. And it's quite a lot too, so... For a little daze. I doubt it's that much break bar damage. These mech arms are good. Let's see, can I actually mouse over now and see how much break bar damage it is? It's 100. Do you know what? I don't think I should use Voracious Arc on break bars. Because basically, I trade 10% damage for 100 break bar value. By contrast, Technobabble is 300, just straight up. Maybe if I really desperately need to Voracious Arc. 
you know, because it looks like the thing's going to fail. 10% no joke. I'm going to stop doing that. And I think that's a legit optimization. I'll tell you what I've got to do here. I've got to drop these back down. It's getting rough looking into that room. Almost there. This big hatch looks like it leads straight down to the prototype. Yep. Meanwhile, this one's 300. Last Dark Barrage. Love the name of that skill, by the way. It's weird how being back here still kind of feels like coming home. The other thing, if you guys want a little bit of advice as well, is uh, you've got to be careful on this. It's true for Core Necro too. And, and to Reaper to an extent. You've got to be careful not to cancel cast the thing you're trying to cast when you go into Shroud. So like, what I mean by that is, um, you know, you're casting Blood as Power to self condi yourself and then you want to get into shroud instantly to transfer it before an ally cleanses right and just to get the maximum damage the thing is if you enter shroud slightly too slightly too early it will cancel it won't queue entering shroud doesn't queue it doesn't wait for blood is power to be finished and if you go in it will just interrupt it so you got to be really really precise with your time in there because queuing into the the new thing doesn't work so uh So yeah, you got. There's a lot of incentive to go as hard and fast as possible, but you shouldn't. As well as the hollow feeds. Okay, Just be inside. safe with it. And the same's true here. If you watch my footage throughout this let's play so far, I actually miss quite a few bl vile blasts because I, I try and like queue into Harbinger Shroud, but that just kills the vile blast, and I never casted it in the end. Where were you hiding? That happens that? a lot on my footage. Let's find something big and tanky. This guy. Not tanky enough. Oh, they're only elite. Should we go charge it down into the room? It's pretty clean in here, actually. We've got to clear the other side, I guess. What was that? Um, when I disabled the security, I might have also opened the experiment cages. So hold on. Oh, it's a pile of cloth in that room. We don't actually have to finish the metal. We just have to get to that cloth in there. That's cool. Also, the shadow beast this time is a vine tooth. Um, wait, not vine tooth. What's it called? What are these guys called? Yeah, is it vine tooth? A vine tooth is very different to a vine rat. You guys noticed that? Oh, see, I instantly there. Oh my god, too, too squishy. Give me the final boss already. I want it. Holy fuck, that lays me, eh? Oh, I got rolled on by the wallow. I'm gonna die, I think. Oh, just got out. 
should not have let myself get rolled on there. Knowing that they have the little poison fields they drop, you're going to have to see it or anything in this clusterfuck. Oh, I can try this achievement as well. Vengeance is not yours. We have to do this without getting hit 25 times by his attacks. As you rummage through, you find what looks like a tapestry shred that matches what Danica described. A nearby sign says re uh, refuse. Highly flammable. Take it before it's too late. Oh, it burned away there. Okay. It really is the God's vengeance we made. What is this, though? Dodging the flame wall? All over it. It's why we're here. I wonder what it I need to avoid. And ferociously breaks down and reorganizes whatever it touches, which includes us. I really want to get this. We need to let Central fry everything after we retrieve my findings, which requires deactivating the prototype, but it's revoked my administrator privileges. So we just hit it till it breaks, then? Yep, you do that. I'm going to work on opening the hatch to give the turtles line of sight. You had to stand outside the room essentially with Longbow Soul Beast. All attacks, the pulls too. Well, what do they all look like? Oh, God. What is that? That's a laser beam? I might play it really safe and easy with the mechanics then. Well, the more damage I do, the better, though, right? This time I play. All attacks. I mean, what are what is an attack? Okay, that's a, just a bit so early there. I can't transfer that. Twenty-five stacks. It's okay so far, and we're melting it. Okay, there's a laser beam. No, that's a flame wall, right? So now, if I come to the side, I won't get hit by the next flame wall, will I? I don't know what telegraphs on the ground are a big deal. We still have all twenty-five stacks. Okay. Now I want to come back, right? Oh god, that, I got hit by something there. That thing in the middle, that's not good. Oh, I'll pick this up. Oh my god, I just lost more stacks. What did I lose those ones from? Let's play more again. I mean, I'm only fighting ads right now, but I feel like... Is it these ground tails? No, those ground tails don't count. What about that one? That doesn't look good. Oh, I don't have the range for this. Okay, there's a vacuum. I just lost two stacks. Oh, I'm losing loads. What was it though? What? I'm losing more there. More. More. What? <laughs> Do I pussy this out? I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I wish the telegraph. So there you go. I'm done now. It's gone. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I can't even see what it is. Guild Wars in a nutshell, eh? I also can't transfer with Dagger 4 on this, which really sucks. Everyone else is backing out of the room, I think, trying to save their uh, achievements. Oh shit. The vacuum makes me lose stacks, but what do I do to avoid the vacuum? I understand that I was draining while the vacuum was there. I can see that. That's not... But what are you supposed to do? I mean, I walk into it? Am I supposed to be in the, the suction? Fuck oh, me, look at this. Oh, I transferred the cripple. That sucks. I'm just bleeding myself to death now. I'm dipping out of this. Oh, 
Oh, I could do it. Get all these for everyone. Should have stayed for a second. Though, didn't Maybe this is one of those things where it's like, get a small squad in, because otherwise... Definitely want to be on the left-hand side of all this. Uh, as a general rule, and then the right, only for a brief moment. Like, how would I get out of that? There you go, that's God's Vengeance dead, and that's the next bit of the collection, which is cool. That's it. It's offline. I can retrieve my findings and send you a copy straight away. And then you will be officially free of me. Oh, we're already full. Thank you, Owie. Couldn't just let reality unwind, right? And um, if your bosses figure out what oh, happened. Oh, Scarlet today, Blade shut down, did it? Well, I like to imagine people playing it, you know. Got That's a, a real shame. Under that jade. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. <laughs> Heartbroken. <laughs> I know, right? All right, guys. I'm gonna do the side town rooftop. If you guys want to do the daily strike with me today, um, squad join on me now, and uh, we'll get ten people. We'll do the side town rooftop. Oh, you're heartbroken because Dragon's End failed by 5%. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were saying you were heartbroken about Scarlet Blade. Um, and if anyone in game would like to would like to be Lieutenant to set up subgroups or whatever, fine. Otherwise, I'm going to try it. So FB. When I get in there, I'll be able to see a little bit better. But I'm pretty sure one of these Necros is coming down. Possibly even two. And we'll put one of the rangers slash druids, whatever that's going to be there. Um, do we not have double alacrity down here? Okay, hold on. Let's put that alacrity there. Something like that, I think. Maybe. If it's wrong, just let me know. Okay. Go to Arborstone. Right, we get to see the upgrade to Arborstone here as well now. <laughs> we have enough booba themed MMOs as it is without Scarlet Blade. Uh, excuse me. Um... I think the, the irony... How do I phrase this? Look, th everyone else is doing it in like a, you know, like they're hiding the fact that they're so tacky, you know. Here we have someone swagger on the scene and they call a spade a spade. And I have immense respect for that. And I think that, you know, the industry has lost, lost out on this. All right, Saitang Rooftop, Kaineng Overlook. Sai Tung Rooftop. What's wrong with me? Neither of those words appear in it. And it's Kai Neng, not Sai Tung. Okay. I really wish I knew how long to stay in uh, Shroud. I'm actually... F I'm not even joking. I'm a little bit tempted to go to the Aerodrome. And just try one rotation where I drain Shroud completely and another where I deliberately dip in and out to keep Soul Barbs up. And I wonder which one will do better. Nice Asura Castigator, let's see. Oh yeah, he does look good, doesn't he? He's all in on the Jade Tech. He's all in. Ugh, don't we have an overabundance of healing? Why do we have two Scourges? Um, we have, and a Druid. 
They do have a quickness harbinger. Right, and a quickness FB. Oh god, there's so many FBs and stuff. This is crazy, actually. Hold on. Does sub 2 have alacrity? It doesn't, right? I thought one of you guys was a wheelbender, and I thought you'd get alacrity from the wheelbender. One of these guardians I thought was a wheelbender. Well, I'm a quickness boon harbinger, so... I don't think if anyone wants to swap. I'm going to ready check. We'll just see how it goes. I don't really care. Let's see. The Sab VR goggles are so good for Mechanist. Yeah, um, they're just great anyway, right? Because you get the super monkeys and stuff running around. The boon bringer. <laughs> That's a good way of phrasing it. Okay, so two people are not readying up. I'm assuming it's because you're not ready, rather than the fact that you're AFK, or uh, you just haven't seen the 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 tick box. This guy's appearing offline actually, so he might not have seen the ready check because he's appearing offline, which uh, I think I discovered the other day. Yeah. Okay. So he's done it now. So pigeon powers is the only one. Is not ready, and that's fine if he's actually setting a build up. If not, Synax. Uh, as for my build, otherwise, I think it's alright. Sorry, I'm Synax. My game's crashed. Kick me. Oh, brutal. No, okay. Uh, if anyone wants in, come on in. That could be Synax as well, by the way. Sorry to that pigeon powers. I'm really sorry about that. That sucks. If you can get in again and you beat the, the race. Oh, well. Oh. oh, here we go. Is this going to be a Spectre? Wait, now is Spectre Alacri or Quickness? Doesn't it have... Am I crazy? Let's swap that with... Oh, God, actually. I don't know. Oh, my God. He's playing Scourge as well. No, he's not. He's a thief. Oh, well, now we have both. I don't know. I'll do it like that, I suppose. It is a lacquery. They have quickness on the three, but you're not supposed to use it, right? Or, you know, it's not meant to be for ten people. It is a lacquery. Okay, so if the Spectre is a lacquery, then I'm going to swap you with one of the FBs. Like so. And now we have it. Okay. Heartlust. Ready when you are. All right, let's see how we go. Your PC's fine all day and then it just randomly dies, dudes. That, that would give me so much anxiety, it's unreal. Oh, we gotta, we gotta go up, don't we? I should have blood is powered that, actually. Usually I prefer to handle these matters in private. But as deathbeds go, you could do worse. Enjoy the view. Where's it going? Uh, one, two, three. Oh, perfect. Look at that. That's really good position in there. Everyone went into that so smoothly. Oh, I did it there. Oh, actually, I fucked up in a major way. I even moved into a telegraph.
quite like Vlad's power actually contributes to my subgroup's might too a little bit. I represent Kanto's future. Your mere pests in the way. Okay, we got the uh, the ritualist chick right. So we stand here. Can't wait for more ministerly impersonations from me. Hell yeah! You think you can defeat me? Ha! Best part of the job. Got your jail cell ready. Pull off the pillow myself. Stay synchronized, you two. Strengthen pairs. Oh, I did it again. together oh because I have fixate wait well I just need to stay away from the other fixate don't I I don't really need to do anything else oh my god all those boons I have fixate on the mind blade this time instead of on the, uh, the other guy she seems quite tanky Dealing with? Okay, now we do the ritualist and you don't have to move weirdly at all. I remember rightly. Maybe don't face tank too much shit. Oh, nice. Our instincts was to go in the opposite directions. Like on CM, they can make these uh, explosions a lot bigger. You know? That'd be really fun to play with. Why not stack them? Yeah, I think we can kill them both at once now. By the way, the guy with the other fixate, I think we can kill them both. I don't know for sure. Obviously, it's all new to me, but I think we can. Oh, don't stand on that. That's the. That's what we were dealing with in the guild mission a minute ago. Okay, that's other people. I like that portal animation every time. It always throws me off, though. Me? You think you can? What is, what is the line? What does it say? You can hide from me? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, personal problems. Oh, did I dip out too early? I might have. Don't forget, you can dodge his big AOE, like the big one, you can just dodge it. Oh, it's all getting cleansed. Oh, and I still did that a bit early, you know. Man, Techno Bubble is useless in this fight. I'm never using it. Ooh. Transfusion. What numbers are there there? Number two is in kind of a really scary place. I ain't standing with number two. Careful, guys. Alright, someone got jump. Everyone else is okay. How dare we? 
Oh, that's it. You think you're a match for me? A match. That's the line. So, mech plus sniper. And someone stay with the, the mech. I think we want to focus on it, don't we? Isn't that right? Everyone else seems nervous too. Like they'd rather just hit the mech. But it's totally right to hit her, isn't it? And then when she leaves, go back to the mech. My instinct to do that, and everyone else is the other way. Not even there. Oh, what? Oh, she sniped me. Didn't even really acknowledge that. That was happening there. So, what's the three, the one, two, three mean in this phase? an instant defeat by the way though. I've had enough of you goons. Yeah, that's it. Get in there, Gux. You sh you shout at them. Smooth. Yeah, this one's just like once you know this one, it's just long, you know, that's the one, uh, I don't want to be near one. Oh you god, you guys are all you guys oh okay, yeah, they 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 see it. <laughs> I was really scared there at <laughs> the way everyone was moving was kind of freaking me out. Two people got jumped. <laughs> hey, no defeats though, it's quite nice. It's so smooth and an easy feeling once we're at the end now with no defeats. Oh, I'm on the soak, so I'll stay. Make it easy for everyone. Whee! Pretty clean! Enough! Enough! I can see it. Oh, and we can even open his chest as well. So what do we get for doing that because it's the daily? One of the forbidden texts. Double click to read. You can discard it. Oh, wow. Should totally read that. So because that was the daily that did what exactly? If I type Lee, we'll get the cash, right? Or just Lee's. There you go. That's it. What do we get? Two, two rares. Thanks, guys. That was cool. Really smooth. Look at that, every day. <laughs> it was clean, unlike the inventory. Yeah, I know, I know, I'll clean it up. Um, in fact, guys, that is the end of this part. Um, look, I want to I wanna see Zinra. I want to see... Um, th this tapestry quest is awesome. This is so cool. 
Prove yourself at an ancient temple, though. Wait. Oh, yeah. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. This might be the end of the, the episode. If that temple is there, I will prove myself and we'll ding this next bit of the Danica quest. I'm guessing that it's not going on. Dragon's End meta should be over now, though. So this might actually work. I might just be able to go speak, either do the event or speak to the wolf, and we'll get that. And that would feel really good. Um... But yeah, uh, in the next part, we will we'll keep doing these. I would love to finish these, actually, in the next part. Albax might be a bit tricky, but I like the idea, actually, of finishing these and then one final Dragon's End to clean them all up. And that feels like a pretty cool climax to the, 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 the Let's Play, you know? So, uh, yeah, I will do another five episodes of this. And we'll be in those soon enough. I don't know whether I'm going to shoot the next one on Saturday or Sunday, though. So it might be a break from this. Um, I would like to still do YouTube videos, though. Uh, you know, we can do score story discussion. I'd love to do a, a catch-up roundup video of some of the experiences I just had. Because, honestly, I think it's really good. Um, but, yeah, there's obviously the quality of the, the, the main review that I put up. And the story. And hopefully there's a lot of discussion going on there. The entire time I've been playing today, obviously, I haven't looked at that. But I would love to do that. That's what I'm going to do, actually, after this is over. And, um... And, yeah. So, anyway, if we can get the fate of House Du Helzer here... This wouldn't even be the end of the fate of House Du Helzer. This is just, like, getting the tapestries. And then we go back to the other quest, don't we? So... But it all depends if this Shrine Guardian is happy and nice or not. Looks like an event's been done. Yeah. That's the first time someone's asked me about it. What could you want? I'm trying to find the pieces of re and reunite House of Helzer. After what you've done to defend this temple, I believe you're worthy of the burden. Go ahead and take it. It's woven into my bow. See that nothing bad happens to it, and good luck in your quest. Carefully remove the tapestry shard from the Shrine Guardian's bow. I've been looking at its bow the whole time. That's awesome. Did we just get a mail? I've managed to track down someone who can help us with our tapestry problem. He's a master weaver working out of Mori Village named Kubo. I'm going to travel there and negotiate with him. So if you have any updates or perhaps even looking where, where we are, meet me there. Cheers to exciting discoveries. So we can weave the tapestry together. And hope to get a bit more Danica conversation stuff. So yeah, I, I think we'll do that on the next one. So we will continue with these quests. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, really, really appreciate it. all the advice, the kind words. We had a couple of donations there as well. Um, in fact, I think we had two that I missed. I'm really sorry. I'm um, pouring water everywhere. Nick Rice, thank you. Uh, $10. Happy Friday as an NA Spud tour. I forgive you. I'm sorry if you've answered this a lot, but would you ever do an outfit costume co giveaway with your community? Fashion Wars 2 and all. Uh, probably not. I'm not too that into that stuff. But, I mean, it's a cool idea. Sorry, I've got water everywhere now, and I'm scared it's going to go on the tablet. Uh, and then we got Morgan Reese uh, Geenslade. Hey WP, I just want to say thanks for getting me back into Guild Wars 2. I played during launch, lost interest, but End of Dragons Daily made me start again. Thanks, man. I was not as uh, consistent with that show as I wanted to be. But 100 episodes is pretty good. Thank you to you guys. Much appreciated. It's been lovely. And we'll continue our Canton adventures for five more parts uh, very soon. So cheers, everybody. Have a lovely day. See you next time. WP Master Spin and Water. I know, I keep doing it. It's because I look, I gesture, I'm moving my hand all over the place, and then I just hit a ball and it goes flying. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, see you next time.